PKA 592 with our guest, General Sam Taylor. This episode of PKA brought to you by Express VPN, Blue Chew, and Lock and Load, the finest cum pills in America or the world. Check those out below. Code PKA, 10% off those or anything else. General Sam, thank you so much for joining us. You've been highly requested. Yeah, yeah. It's, I'm not here as General Sam. I'm here as a representative of my own podcast. I see. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Guy. <laughs> the FFP liaison. Yeah. <laughs> Forehead uh, fables I'm not, is the name of your show. Yeah, yeah. The the YouTube channel, you can't ask me any questions about that. Won't talk about it. The, That's good. I have no questions. <laughs> yeah. Are you going to be impressed? Can't corner me. I yeah. didn't know you had a podcast. Yeah, that's one of the worst fucking things in the world, too. When you like, you get a, a, you know, your YouTube friends go like, "Hey, can I be on your show?" And then they go like, "Oh, I was expecting like questions." I'm like nobody yeah. has less life experience than a fucking YouTuber. Like nobody cares about <laughs> what you've done. Like all your shit's the same. The the account's free. You made it, and you start making videos. Like nobody cares about your start. I, and I'm sure you've had a million YouTubers on, and and you tried that at first. You were like, "So how'd you? What was your inspiration?" And so, <laughs> nobody, cares, nobody cares. I don't know. Everybody seemed like they were making a lot of money, not doing much, and I yeah. wanted some. <laughs> and I wanted money for not doing much. And I saw I could like much. play games, and then they put the ads on it, and then I got a check, and then yeah. I did more of that. Yeah. Yeah, I would do like like in like 2010 when I was like 19, just started the channel. My whole, all my content was like, here's a game of me going 20 and 17 in domination. But I have a funny story about Chipotle. And like, <laughs> I would do like an ask me anything episode. And people would ask me unironic questions like, I really, I just graduated college. I need some investment advice. It's like, I've said I'm 19. <laughs> like, I have no idea, dude. I'm having relationship problems. My advice is go to an adult, dude. Like not, <laughs> you're like not me my too. Dumb ass. Not yeah. me, uh, dude. If you're asking me, I'm with full confidence. I'm making up something, and I'm gonna act. I'm gonna sell it, whatever okay. it is. People That's ask me for now. financial advice. I'm like, fuck it. I don't have a license for that. Let's do it. I'm telling you exactly where to put that shit. Put yeah. everything into NFTs. It's my understanding that they're mm -hmm. really taking off. Yeah, I, I just say on the value. NFT thing. I, I want to say. I think the the PKA podcast was came together and all and, and and the three of us agreed with our limited bit of knowledge that the nft thing was either a above our heads and maybe a good idea or most likely b just silly and a big rip off from people who are like hey remember bitcoin we got a new thing that's just like it give us all your money and so far that's what i've seen except it's less secure because i keep seeing people having their nfts stolen and i keep seeing like like fake transactions and and fraud and scams and then of course you saw the guy who like bought the nft of uh, the first tweet for like I don't remember how many hundreds of thousands of dollars. Seven hundred thousand, maybe. I, yeah, enough to buy a a, a small house <laughs> these days. Oh my god, and, houses now. I think it might have been um, in the millions. Like yeah, something really. absurd. Yeah, it, he lost it all though. But 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 uh, no, what did it list for? Go on, hit him with the. Was it like two point? Zach, can you million? help us? Two point. No, million? he listed it, and the highest bid he got was two hundred bucks. <laughs> <That's> what, <laughs> I what a dumbass! Oh fuck <laughs> <laughs> wow, he retarded the week girl award. Yeah. Jack, this is is this Jack Dorsey's first tweet we're talking about? Yes. Elon, yeah. Yeah. Is it, it, it'll take him a second, but Zach will find out what the figures are. I'm curious too. Uh, Dude, losing two million dollars on a picture of like a, a stoned monkey, <laughs> like I have, I've never struggled with suicidal ideation ever. But I can't imagine how that would feel, realizing like you've destroyed your life for well, a dude, picture of a monkey. Get well, the numbers out ruin. here. Jack Dorsey's first tweet went for two point nine million dollars, and he tried to resell it and got two hundred and seventy-seven dollars. Yeah, fuck yes. He, but he lost least, almost yeah. two point nine million. If you lose it all <laughs> and you're left with a stone monkey picture, you at least have the stone monkey picture. But this guy has a fucking screen cap of a tweet yeah. is, <laughs> it, is it even, even a good tweet shit. can he write that off as a loss Did yeah try explaining that the way to like that the irs like yeah. well, <laughs> carry forwards you can like you write it off as a I loss but then that. it used to be three thousand dollars a year towards future earnings you could take off i hope it's higher now In but at 2.9 million like you're covered for life that's what i was getting can at. you imagine like, like, the, like maybe the for a man show. in his position like like let's say it's three hundred fifty thousand a year like for a man in his position, he's like, deal. Maybe it was just planned the whole oh, time. No, no it, 
the implication I'm getting from you is that he can uh, claim it against ordinary income. I think you have to claim it against investment gains uh, that he makes well, in the future. Isn't he like a professional investor or something? I don't know anything about him. Like I don't think that was his last two million. Just to be clear, like, like I hope not. Three million, by the way. But yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Even yeah. so, like if you, if you're if I was worth ten billion dollars. That would be really embarrassing to lose two million publicly. Okay. If That's... I if I put myself out there as a finance guy, yeah. Like if I was one of those like retard tier Dan Bilzerian billionaires who like don't really know how they get the money, like you could be like, oh he yeah, he lost two million. million. He's always do. I don't know anything about that guy. I just picked an example. But like like if uh, Warren Buffett lost two million dollars on an NFT, like that would damage Berkshire Hathaway. And people will be That'll like, never he, I, I he wants to buy it. Bitcoin. He wants to short Bitcoin. He's like, if there was a way to short Bitcoin 10 years, I'm pretty confident everyone who has it now is going to be left holding the bag. Hmm. And I'm pretty confident that Warren Buffett will be dead. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, safe estimate when you're 102. I would yeah. like to short Warren Be Buffett's life. <laughs> yeah. I'll give a, a six month on the over under. <laughs> Did you but, see yeah. that like next door neighbor's house? went up for sale and people were scrambling to buy it way over market value because they're like uh, i might run into warren buffett at the fucking mailbox i don't know that's crazy. oh yeah as if and, he and, gets yeah. his own mail and mows his own grass like hell no that guy's he's, he's, he's one of up. those like fake billionaire like like a pretend man of the people where he's like i live in the same omaha house i did in yeah. 1950s i'm a normal guy i wear dockers and i drive a lincoln and i paid 85 million dollars to get my congressman of choice elected in vermont i'm just yeah. a normal guy like you donating hundreds of millions to people who will give me advantageous tax policies but i like barbecue and and i drive <laughs> a lincoln it's like who's falling for this like <laughs> seriously Does you think he doesn't have a, 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 a white sold. marble underground layer under there his, his own little little shit. Is there any evidence for any of this, Taylor? No. <laughs> Take it <laughs> on face value. <laughs> Did he really buy it? Because he need a, do you need a source. Source. I made it up. <laughs> <laughs> he's always advocating for higher taxes. He <laughs> seems to live in that house where he stopped. He's not passing on his wealth to his children. Like he has a weird relationship with money. I think. I was not passing his wealth his on. Partner. No, he thinks oh. that it's not good parenting now he's gonna pass some on they're gonna be like multi-millionaires but he's one of the wealthiest men to have ever lived can i tell you how upsetting that would be for me I'd be oh pissed. yeah i would because like, like like gut knife him oh, right like there it, like like <laughs> I Tyrion lannister shot in the belly on the shitter <laughs> yeah, i wouldn't crossbow him <laughs> at, the, at the lawyer's office when he was trying to get me to sign the paperwork <laughs> like my dad has talked to me about like what he wants done when he passes away and stuff and like the idea of like well, we'll only leave you so much. It's like the first, his idea is like, I just want to make sure I leave you as much as I can. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, Dad, I don't want to have this talk. You should use your money and enjoy the rest of your life. And yeah. he's just like, oh, no. You're going to be surprised. <laughs> <laughs> surprise, Kyle. I'm foregoing chemo treatment for you. And you're like, Dad, please. <laughs> he would, I think that that would be his first inclination. He's that kind of guy. I, Sounds I think, like a selfless guy. I, I think that would be his first inclination. He's like, I'm not going to spend a half a million dollars giving myself three or four more years when that could buy you a, a, you know, a start in a business or a new, mm -hmm. a quarter of a home these days. Dude, I keep um, talking about the mortgage rate, uh, not more, not mortgage rates, because those are outrageous anyway, just because all the interest rates are like around 5% or whatever right now. <laughs> but um, it's the, uh, what do you may call it? Oh, like, like rents up 17% I saw. And I, I think that uh, home prices are just insane right now. It's bananas. It's Dude, insane. It's bananas. Can I talk about this for a second? I've had this thing where like, Every generation always fusses about the one before it making their life impossible. You guys had it easy for us. It's so hard. And I just was like, yeah, I've been watching this pattern since I was a little kid. Trust me, when I was you, I said that too. I wish these old fucks would retire so all the 40-year-olds would move up into the 60-year-old jobs and all us 20-year-olds could have the good jobs that you 40-year-olds are squatting on right now, dicks. Mm -hmm. Right? That, that was my take. And the kids now are saying the same thing. I would be like, oh my God, our houses are 200 grand. That's fucking ridiculous. I wish I bought it when it was 30 grand when you did, you know, back in the old days. Mm -hmm. Your mortgage is nothing. Your expenses are trivial. I have modern day like mortgage, like house prices to cover. This feels different. You know, regular houses around here are $600,000. You know, these are yeah. 2,200 square foot homes for 600 grand, 700 grand. And it's like, good 
gosh, that seems like a lot. Yep. It's ridiculous. Yep. Like it, it's, it's made home ownership like impossible for the vast majority of people. You, I think, made a great move buying your home a few I years got ago. So early, like I barely made. I got it. I think I bought it like the very, very, very end of 2018. And the value of my house when I bought it versus now, it's gone up like hundred and forty thousand dollars. I've gone the other direction. Actually, gone up that much. It was just a bubble. But that's I, I didn't need to sell my last house. So I missed out on about four hundred thousand in gains. Yeah, <laughs> I could have rented yeah. it. I don't like this conversation. I just bought a house. This conversation sucks. Oh, perfect timing! Yeah, uh, you struck while the iron blows. was freezing. I, you got me sweating over here. <laughs> I bought a house that is worth a. It's, you it's got like YouTube money. Dollars. This is a month's earning. Yeah. No, Sam, I have a question. High, it's been hey, burning in my head. Thought. I yeah. have to flip and know. Here's the story. Tell me what's true. You were going to be a guest like a year ago. Uh -huh. You looked at the subreddit. You said, you guys are so fucking toxic. I want nothing to do with the show. And it yeah. took a year to change your mind. Is that remotely true? No, it's not you guys. It's the fucking, your subreddit. I went on there. They were just screaming about everybody. They were like, Woody's this old fucking out of touch piece of shit. <laughs> they're, they're not they're like, wrong. Kyle's fat and he likes traps. And then Taylor, they're like, Taylor's head's big. He's pretty cool, but Taylor's head. <laughs> and I was like, holy shit, he's, the audience sucks. I don't want to be a part of this shit. Cause like the whole scheme here was, I, I was like, uh, I got this podcast, right? But it's like not organic at all. Don't have any actual viewers. It's like just offloaded garbage from my YouTube channel that <laughs> it's like trickle over effect. Sure. You guys mm -hmm. have actual people that enjoy podcasts, you mm -hmm. know? And so I was like, yeah. hey, if I'm a guest on there, I might get some of them. And then I was looking at your subreddit. I was like, I don't want any of them. That's the last thing. I'm <laughs> <on>. <laughs> These people fucking suck. But I've, been, I've been looking at the subreddit and all of a sudden the tides have turned. All of a sudden Kyle got ripped. Woody was uh, less of a whatever the fuck you were doing. Taylor's head got a little bit smaller. And, uh, <laughs> I appreciate And this. now everybody's nicer now. Listen, so, Sam, yeah. our guests might be at, or I'm sorry, our fans might be assholes, but yeah, they come your guests like are champions. Asshole too. <laughs> <laughs> no one comes or ejaculates better than the pod than than the PKA fan base. They come so if they commit crimes, they're fucked. <laughs> you ever like you're like one of those robbers who who robs a bank and then beats off in the corner and they find your semen mm -hmm. you're it's not everywhere. gonna make it out of the store it's gonna be attached it's like a sinuous bit of spider time, web yeah. to the tip of your dick <laughs> don't follow up the trail all the way to your all the way to your house <laughs> Did, look at this confuse you like kyle you know the stories i'm talking about where it'd be like a totally non-sexual crime where it'd be yeah. like Josh Stevenson stole three Camaros overnight with a friend. He was discovered after semen was found in the vehicle. It's like, but how? Like, it's not even fucking. It's like on the wheel. Like, th th there's there's no way. So those people have to, they have to have a death wish or want to be caught. That makes sense to me. No, I think that's look. I don't I don't really understand it, but I think that there's definitely some people that like attach like sex and like getting power. turned on no i don't think it's power i think it's a different power thing i think that like Cameron. stealing things is, is like a thrill for him and somehow his wires are crossed a little bit so that that thrill bleeds over into sexual uh like um you know getting turned on i i, I see it differently like i have a friend who likes marijuana and and he was like hey pot makes everything better he likes to run a lot he exercises and he smokes pot while he does that he likes i was like this is me and then you're like he likes to run a lot and i'm like Fuck. yeah <laughs> I I would have told the story if it was you, but like, yeah, he, he he thinks that TV is better, that that sex is better, that running is better. Um, if I gave other activities, I'd be doxing him. But he loves to smoke pot and do other things. That's how I feel about masturbation. That's why I don't think you should touch my steering wheel. Oh, everything's better while you're masturbating. Mm -hmm. Driving. Yeah. I'm actually gonna go ahead and interject there, and I think <laughs> sex is absolutely horrible while high. That is like the one of the worst experiences I've ever had. Really? Was being Why so? absolutely. I last longer, and it like feels better. No, that that was the problem. Like it was, <laughs> it was like a fucking out of body experience. Mm -hmm. And That's it what I'm was going like, for. it was like frustrating for both me and the partner because I was like. I don't know why I said it like that. Like it, my wife. <laughs> yeah. I know. I was like, because I was like, it, it was like out of body. Like I was, I was like, whoa, she's really going to town on that. And I was like, oh, that's me. And it was, <laughs> I couldn't even. There was no fucking like sensory loop. You know what okay. I mean? Yeah. And I couldn't like feel a fucking thing. But I was you got like, really whoa, fucking I'm, high. I I think that's what it was. Yeah. Do you like regularly smoke, or is it like a once in a blue moon kind of well, thing? Well, it's um, 
uh, the legality in my state is yeah. Kinda... So like every you know every time you're in Colorado or California, yeah. you know you'll smoke some. So yeah, when it's when it's like every that, night you know, I go to Colorado, I sneak across. <laughs> the <border>. <laughs> <laughs> you joke, dude. I'm such a I'm such a fucking fiend. Uh, like like after I got off probation, uh, I went on this like two week smokecation to Colorado with my buddies. But then when I got back, I was like back to Delta eight, which is like the legal shit that we have in Georgia, which is okay. I found better like legal. Are you a Georgia boy? I am a Georgia boy. I'm North Florida boy. We're right. I'm 30 minutes away from the border. Football rivals. Okay. Yeah, um, down yeah, around football Tallahassee. Football and stuff. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but uh, anyway, um, I drove to fucking Illinois one week to go get stoned for like a three day weekend. And then on the drive, on the seven hour drive back, I was so like, I might have a problem. <laughs> <laughs> if you drive yeah, your problem is Illinois is too far away. Yeah, if I told you like I just I need a drink. I'm driving to Virginia for a beer. You'd be like, Taylor has a serious problem. Like yeah. he's he's drove eight hours for a bottle of vodka. But but see, I made yeah. a week. I did it like a soccer mom has her five glasses of wine. I made it like a whole event. I'm like, oh, no, no. I'm going to spend a three day weekend with a friend over on the lake in this in romantic southern Illinois. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's kind of a problem. I would well, say. Yeah. If you, if you travel any distance for something, it's you want it way too much. Yeah, it's probably true. I really do enjoy being stoned though. But but yeah, there's uh, the Delta Eight stuff and all the other like variants that we've got legal for now and for the time being. Yeah, uh, really strong. Legal. At least uh, I hope so. At least that's a substance, so it makes like rational sense. My my co-host has this uh, obsession with bidding on estate sales, and it's based Ooh. out of a town that's like two and a half hours away from him, and he's constantly mm -hmm. winning shit that you don't fuck. And we actually got into a fight during <laughs> an episode about this shit <laughs> because, like, you only get defensive and angry if something is actually true. But I was like, dude, you were, like, buying opal earrings and shit. Your ears aren't pierced. <laughs> like, you don't need this stuff. He bought a fucking uh, a taxidermy boar head. The ears falling off. It looks like a zombie. It's all patchy and shit. It's been gnawed on by moths. And I'm like, yeah, every week you have to make this like two and a half hour drive to the city, pick up your dog shit that you bought from some dead person, and then drive two and a half. It's not worth it, dude. Like going for earrings you can't wear. That's a waste <laughs> of time. It's a problem. At least you went to Illinois to you know get high or something. But yeah. is he making money? It, is he reselling it at a profit? I can't imagine. No, he's a streamer, so now he just has his patchy little boar head behind him and <laughs> and his opal earrings, which I guess is kind of cool. I don't know. Is he like a, I like the idea he, of looking at estate sales, though. That does sound kind of fun. Like maybe gym equipment? It Honestly. Yeah. Maybe I some only, big buff steroid freak died, and I can get all of his all of his. The only gear. reason I shit on him is because I found the app that he uses, and it's really close to him. And in order to ship down to Tallahassee, it's like three hundred dollars an item. So I'm like, I see things I want to buy, and I'm like, I can't fucking buy. It. And then I see that he wins them, and I'm like, that could have been mine if I was willing to pay the. That could have been my shipping. shitty boar head. <laughs> that could have been my broken plate. Oh, if I talk to my, you about I, it, it's because oh, you know I wanted spoon. it. <laughs> That's why I wanted <laughs> the boar head. I thought I would have looked great with those opal earrings, and he snatched them out from under me. You know, <laughs> I don't remember like just just saying the word collector spoons like gave me one of those memories of like being a kid. I don't remember whose house I was in. I must have been three or four years old, like a cousin of a cousin of a cousin. But I remember seeing in their house a mm -hmm. huge amount of spoons, Yep, like one for every state. And I remember getting a feeling of like r intense sadness like on behalf of them like i recognized at three like oh that's so sad like Why what a stupid thing to be into how embarrassing i'm standing here like with shit in my pants understanding like how sad it is that you're collecting spoons i don't you know those those visceral memories you get something just pops up usually a not one that's so judgy word. no yeah. normally you want to hear like, something like, sadder my dad used to collect jansport backpacks the I, like, I used to have a Jansport Yeah, but backpack. the point of a Jansport backpack is they have a lifetime warranty. You just need one. You don't need <laughs> 48 fucking... You don't need like a dedicated closet to just Jansport backpacks. I like darn tough socks. 
and they're doing a giveaway. Get some on right now, baby. <laughs> yeah, darn tough socks are amazing. They're not a sponsor. Yeah. And one of their things is you have a lifetime warranty, which is cool. Dude, well, if they've got doing... a darn tough sponsor, I'd be all over the show. Be back. <laughs> I would <laughs> like that. Darn heartbeat. tough, call us. We we don't have a number though. So um uh we should. <laughs> they they are doing a giveaway or something. And I hate these giveaways. I always figured there's like a one in trillion chance I win of a lifetime supply of darn Ooh. tough socks. And I'm like, a lifetime supply? Details. The detail is there are only seven pairs of socks because they last forever. <laughs> so right. you just get one for each pair of the week. And they call that a lifetime supply. And it's like, you fucks, that's not a lot. Yeah, you you don't <laughs> usually you don't run out of socks because you remember to wear them until they disintegrate it's because you yeah. lose them because they're socks like they should be giving mm. you f two pairs a month yes i like I think that. that's that's real i think they start you out with a good eight ten pair and then maybe a pair every three months after that would be very much fair that's a lot no i'm a very literal that's person lifetime if supply. it's lifetime supply i should never have to wash a fucking sock every day oh. i should get a new package okay, of socks in I know yeah. people and do I that. I want to take them off and burn them in like a, they should send me a little darn tough sock incinerator <laughs> where I just drop them in as soon as I take them off. Because, dude, those things are expensive, man. I'm not going to lie to you. All right. You guys are going to judge me. I live in Florida. It's hot as shit down here. I wear these things two days and then I wash them. <laughs> like, yeah. I'm a, I'm a two. Well, I don't know what it is. When I was wearing cotton socks, my socks were all stinky and shit. But these, they still smell like detergent after the second day. I'm wearing them again. Like, Are these yeah, like made dude, of I'm, wool or something? They're, yeah, merino, they're wool. merino wool. Merino wool. They're amazing. Yeah. And I have the same thing. Like, like at, at the end of a, a motorcycle day, I have these like big leather boots. They're kind of protected. Mm. Any other sock is a nightmare. Like you just want to pinch the top of it and toss yeah, it. Yeah, you do. But a merino wool sock, you can literally, like at the end of the day, they don't even smell. They're amazing. They kind All right, of I'm buying the socks. See, I've been yeah. using like those dad, Florida. big white dad socks when I when I ride my bike just because they're thick mm -hmm. and like, I, mean, like the, an I want the boots on so snug. Yeah. And I have this idea that like they're a little safer. I don't know. It's a sturdy sock, but uh, but I'm going to buy your fancy socks now. Kyle, Me when you too. buy socks, you're going to have some questions and the answers are calf height, medium weight. Sounds good. Sounds good. Right. Sounds about right. <laughs> Calf height. Calf height. I don't like calf height. No, I like the, the ankle socks. I don't need <laughs> yeah. motorcycle no, well, they're, socks. He's wearing them under motorcycle boots. Oh, motorcycle boots. Oh, okay. boot. uh, man, wool socks in Florida, that's brutal. That sounds no, awful. No, that's what I was going to say. Like, you would think wearing wool, it seems like it would be sweaty, but actually, wool wicks away moisture. So they're not that warm. It makes you feel cooler. How much moisture can they wick? Are they up to the challenge? Like I, I get sweaty. I never got really that. scientific about the whole foot sweat production that I have. Um, <laughs> that's one of the things I haven't. Look at me! Come on! Like I, I don't even measure myself. I'm not going to measure my foot sweat. What a fucking insane question is that? I don't. Exactly. I don't think it is. Can you quantify the amount that it wicks? Well, you, you get a you get a, a a food scale. You lay your sock on there. You hit tear. Well, that implies well, no, the wouldn't. wicking's not working. I mean, it, it, if no, it we're going to need to be in a vacuum chamber that 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 measures the uh, the moisture in the atmosphere. Have like, you ever seen when a Preston, NASA equipment is going to be required uh, in Jackass, where Preston is riding the bike in the Saran wrap suit? And yeah, it catches all the sweat, and then Stevo drink like it would be something like that, but not as you Stevo wouldn't drink it. Mm. You'd measure it. Do you sweat in a vacuum? Like if you put your foot in a he vacuum, did. Would it, is it sweat? Would it sweat more? Could, with the sweat condensed to the sides of like whatever the vacuum chamber, and you could collect it to the bottom, maybe. Mm. I'll work I, on it. I'll work on it. I'll get back to you on this. We're gonna yeah, measure it. Please. I feel like yeah. our, if you put the four of our minds together, we still couldn't answer that fucking question. <laughs> I I well, at know. some point, we just get an air compressor and some tubing, <laughs> and we well, what, would it, what does a out. vacuum do? I know it's just no air in there. Yeah, but like you stick your hand in like a well, vacuum, see, you pump all the air out. What I really want, I said a vacuum right? because initially I had this, this idea that I didn't want any moisture in the air. But what I really want is zero humidity air inside of a chamber that your foot is locked into. And then we're going to make you all sweaty, right? For like an mm -hmm. hour. We'll, we'll like decide a time amount. And then however much sweat you sweat out, even if it evaporates, will be will be captured in that chamber and then we can measure it precisely because normally like what are we going to sweat into a sock we're going to wring it out or press tear on a scale like you said yeah, there's so much sweat crazy? evaporating that's the whole point of sweat is it evaporates uh -huh. couldn't you, you just know an incredibly cold room so it can't oh. you know turn into vapor you know the thing about incredibly cold freeze rooms, the sock though, hard to sweat in a cold hard to room. sweat in those oh yeah 
Yeah. Okay, so blowtorch Taylor's foot in a freezer room. <laughs> and get lightly on the lowest lightly. setting. Yeah, low. Yeah. <laughs> Just have a faint blue flame. So like, Not enough <gasps> to damage the foot. And yeah. then, uh, yeah, I think we could figure out whatever this question fucking was. I'm done now. With. I'm done with it now. <laughs> you know you know something? This, this reminded me far. of... Uh, I've, like, on, on super cold nights it was a couple years ago like my heat went out and i had a, a space heater and so i like put it by my feet plugged in and like had a had a nice little feeling there i can't imagine doing that you know as a source of heat but i did that and basically it you, you will leave your foot there and it'll get so hot you obviously have to move it i was talking to a friend of mine who works in the medical profession he's not a doctor he's like a like nurse practitioner and he was like oh yeah this this guy we saw, he came in, he was diabetic, like one of those people who has diabetes for like 15 years and is just like, doesn't give a fuck, somehow still alive, doesn't treat it, eats whatever they want. Only and nice apparently, people. apparently this guy fell asleep in front of the space of a space heater at his home with his feet right in front of it. Oh, and no. because if you're a diabetic, you have neuropathy and you can't feel when you're burning, he fell asleep and like they it cooked the meat of his oh, feet no. over the course of like hours. And he like like it was like slu- like like oh, it, it was more like damage cooked. than I can imagine coming from like the heat, the hot air. I mean the bones are cooked. Did it fall out of the Was it like barbecue? Like those barbecue TikToks where it's like, this shit's been cooking for six hours, man. And he just, <laughs> just pull it apart. It I wish he yeah. would have broke HIPAA and sent yeah. me a photo of it. But yeah, he said it was just like just bright, bright red, like, bl- like blistered, Medium like the red. most severe blisters you can imagine. Like, first of all, like if you have diabetes, get it, do something about it. They have yeah, the, the people that walk around with like open sores and shit, not even bandaging them. I've seen yeah. going blade mode. <sighs> yeah, I do. You, I, do you have I the beatus? Do I have the beatus? Yeah. No, I don't. Mm. No, I but if you, you, if like you let it get to I'd that ask. point and just get to and walk around like a fucking leper, like I not only pity you, but I also kind of hate you. I'm like, that's I'm I didn't feeling want a little <laughs> targeted. <laughs> you why, why? Do you walk around with the beatus wounds open and gaping and oozing. I've seen that before. So Zach, put me broke. on full screen. Do you have beatus sores? What? What? It's What's here. Shows? Can you see it? I'm gonna try and. I don't. Oh, you still got okay, that open. If you have to take your camera on your face and like do, do a that. macro shot of the side oh. of your stupid nose. Do you see it? <laughs> yeah, I see that open wound on your face. That's oh awesome. my god! And yeah, that's something we need I would. To put see. How do you live with yourself? How do you leave that's, the house? Yeah, so I, would I went see to that a from across the Walmart parking lot and go, "Oh, that guy's got a <laughs> what a ghoul!" What oh, kind of cancer yeah. did you have, Kyle? Oh no, um, it's um, with the basal one. Basal cell carcinoma. carcinoma. Yeah. Yeah. It looks like me too. Fuck so. yeah, cancer buddy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. So um most easily curable cancer out there for everyone listening. Yeah. yeah it's so like, I guess I'll be fine. It's like the recruit I, uh, of cancers. I certainly <laughs> so, so they uh they took a biopsy, I guess, and uh it came back. Do they have to go back in for a little bit more of the tissue? No, so um what happened is I've that I had that sore, right? Yes. And that sore started last year. It's April mm-hmm. recording this. And um, at first, like, I, I kind of thought it was reoccurring because I wear glasses, you know, and, and and I just bought, like, regular glasses I wore all day. And I slept in them and got that cut. So I was like, all right, whatevs. And then it's just taking too long to heal. So then I, after a month of not healing, I start going hardcore on never wearing glasses, if at all possible. I drive without sunglasses. Only on this show. Five hours a week, I wear glasses. The rest of the time, I'm in heel mode. And then I started putting this, like, uh, it's not Neosporum, but, like, imagine a prescription industrial strength. Yeah, yeah. And uh, and that seemed to help a little, but, you know, a month of that, and it's not getting better. So then I call a dermatologist, and, of course, it takes a month to see them. And she's uh, looking at the pearly edges of it, and she's like, I think you've got cancer. That's why it's not healing. So um, I'm going to go to a plastic surgeon where he'll cut it out and put it back together and uh then th- then we'll know for sure well i'm sorry to hear that yeah, um, hopefully it's like, luckily like i said mm-hmm. you know that's couldn't be much better um as far as like the type right you know yeah yeah that's what i'm yeah it should be fine it's yeah. it's it's the best cancer 
I, you know, I wouldn't fuck around with but, some fucking osteosarcoma. Like, I don't, I don't know what that is. That I only do scary, good though. cancers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that scary. I don't know my cancers, uh, <laughs> but, uh, but, uh, um, yeah, I'm sorry to hear that. It is scary, huh? Yeah. So I, I guess I'll take care of it next week. This weekend, I'm going to go play on my, uh, I'm doing the acro weekend. I'm very excited. So my friends are going to take the boat out and make bad decisions over the lake. This nice. is making me think like, you know those stats where it's like three out of four people are fine if they get carcinoma, whatever the fuck. If it's like two out of three people are fine, and I know both of you get it and have it, and then <laughs> I get it, that would suck. <laughs> if I die of that kind of cancer, I'm going to be so embarrassed. Don't upload that episode. <laughs> <laughs> we'll even go back and edit this episode so, you, so nobody talks about it as much. So nobody talk, say that I was killed by a bear or some sort of animal conflict. Not an embarrassing one, a good one. <laughs> I, was, I, was killed by a, I was killed by a bear who later died of its wounds <laughs> is how I'd like for you guys to lie. <laughs> if I die, I'll say that Woody literally flew too close to the sun. Incinerated. <laughs> and oh, Kyle, so Kyle got STDs that only really cool guys that have lots of sex get. Uncurable. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I no more STDs. Ever What's that. the coolest STD? The one Al Capone had neural syphilis. That's what I had. Well, yeah. not the neural part. It takes a decade to develop that. No. Mm -hmm. I would never make it that far. I would get strep throat before that could happen. Ah, and get the jab to fix the strep throat and it knock the... Yeah, the yeah. Like I would take penicillin for something before I got neurosyphilis. Yeah, yeah, I don't go to the doctor unless it's kind of a thing. Um, like like I've, The last couple of years, I've had like a couple of nasty things. I had that stupid sty in my eye. Uh, mm -hmm. That was fucking nasty. And then the cancer thing. And uh, that strep throat where I was like coughing up blood, that was fun too. Uh, it's been a, but no COVID. I, I love that like throughout the last, this whole, <laughs> no COVID, can't fuck with me. I like to believe I've been exposed to it dozens of times and that my testosterone levels are so fucking yeah. high that it gets into my bloodstream and it's it's like the one white guy like getting inducted into the prison and it, it, it looks like a scene <laughs> from a black porno or something like that when my white blood cells like, gang up on that yellow covid dude that I was so funny four flights during the height of omicron to mexico went around like one of the planet's most crowded cities in mexico city right just shoulder to shoulder with hundreds of thousands of people mm -hmm. i must have been exposed you should have seen the customs line there was a basement with a thousand people and the line looked like space mountain going back and forth that's awesome uh, i have to believe i've been exposed but i don't know that i've had it when kyle got that like bad illness last year it was so funny because you would you were texting like i think i'm dying i can't breathe i can't swallow i can't <laughs> eat i feel like I'm, i can't do pkn <laughs> but i don't think it's covid and I'm, like, <laughs> and I'm like so you're gonna keep working out and you're like I should be fine. <laughs> it's like, and I'm like, dude, it's COVID isn't the only illness. Take a day. Like yeah. <laughs> you clearly have to I don't like taking work. days because like if you take one day, it's easy to take two and then three and then four. It's like anything. Diet's the same way. You've got to build your mountain and stay on top of it. Yeah. But, sometimes um, you get I was so your diet for one year and you fuck up for the next decade. Right? Right. <laughs> it's 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 it it can absolutely be like that. Um oh, go ahead, finish it up. I forgot it. It's fine. I ruined it. Sam, have you lost weight? I feel like you did. Yeah. I think um, I've seen it. Yeah. So I have a very different outlook to uh, the like physical being, you know, than mm -hmm. you guys. Um, I can't wait. So like I play video games and like just be a dad and then uh, uh, lay on top of my wife a couple times a week. And that's basically my life. Right. I don't have to be in like great shape for that. So. Yeah. Um, 90 seconds of quality cardio. <laughs> yeah. So like that, that's about it. I just stay in enough shape to be able to do that and like put on my shoes or whatever. And then, yeah. um, I'm going on like a hike with some friends in a week. And so I have been working out in order to like not die while I'm out there. Yeah. I've seen you do like hikes and stuff or talk about them in the videos and stuff before. And, uh, I like that. I like that kind of content, but I've seen Notice. you in your like shorts. You're like Steve Irwin shorts you wear uh -huh. sometimes. Those look good. And, uh, and I think you got a good base. Like, 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 like you've got a, mm. you got a good base to work with there. You should, if you ever got into it, I think you could. That is 
single-handedly one of the most touching and <laughs> I'm sorry, like i have it's so weird because everybody talks about youtubers being groomers and shit yeah Mm -hmm. I got a Never million subs. It before now. I have fucking zero pussy, like zero games <laughs> with the ladies. I haven't got a fucking titty pick. I haven't gotten a <laughs> single woman, not even the ugliest fucking woman, not even a woman that looks like Taylor coming into my DMs. I haven't not even shit. absolute dogs coming in. I haven't even gotten dudes like giving me a legitimate compliment in years. And then you just Kyle, got one. I just got one. That was, I felt that. <laughs> Send you a leg pick after this, just for you. No, it's like, no I mean it. I mean it. I, I, I've said it. I've said it to uh, like like my friends before. We were watching your videos, and I'm like, look at that guy. Then he works out. A, he, he squats. He does not work out. He squats. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, look at that guy's thighs. They look powerful. She, yeah, she's look at like, his quads. Solid quads. She was like, wow, they do. I bet that guy does hip thrusts. You showed a woman of something I was in. Oh yeah. oh yeah. Oh absolutely. Like like oh, like no. every girl I've ever shown you. Uh, I show him your Tarkov stuff. And like, like first I explained Tarkov in like 90 seconds and yeah. then I'm, I'm like, but none of that shit matters. And then like, <laughs> we'll watch like uh, one of your videos. Uh, you know, the, the intro part is like the, the show. Yeah. That's no like, offense. that's the thesis statement. That's the show. And then the that's rest your high is quality me. shit. That's me just offloading every funny moment I've had with my friends. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. The first I like minute that you the is together. for you guys. The last mm. 40 mm. minutes is for me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah but yeah i've shown a bunch of people that that stuff it's really um high effort smart well done funny smart. well written yes no it is smart. No, it face is. And I'm smart oh no God. i mean this is a genuine compliment i, I, I i've told people this before You're I'm, in I'm, Georgia. yeah yeah be careful I, I, he's gonna he's gonna accuse you of rape or something he's well, setting you up <laughs> Two nice things in a row out of Kyle. No, I've known him for twelve years. So I mean, I'm a big, <laughs> no, I'm a big fan. That I'm a big fan. I, yeah. I've, seen, I've seen all your videos. I like him a I lot. Met Kyle and, in 1999. Uh, I'm up to three nice things. No, I'm. Mm -hmm. I, I, I really am. Is, is this like, about to be followed up with some brutal shit? Like, like, like build you up and tear you down? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's usually my game. Rock just so we could see if we could get beneath it. You know? <laughs> no, that's usually my game, but I'm being genuine. I really do like stuff. Oh, that's touching. That. I enjoy you know it. what is so incredible about that, too, is like when I was starting out, I fucking Woody, I'm pissed at you about this. But when I was starting out, I watched you guys. You were the Kyle. You were the big budget. Like you were doing that shit before anybody was doing like a themed mm -hmm. theatrical mm -hmm. video. You know, like that was that was like, holy shit, like. That was something that nobody else was doing. And then Woody, on the other hand, you know, I was uh, impressionable at the time, right? Mm -hmm. Hadn't figured out who I was yet. Oh, what, what impression did I leave? On I've YouTube. ruined you. Yeah, you influenced me where you were like, you would give like thoughtful um, Mail you know, advice to people mm -hmm. and like, uh, you know, whatever. And so I was like, when I started making videos, I was like, maybe I could be like uh, that or whatever, right? Mm-hmm. Turns out, like, I don't have, like, <laughs> nobody gives a fuck about what I say about anything. And then, because uh, I also realized I wasn't good at, like, games or really anything in particular. And then uh, and then I realized that, like, being maybe funny is is all I got. But you led me astray. You thought I could be just, like, a, a you know, passionate person about stuff and give, like, actual life <laughs> advice and, and, like, get anywhere in life. I'm quite the dick. No, you I was going to ask you about, you say you're not good at games, but you have so much time in Tarkov. You must be good by now. Oh, baby. You don't know what my reaction speeds are like. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, but like, I just don't care enough to like put forth the effort on, you know, like people, you ever seen people that like they game sitting up and like they're fucking leaning corners and shit yeah. in games. And I'm like, mm -hmm. I'm not moving my finger from WASD to like do anything extra than I have to do. You know <laughs> no I mean? inventory, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> no <laughs> inventory. Like, hot bar, like any game I play, they're like, you could hot bar that stuff. I'm like, nah, I'm opening the inventory and just find oh, what wow. I'm clicking it. Like I don't <laughs> fuck with Try, you like, all that shit, <laughs> that's, that's how I play games too. You don't hop on your beds, so even. Well, I this is different, this, this Taylor. Is Taylor, this oh, is I can't different. even reach it over there. But ah, oh, fuck, I messed it up. My, I, I got like an MMO mouse, the ones everybody make fun of with all the mm -hmm. buttons down the side. I've yeah. had that. The least I have to move my hands, the better. You know, I can just do everything with my thumb. You know what I did for Tarkov? Uh, just for Tarkov, I put foot pedals in on the lean. So now I lean with foot pedals, right and left. You know, obviously, oh, yeah. made a big difference. Yeah. 
Well, I mean, it takes some fucking, you know, work away from either of my hands, wherever else it was going to be. So I like it. The best I thing I ever Tarkov did was I, I met up with that ex camper guy. Mm-hmm. Devin. Oh, and that made the video. The camping what, a, video. what a cool guy, because he totally changed my mind. He's just like, just fucking, just stop. Why, why try so hard? He, he started <laughs> playing because he could just study for his finals. Mm-hmm. And 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 then like he would just be oh wait someone's coming and then he would like actually sit up and put the book to the side and kill him but like you don't have to go scrambling for everything man like I after I realized that you can kind of just control areas so to speak and not run around so much and worry so much it's so much nicer I've started drinking during the day now and uh, it does sound nice I can't see that going wrong when yeah, I play in Colorado uh, yeah and it's. <laughs> His game is hilarious. So people don't know. Here, Escape from Tarkov. There's a huge map. It's as big as like 20 Call of Duty maps. And you, know, you have to make your way to this a couple different spots to get out with your stuff. Cool. So what Xfil Camper does is he controls the exit that he expects people to go to and then just does nothing for a long time. And he's eventually, doing a lot of stuff. He's doing 40 more than minutes. a regular player. He's playing and he's watching YouTube videos. He might be listening to music. <laughs> talking so with 40 friends. minutes later... After you've collected all your goods and had the time of your life, now you need to get out. And there he is looking, like camping your exit, trying to get you. Yep. And uh, it's a viable strategy. It, it's not considered super honorable, one might say, but uh, it works. S- Sam, do you wear a wedding <laughs> ring? Yeah. yeah. I saw a guy on uh, Reddit today mm. that like something caught his wedding ring. And it tore the whole finger off, and so they showed a picture of the hand next he to the finger. On it. his his worse. Oh, you wish it was a D glove and bitch. They can uh, fix that. It like it, it tore his finger off. Like you ever eat hot wings and you're just like fuck it. I'm just gonna rip the bones off. That's how you get yeah. the meat off. Yeah. It looks like you did that to his hand. And there's like stringy bits of meat on either side, like like on what's left uh. on his hand. And, and the ring is still on the fucking finger, and the it's massacred. And it's such destruction. You they can't put that back. You, yeah. it, it, it ain't going back. I would have to get one of the. I know you don't like do Taylor lifts heavy weights. Like I doubt you do that sort of shit, um, or anything dangerous like that. But like I would have yeah. to get one of those like rubber, rubber rings are the way to go. Is I it rubber? Woodwork. Yeah, this is rubber. Ah, they right. always wear a rubber ring. I don't actually. No, I do remember where my real wedding ring is. Never mind. <laughs> where yeah. is it? It's in my. Tell uh, us all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like if I were to walk through the front door, where would I find it? Well, you would first of all. I'm going to tell you the points you need to be wary. All right, I'm, I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> first, I'm going to tell you the access points to my house. <laughs> no, it's it's near my. It's on my bed stand inside it. Yeah, but it's okay. just I don't like top wearing, drawer, bottom drawer. There's only one drawer on my my end table. Really, my, my nightstand? Yeah, it's only got it's got one like cut out under area, and where it's just like open, okay, like a little no. cubby, and I put little, some stuff in there. You know and then the other thing is just a, a drawer full of nonsense. So, so uh, I've got I got two, lubes. Yeah, I've got two mm. drawers, two drawers, right? But on the top, there is a very thin little slat that'll slide out from in it and make a little table that'll like you know you could like throw some charcuterie on there maybe. Whatever you oh, want to do, and then after you're done, that's not what that's for. But yeah, carry on. I, 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 look, I know my audience. Yeah, <laughs> no, I'm <Okay>. in. Forty year old women, like who the fuck's? <laughs> he know, loves a, a, charcuterie. I love oh, charcuterie. You, you do? Oh, dude, oh, my I, wife I love makes the, the, the best charcuterie cheese. board, man. Oh hell yeah, it's great. When you want to like feel fancy, like you're eating little bits at a time, but you're really eating huge amounts of food. There's nothing better than charcuterie. Woody, Sushi, you can kind of do the same thing. How many drawers do you have in that nightstand, Woody? In which nightstand? You know, the one beside your bed where you sleep at night. One. Just one? You, you have a nook? There's like a Taylor nightstand, does? then there's a big space, and then a shelf towards the bottom. Okay, that's okay, a nook. We got, we okay. got the same okay. one. Mm. Probably not the same one. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but it's it's like his shelf is on the bottom, and your shelf is on the top. <laughs> and I got the two drawer. Oh, no. You've got a top little. I have a shelf. top drawer. And then and, the uh, at the bottom, there's a shelf so that the legs don't have don't succumb to racking forces. Understood. Understood. So how Taylor's many chairs do you have in chairs. your home? <laughs> oh my god, I don't know how many chairs are in this like, house. I'm just I'm just asking questions. <laughs> Dude, we have questions. dozens <laughs> that's, of That's a great doors. guy. A guy who asks retarded questions and then does like the journalist line. Like, how many chairs yeah. are there in your home? I'm asking the questions. No one. Asks. <laughs> 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 you, people get offended because you're wasting your time, and it's like, and this is the American. America we live in folks 
like <laughs> where, where people will lie to you at a MAGA protest about how many chairs they have in there. We were, <laughs> we were talking about um, we were talking about like different levels of wealth uh, a couple days ago, mm -hmm. and I thought today it was a perfect 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 example uh, with Mike Tyson beating the shit out of a passenger on a jet blue flight. What and happened somebody, with that? I and somebody was like, why is Mike Tyson on a jet blue flight? And I'm like, Mike Tyson was broke like five years ago. He's all the money he has came from podcasting and selling weed. Yeah. Um, so like, I don't know how much that money. is. It's a significant amount, but it's not private jet money that you bounce around the country in your private jet kind of money. It's not that money for sure. Um, 5 million, 10 million, 15, still not there. Um, so he, uh, he was on a jet blue flight first class someone was like i didn't even know jet blue had first class i didn't know um, that either yeah <laughs> apparently they do and uh he's got the window seat we're being it's being filmed from across the aisle and this guy's boy or whatever is like leaning over mike's seat like being very animated Not, when i say boy's friend it's an adult white man okay. he's leaning over the seat being kind of obnoxious and he won't leave mike alone and you can't hear what mike's saying because Mike's using a normal man voice, mm -hmm. you know, indoors. And this other guy's like being so loud that you can hear everything he says, even though he's facing the other way. I thought I, I kind of registered that as like an idea of what what's the he saying. Was. Can, can I interrupt like, so I understand? Yeah. He's, lean, he's sort of standing up, seated behind, seated behind Mike Tyson. Yeah. And like leaning over at the waist, over hovering yeah, he's, on yeah, top. Yeah. He's of like, it. he's like, and Mike's like looking up, being polite, talking to him for a while. At some point, and the video's like a bit chopped up, <clears> at some point, <throat> things went awry. And uh, Mike comes over his own seat on top of the man. And I think maybe he's got one arm like against the guy's throat or chest or something. Mm -hmm. But the other is just throwing these rapid little right hooks. <laughs> like, like oh, one wow. Look at that guy. Such a great face that the guy does yeah. after he gets his yeah, ass Yeah, dude. I, yeah, I mean, funny. we're talking about levels of wealth. Mike Tyson <laughs> just beat the shit out of Elon Musk. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Elon's hair is better than that. Uh... Is it? I mean, no, he's doing musk mouth for sure. <laughs> is that musk that, mouth? That, that pouty musk mouth? Yeah, he does have is a Is that what you call of... duck lips when a man does it? Elon <laughs> Musk have, has fucking dick sucking lips. Elon Musk has had so much plastic surgery that he's looking a little weird now. Like, if you look I at the current, is it? I need no, to look at looking... before and after. What, what, what are you noticing? Is it, the, is it a cheek thing? Well, the hair. and But yeah, what I'm seeing is like weird wrinkles in like his cheeks and jaw. I'm looking for a picture that I think shows it. Well, I mean, he travels very fast. I, I understand, and I think maybe you're seeing the effects of the inertia on him. Um, <laughs> it could it's be a hyper speed photo of him coming by. Really, well, quick. the guy's the guy's always on the move. Yeah, see, right I, there, moving 150 miles okay, per hour. You can't say that like um, the hair surgery wasn't a drastic improvement. I mean, oh, oh yeah, yeah, I'm pro improvement. hair surgery. <laughs> Um, the, the you rest really of his have face... to be critiquing him to say that this is a worse look than his younger self. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I can't tell a difference other than his hair and his well, face. They, honestly, they, he just yeah, looks they, older. Maybe they, his they, nose a little bit. They they made his nose uglier. Um, they they got that straightened out for him. They're like, he's like, hey, I got a pretty nice nose. What can you do about that? We can ruin it. <laughs> 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 Give me one of those. Look yeah, at his it. lips are as pouty as I remember. Like the the little. I don't know what we call nose lobes, but those are smaller too. The nostrils, <laughs> nose yeah. lobes. Well, like, well, what I mean You're is like retarded. the nostrils. <laughs> I think of the nostril as the hole, right? Just like uh, you know, the, there's the nipple and the areola. Like, like, like mm -hmm. the, the, the 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 nose lobe is the areola of yeah. the uh, of the, the nipple. Uh, oh, you mean the chest nubs? <laughs> sure. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, chest nubs. Yeah. <laughs> What did you right. call it? The nasal. <laughs> I don't. Like, the nasal lobes. <laughs> the nasal lobes. That's that's what they're called. called. That's, there's a yeah. there's a picture that shows yeah. it pretty well. I think his skin sits on his face in an unnatural, almost men in black way. Sometimes. Are you suggesting that perhaps there's a smaller being inside of Elon Musk, puppeteering? Smaller him? than Elon Musk. I mean, it, well, the, it would unless he's larger on the inside, like a TARDIS. But I'm not going that far. <laughs> I. I <laughs> You know he's had plastic surgery, and you know that his face kind of goes wrong. And when he smiles, the wrinkles are in the wrong spot. Uh, yeah. he, he just looks a little unnatural to me. I don't know. This could be my inner hater coming out because he hasn't delivered self-driving cars like he said. That Maybe that's the root of all this. Apparently, the for he's so afar ahead of the forecast that they had one of their best days ever. I was just watching. Um, oh, like, sales-wise, yeah. I, no, no, no like, like everything. Like, like, they're, like they're expanding their factory. Like everything is... 
they gave like an earnings report or whatever. I don't have it in front of me, but it was like five or six things that I guess the investors are looking for. And it's like, oh, yes, 60 percent ahead on this. And, and then they went through the list. Um, and uh, I don't know. The guys on Bloomberg were super psyched on it. I, I, I was just half ass watching it earlier. Um, I wish he'd start a new cool project. I've totally lost interest in electric cars. I heard he. Well, well, <laughs> you know, those robots. Robots, robots is better. I'm more interested in that. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm interested cool. in robots that make me do less work. I want a robot dog that makes make, me love it. No, 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 no. Make I want the robot robots. human, and I want it to be walking like a dog. I want a Roomba just on all that fours. mows my yard. Yeah. That's what and I and want. you could and Sam, you could Dress program it, like it to human. compliment you. <laughs> what, <laughs> would you, would you want a man contact. or I want that thing to look at the ground at all times? So you want like a subservient <laughs> bot person, right? Just the mm -hmm. most Which, like the the worst way you could ever treat a human. I want to treat my robot like that. To do like household chores and stuff? Just whatever. Whatever like, you told it to do. It might just much. stand on its back and I want to crawl on all fours of the mailbox so I don't have to move really. <laughs> would you go with like? Would you want a man? You don't or a even woman? have it do things because if you got a, if you got the male bot, then I feel like he'd be able to he'd be sturdier and he'd be able to do more work, obviously. Mm -hmm. But if you got the female, yeah, but it's more then you got a better to be carried around by a woman mm. robot than it is to be carried around by like a big masculine robot. Would you? What color would you want? Uh, <laughs> silver. <or> silver. <laughs> I don't care. Uh, I don't no, really what care. What color would you want? Say like uh, what color would you? Uh, probably it? I wanted to look like the iRobot robots. Probably just the. Oh, so you'd want a white one. You. you yeah, I want a white one. You wouldn't buy a black one because that, you don't like that. How nonsense! I don't, I don't want it? to punch down like that. If I was black, I would get a white. Oh, that they're down. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. How, how <laughs> stupid did the did, did the iRobot <laughs> that, that movie iRobot? How stupid do they think the viewer was that they were like, oh yeah, whenever the robot turns evil. Its eyes just go red. Its but eyes like, go red, yeah. But but why? Wouldn't he want to keep his eyes blue so he could <laughs> blend in with the other million identical robots? That movie did suck. Did you <laughs> did you notice like how many times they try and get you to drink Diet Pepsi throughout that movie? I haven't seen it. It was either Diet Pepsi or Diet Coke. It was like there were like it was so obvious to the point it's like Coca-Cola clearly paid them to have like coke trucks drive by and like well, will smith sit down and be like i'm stressed about this robot world give me a, a cold coca-cola you know what got trademark there, <laughs> there's two of those that, that irritate the heck out of me one is um the will smith movie where he's the last guy in the world they're very aggressive zombie I, vampires I yep i am legend i am legend and their ford placements was so obvious the yeah. opening scene is him tearing around the streets there's no one chasing him in a Ford Mustang, just being badass. Just looks like a car commercial. <laughs> I, I, it did look like a car commercial. You're yeah. absolutely right. They got paid. Um, the reason it's not as like, why would you even do that? Is because if you go back to the uh, the movie, so it's been done three times, and then there was a book before that, the the story of like the the last man alive. But the uh, the, the cool one, Charlton Heston is called like um, Omega Man, man. Uh -huh. and uh, there's a part right at the beginning. I think he's a Camaro or a Corvette though you know, mm. a GM product and he's tooling around like being a badass. And then like out of nowhere, he pops up with a machine gun and like just kills a bunch of zombies. And that's how you're introduced to the fact that like Charlton Heston is in a post-apocalyptic war world cruising around in a Corvette. And as soon as he sees these guys, he's got a machine gun ready. It was, it was fun. It's a fun little movie. Will Smith made it so goddamn sad with his hallucinations and his dead fucking dog. Cry yeah. me up. Jesus Christ. Dude. There's another one. Walking Dead. You guys know I watch The Walking Dead. I've seen it more than once every <laughs> yeah. episode, etc. Um, it takes place in 2010. Probably everyone knows that. These 2011 Hondas are all over the place. And every car is like a shitty 1986 Chrysler K car covered in mud and dirt. Except for these brand new, shiny, clearly daily washed Hyundai 2011 cars. Son, <laughs> go get the go get the Sonata. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> you like start getting in the truck, and it's like we got to get out of here. Oh, get in the Sonata. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, look at that! Every car is a rack. They're unattractive, They're, except for the beautiful I, Hyundai. Yeah, thing. I think it's got the corner angle and everything. <laughs> we're gonna if we're gonna make it out of this coral we're gonna need a hyundai tucson 
in olive drab. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, they drive around. Sea foam. Look they at that. The, the, the other that. car's got damage on the hood. The other yeah. one is ugly and square. And then Coral, the notice how the highway ride is so smooth. I can hear the zombies <laughs> coming up. I, it's such a silent cab ride. I can hear the zombies in the forest. I, I forgot what Rick's the voice sounds economy. like in the because show. Because of the fuel economy. <laughs> I haven't watched it in day. many years. I don't remember what he sounds like. That's like but a Texas so- oil man and he's supposed to be like a georgia boy <laughs> he's, he's kind of sounding more looney toony than he actually was yeah. i say i say we need to get rid of these i zombies. said look at me boy look at me oh. yeah Hyundai, that is so funny a hyundai Fox tucson I, when i worked at enterprise i drove those all the time those things fucking suck they suck they're not I what said you choose the, in the zombie apocalypse no i said the highway drive noise oh, because that's a cool one it sounds like there's so like there's a midget in your back seat with symbols when you're going over <laughs> sixty in this thing. It's terrible. Yeah, but yeah. They had ter- XM radio, so that was the good part. Yeah, that's not good. My truck came with XM radio, and I opted to not like it. You know, like, like I don't know. I just don't like XM radio. I really just want to listen to my phone, audiobooks or Spotify. Mm-hmm. That's what I actually use. So anytime my phone's not plugged in. It like reminds me what a cheap bastard I am not to have XM radio on the built-in radio. And it, it's like, hey, if you want to listen to this, you're mm-hmm. going to have to cough up some money is the only station my radio wants to play. Yeah. And you'd think I'd change it to FM or something if, from when the time is not. It goes back. It always yeah, finds. And, and there's like five channels. Your phone, FM, AM, and then like XM radio, XM radio, XM radio. So most of the time it would land on it anyway. Most of the channels are XM radio. It blows. XM radio built in your car is not a feature like you think it is the day you bought it and for the first six months. It's actually like advertising built into your car that you wish you didn't have. I'm oh, sure yeah, you're, you're right. Able that shit. That's like but, the like, most Captain Hindsight shit I've ever heard. Like, <laughs> duh, nobody listens to XM radio or the radio at all. Like, <laughs> yeah, you got, yes, your, you got Spotify, you got Bluetooth now. Like, yes, XM mm-hmm. radio sucks. It's a, it's a negative. Yeah. It, if I bought a TV that played its own ads, that would be parallel to my car. Yeah, yeah. But that's also XM like me, sucks. like saying now, like guys, laser disc. Hate to break it to you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hate to break it to you guys. Laserdisc ain't the future, all right? Ob- it wasn't it's obvious to Digital me. media. This is like 2018, and I hadn't bought a new car for 15 or 16 years. They were still this- putting in cars in 2018? Like, is yeah. it? Oh, yeah. Is I it think they still are now. Dude, their whole business model is like sticking it in cars and you know, six months free, try to get you addicted. That's the way. Oh, this it's brings. like McAfee with like, it's just it, yeah. Norton like preloaded on a computer and you're exactly. like, get it out of here. Like, yeah. Yeah. Like coming with so a few, McAfee yeah. is not a good thing in your computer and coming with XM radio is not a good thing in your car. Oh, like, by the way, some of the, uh, oh, go ahead. McAfee was on my podcast, on your podcast. Yes. He's dead now, right? So yeah, he won't be died. appearing yeah, on any more himself. podcasts. Yeah. We, yeah. we, yeah. we Strike while the iron's hot, right? That's why we're going to get Warren Buffett soon. Poor guy. Oh, really? I don't know much about McAfee other than he was a lunatic, but he was an entertaining lunatic. The best kind. Yeah. And I thought, wasn't he supposed to have a kill switch with a bunch of stuff on it, and then nothing ever came of that? Yeah. Where he, like, like, left. He just made up a bunch of shit, hoping that, like, if he killed himself, it would... His ego oh, would yeah. get like, juiced up a little bit. You he know. was supposed to have, like, I don't know, papers on a boat sailing around the world ready to dock and expose whatever if they... That didn't happen. Yeah, I, I don't no. blame him. I mean, when I'm going to kill myself, like, of course, a year, I'll plan it or whatever. But, like, yeah, a year course. beforehand, I'm going to start making up lies about having a kill switch. And, like, oh, if I die, you know, no, it wasn't me. <laughs> And, uh, I'll switch make up. Yeah, yeah, I'll like have all sorts of shit I'll make up and then I'll die and nothing will happen because I'm not smart enough to actually make whatever a kill switch is. But uh, <laughs> yeah, you know, why not? That's- you know, actually, my suicide plan, you want to hear it? It's pretty good. I dense. do. Okay, so the whole plan is like, uh, you ever seen those, <laughs> those, uh, the things where like Evil Knievel where he jumps the Grand Canyon? Yes. yes, I would. I would set up a whole TV live TV event where it'd be like, Look, watch me jump the Grand Canyon. And so you expect me to come out in like a big, like fast car or something like a jet car. I'd just come out in a riding lawnmower with like a little flag <laughs> on. And you would watch me live on TV, just go up the ramp and then teeter off the ramp and fall down into the canyon. 
That'd be great. You could do it in yellow face it. in a fat suit like Homer on a skateboard. <laughs> 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 After I slam into the ground, I We're going to make everything. it. We're going to make it. <laughs> I want the pyrotechnics to go off at the landing spot as if I actually made it. Like, <laughs> time to have balloons lit off into the air and then everybody's like, oh my God, he just died. Like there was no chance to make it four after, feet. And like your your wife has to get, to get the news from <laughs> your attorney. He spent all of your money on the 30,000 doves that were released <laughs> as he was killed. <laughs> He's causing, he caused not only that, you owe money for the ecological damage yeah. of releasing 30,000 doves into that area. Yeah, that's a good yeah. way to do it, man. For sure. Yeah, I didn't think about the bankrupting of my family, but they're going to have to pay for that crime scene cleanup at the bottom of the Grand Canyon. I'm sure the ultimate be prank. Yeah. <laughs> hey, guys, I'm going to prank my family. <laughs> <laughs> I spent all the money on Tom and killed myself. It's getting to the point where they fucking deserve it, man. I was like, when you were talking about Kyle being sick nonstop, I was thinking about it. I was like, this guy's only bitching about this being a weird occurrence because he doesn't have kids. Like, mm, I have two yeah. kids, they're under three. Mm-hmm. I, they, they deserve what they just, get. They just come home and then they just <laughs> into my face, and I'm like, it's constant. And like, I yeah. got the the blood test or whatever to see if I had uh, antibodies for COVID. And they're like, oh my god, you had it? Do you know when you had it? When were you sick? I was like, I've been. Oh, it's all. It's all I've been. I've just been <laughs> sick for like a year. It's constant. I was like, do I have HIV? Like, why is this? Like, why is my immune system so fucking low? Yeah. That I'm just constantly coughing and shit. I spent Christmas just wrapped around the toilet. I was Ugh. like, oh, I'm finally feeling better because I'm not coughing. And then I just started puking and shitting everywhere. I'm like, this, what the fuck? And it's my <laughs> kids. They get it for like a second yeah. and then they pass it on to me. And my, my immune system hasn't had a chance to bounce back. I don't have a three-year-old's <laughs> immune system. She's frolicking around going like, dad, why are you puking everywhere? <laughs> Well, it's because when Dad was napping last night, you spit in my mouth. Yeah, (laughs) and you've been coughing all over my face and shit. I had my the one time I've had a friend, like a little collaborator, uh, someone else that does YouTube stuff. I flew him out to my house. I Mm -hmm. set up my basement to have a nice little bedroom for him and everything. And this guy, I was like, God, I hope I don't get him sick. But he's like, Don't worry, man. He's shredded. He's got like six packs, fucking Mm. super jacked and everything. He's like, I'm perfectly healthy or no, even if i get sick it'll, i'll be fine he was here <laughs> <laughs> fucking 18 hours or something <laughs> and he all of a sudden was just like oh my god <laughs> <laughs> and he pinpointed it to my daughter like we were eating spaghetti and we had like a baguette and we were putting butter on it and stuff and she goes, uh, my daughter looks at him and goes, Mr. Bizzle, you don't have any bread. And she hands him like a piece of baguette. And he's like, I looked at her hand and it was just covered. It was spaghetti sauce up her fucking arm on her forehead, all over the bread. And her mouth just had like boogers and shit. And he's just like, he's like, thank you. He told you, you can't not accept food from a yeah. three-year-old. Right. And then she sat there and just waited for him to eat it. Like, <laughs> go on. I was like, why didn't you just do the fucking oh, oh, oh thing? Like, he, he like, like when they give you plastic food. Yeah. He ate that shit in like, oh, the next day, dude. Hmm. All the, We brutal. were like, we were in the middle of recording something and you can see the footage. Like he's like smiling and stuff. And all of a sudden he, his face gets super serious. <laughs> Less than a minute later, he marches into the bathroom and starts projectile vomiting. Oh my. When, when I vomit, it's, it just falls out of me. Cause I have no core strength. I have no abs. This guy's abs. It looked like a Chinese finger trap. Like you can see all the side abs, like going whoosh, squeezing yeah. his stomach, <laughs> like a whoopee cushion and the vomit came out like a pressure washer. I was afraid he was going to shatter my toilet bowl <laughs> with how much force it was coming out. Impressive. And he pukes and then looks at me and like, he, I could see the regret from him just flying over. Like, he, he was just like, I'm fine. Like, it, don't worry. Because I was like, I am really sorry. Like, right off the bat, I'm so sorry. Dude, that, yeah. it is so fucking true. Because, like, I have so many friends now that have young kids about those ages. And none of them have autoimmune problems. None of them have been historically sick. And every other weekend now, they are grievously ill. Because of their every kids. every weekend, like, yeah. Especially since they went back to preschool, like there's been a wave I've seen where it's like, oh, we've had this on the we were at a barbecue plan for a month, and it's like, no, they went back to preschool two weeks ago. How is that? Uh, Susie's dead. That's that, that's like, yeah, I don't know. I, my family just started casting the fishing line in the lake every day, and 
Seems like we catch a few fish every week. It's wild. <laughs> it's like, yeah, you send those little fuckers out in the world to touch everything and lick everything, and then you're like, hey, come back home. Let's no, see what you like, got. Social space. Like, I'll just watch yeah. my daughter just walk up and like, like finger another kid's mouth. It's like, <laughs> what? Is, like, you don't do that shit. Like, of course, they like, they mingle in ways that other. You know, like you just grow out of that shit. Even by four years old, you're like finger fucking another person that you don't know is not like in their yeah. mouth. It's That's not wrong. normal. But apparently, like <laughs> three years old and younger, and they just do wild shit. Oh yeah, they, like I, I had never had someone cough directly on my plate before until <laughs> I had a, a couple friends over and they brought their three year old, and I was like, "Hey, what's up? You wanted to talk to me or everything?" And I was sitting, we were having dinner, and he'd already eaten his little chicken nuggets or whatever, and I have my plate of food. We'd grilled something, and he walked over just to see what we had, and it was stuff on skewers. And he's like, why, 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 why is there a stick on... <coughs> why is there a stick on your, pl <coughs> on your plate? And, like, I was like... <coughs> and I, like, look at the parents, and they're like, you have to cover your mouth when you talk. And he's like, but I don't want to know why the... <coughs> why the stick is... <laughs> in on your plate and it was and i was like that's disgusting and i kind of I, I continued to eat a little bit of it I didn't oh. get but it was like i, I didn't want to look like i didn't i didn't grill enough to just throw away two steak skewers you try my, being my that brave at my house at my barbecue you'll be fucking puking and shitting by the next day i'm telling you yeah, I, i'm not you gonna look her dogged yet. out there not getting sick <laughs> that was a healthy kid yeah that was a yeah, that was an unusually healthy kid yeah he was I, like, he was talking to me too. And like kids, like, you know, they start forming memories at a weird time. My two little dogs are afraid of him because <laughs> when he was like one and started to learn how to walk, he would go over and like act like he was going to pet him and then like poke, give him the old three stooges oh like in the eyes or he would like kick at them and he'd be like, hey, 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 don't do that. And he was like walking towards the dogs now, like recently, just a week or two ago. And the dogs are running away. And he's like. Why, why, why are Fozzie and Teddy afraid of me? And I was like, well, because you, you won't believe this, but you're an asshole. A couple years ago, <laughs> there was a kid that came around and he kicked the dogs. And so he's afraid of kids. And he was like, that, that, that's awful. I would never do that. Oh. He's, I'm like, well, you're going to have to. And, like, and so clearly he and just you like, show him the video and he starts memories. crying. I show him the video. This do you deny that this is you <laughs> to a three year old? But yeah, yeah I can't handle that. They don't have funny. the faculties. So your oldest is three, Sam? Yeah, I was just saying you just mentioned like your earliest memories, and I'm thinking like when do you like when do I have to shape up as a parent? Like what at what age do they actually start cataloging stuff? You four know? for like sure. Three or four. Four for three sure. Three or four? Yeah. I remember you can get away four. with murder. I remember one, like two. a lot of like year <clears throat> four. I remember a lot of that. I remember a lot of the like main, like, you know, how memory works, but it's like those mm -hmm. big events that happened, like injuries and like scary times and like fun times, things like that. You, you like story. I remember away. maybe a birthday party. Um, not too much. I think you could still have sex in front of four year olds. I remember my well, probably not. I guess you're gonna go at his house. Then. You you could. They're not gonna stop you. Like you, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, big career of laying down advice to people. Don't <laughs> fuck in front of a four year old. That's not a no. That'll be a memory. Well, this is now the way we, you establish. We change it up. Now we get home. bad advice. <laughs> okay. He's done a carry. He's done a villain arc now. Do bad advice. Fuck in but, front of your kid. Whatever the age. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's more they don't remember. At seventeen, they learn. You didn't cover your mouth when you cough. Now you gotta watch me fuck your mom. I'm I'm the kind of dad who plays for keeps. He needs he needs to know that I run that household. Oh, man. That probably would create a, a serial killer. I uh um those muscle like poundy things that you guys recommended. I went and bought one of them. Oh, I got Chris, the ant. Well, I, I say what I. It's got like a a like like for like putting on your like I don't know anything your legs or your arms or okay. whatever. It's like curved <clears> and. Uh, <throat> Because you know the, the expensive ones are three to six hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. And I think retarded. you both I think you both said you got something off Amazon maybe in the like fifty to a hundred dollar range or something. Mine was like sixty I, bucks. Four. Like what is I, that? I got one at one twenty, wore it out, got one at three hundred. That's my arc. Wore it out? What the fuck is this? So thing? all right. So, <laughs> it's a masturbatory toy. So so this is a this is a, a massager that you actually use to massage like sore muscles and stuff. Um very, it's got the LEDs on the back. This is the Amazon special, by the way. This was sixty dollars on sale, mm -hmm. but um, 
Like it's hard to see. it moves so fast you can't see it. It doesn't look Maybe like it, it feel on your, good. What the hell? Oh, it feels put it great. Your, put it on your cheek so we can see the movement. It looks like it would knock out his teeth. It really <laughs> hurt. I think it would. I think it it would. really. Oh, it would yeah. probably knock some teeth out. Yeah, My, yeah. We it's use ours to um, tenderize chicken <laughs> sometimes. Do you really? Mm hmm. That's a good think, idea. Is this like a? Don't do that. <laughs> push, push, push harder on it. Do something cool, Kyle. Do something cool. Do something pressure on me. <laughs> I'm, I think it's, like, it's going to spill coffee and glass in my lap. That'd be fun. Squeeze the glass while you do it. <laughs> yeah, um, I don't no, like mine. Really cool, I, used, I, I, don't. I, I used it like two or three different times after leg days because I'm like, this is going to revolution, revolutionize how sore my quads are. Mm -hmm. No, not at all. It, maybe I wasn't doing it long enough, but I can't imagine not doing it right. You just it turn it good. on and put it on your quads. But I don't think it was doing anything, so I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna sell mine. Still, I works put it on me. the maximum level and like really like grind away in my in my legs, and it's like excruciating. But but after it felt better. Yeah. I just have one of those foam wheels that I roll my gamer back over, and it mm. foam I'm not roller. I hate it's it. You out. Work. It confuses me. So hear me out. If if what muscle soreness is, is lots of small micro tears in the muscle. Why would beating the fuck out of it actually make it better? Now I do it. I like it. It makes me feel like I'm doing something. Like like oh this hurts. I'll just make it hurt so much that we get all the pain out. Like I don't know how that makes sense. So I think it's a couple of things. Blood to it. Yeah, it's uh it, it's get it's bringing blood in there. So it's 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 flushing out all those all that dead material and uh, speeding up the healing it which is process. But also I think that um man I'm real. I've been smoking this thing too much, huh? He lost, he's mm. he's doped out of his gourd. Is he muted? Did I mute? He's muted. I'm okay. He might he's be figuring again. out his mic. Uh, oh, all he's right. Gone. We'll never know how that story ends. That's yeah, uh, that, and that's, that was ramping up to be a good one. God, yeah, Kyle's yeah, leaving no the podcast. Now. <laughs> yeah, Taylor's gone. It's just me and you. I think he was going to yeah. explain how muscle massages work, and yeah. uh, I bet. What? How backed by science do you think it'll be? What muscle massaging? Yeah, I don't fucking know. Yeah. I don't know. What? What? Like his opinion on it? It just like I don't know. Like I don't think it's lactic acid. I think it's little tears in muscle and i don't see why beating your muscle would make it better muscle they say blood flow but it, uh it makes my chicken cutlets better it does it's make like, my chicken cut yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah that that shit better <laughs> now if you're talking about whether or not beating that shit makes it taste more good and food then that, that's up my alley but i don't know about <laughs> i didn't yeah. know there was not only a man that owns a muscle massager but fucking the three of you have like a weird little massager cult what the <laughs> you know, I was with you with until you, you called us have weird. Those things? <laughs> <laughs> I, I wore one out. So Zach wrote, muscle massage will help your muscles heal. Rubbing the muscles and using pressure facilitates circulation by breaking up congested areas and then allowing a flush of blood with the release of pressure. Oh. This increase of blood flow to muscle tissue feeds your cells both oxygen and nutrients. This is all premised on the idea that my muscles aren't getting blood, and I'm not sure that's true. It gets more blood. Yeah, it gets more more blood. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. But you were about to have some sort of riveting conclusion to that, Kyle, and then you like Well then then like like as my out. mic was fucking up, I could hear Woody's anti lactic acid propaganda. Uh, <laughs> and, and I just didn't even wanna uh, justify that, that, that kind of talk with uh, with any further retort. Oh, okay, so you had your whole arc of first roaring anger as you were reconnecting. And you were like, he's not even fucking worth it because he's too old and set in his ways. He's not going to believe it. New information doesn't even. He won't even remember it next right week. Off of him. Yeah. Next week, we'll have the same he's conversation. Like, he doesn't know again. what the hell's going on. Look at yeah. him. He's like, Eisenhower's still president. He doesn't fuck. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of my, back in my day, since <laughs> back in my day, when I started watching you, you were already retired. All right, <laughs> <was> like <laughs> yeah, I, I gave working a good try. It wasn't for me. Oh, I forgot to I forgot to mention this shit. So I was like, no offense, watched you guys started making my own videos. When you make them, last thing you want to oh. do is fucking watch them, right? For so sure, I, sure. yeah, and then I was like, hey, I found out you guys had the PKA thing. I didn't even know it existed. I found out about it. And this was a couple of years ago now. And I was like, what's Woody up to? I went to go look at your channel. 
This dude's a fucking grown ass man with kids, a wife that loves him and everything. I know what's his coming. recreational activity is putting himself on a fucking lawn chair with a box fan and flying around in the <laughs> sky. And he's like, let's fuck it. I'm going to kill myself. I don't give a fuck. Like you're supposed to take those hobbies. Like Kyle can do that shit. You dude. get like a family. No one cares dude. If I die. Yeah. No one gives matter. a shit if you die. People are waiting for you to die. You got like a podcast revenue share. They're waiting to split up. They're going to poison you one day. You'll be in here the moment I'm dead. Oh, for sure. Yeah. I'll take a spot. See, it, it, now I hope you die. I don't even See? know you really. And I'm, I, I'm <laughs> you dead, like in two seconds. But like, what do you got dependents and stuff? You can't be zipping around and shit. <laughs> like I the mean, old man and up. What you're saying makes sense. But the truth is, I can do all those things. <laughs> <laughs> you can do all sorts of things. You yeah. can rob a bank. Your what? rules will apply when someone else in this house can beat me up, which is not happening <laughs> until Colin turns 21. Is, so, there, is, is this what you know really what it is? Is you've realized <laughs> the kids are old enough they can get by without me, mm -hmm. and the wife's young enough she can remarry. Doesn't mm -hmm. matter. I'm at that sure. perfect age. It, that's that's it. Yeah, where she's it's, got a, a nice little package put together with my money. <laughs> yeah, so she'll she'll have no trouble finding a suitor. So that's the plan, I guess. Yeah, no, I was looking for a video. Dude, my YouTube channel is constantly like asking me to verify with my phone and stuff. Now it seems to happen twice a week. Hmm. Is that everybody? Just me? Um, I've got a few things to do that, but uh, in any case, I wanted to show you a video of like what I'm doing this weekend. I am an acrobatic paragliding pilot, and I flip upside down and do all sorts of risky shit. And uh, we're doing it this weekend, this year for the first time. I'm so jazzed. It's are you ready? Well, Have you been like nice learning meeting you <laughs> and nice knowing you? Yeah. Have you been learning like new tricks? Is there something you're going to like sh show the boys for the first time when you get there? Like now I'm doing the in inverted ass fuck. It's almost the opposite. Like oh. at the end of last season, I learned a new trick that like very few people on earth can do the loop de loop. Yeah, the loop de loop. It's called the infinite tumble. And I was very excited. It's, it's like, I, I guess I thought I was at an age where I was done like life accomplishments. Like there were there would be no more. Right. It it started off like back in the old days doing like the 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 life saving. Like that was that was a big thing. I still hang my hat on. And, and then, you know, there was some like athletic accomplishments accomplishments in swimming and and uh and then that was I guess I was proud of my YouTube audience and some money earning and stuff. And then it was like, that's it. That's it. For the rest of my fucking life, nothing cool will happen until I learn the, the infinite tumble. Yeah, it's not up there. <laughs> I, I'd mention making than money, saving a life or two. <laughs> yeah, there, baby, the, the earnings. Like I'm kind of proud of running a successful business. Um, mm -hmm. But uh, but then I thought it was like done. Like I would never do anything cool for the rest of my life. I would just sit there and talk about the shit I used to do. And I learned the infinite tumble. And uh, like I, I have like a little a lawn chair. Friend. Look at me. <laughs> <laughs> I have a little friend group. We were all chasing this move. And and I think if you would have watched us fly, maybe you wouldn't have guessed. Would be the first one. It's like yeah. a somersault. Head over heels. Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. I, I I I I am very impressed that you call that the I, mean, I bet there aren't many people who can do this. However, like you were competing with your friends, so you could do it first. Are they all in a similar situation where they can take off from their backyard and practice anytime they want? That's not his problem. Yeah, that does sound like a problem. Right? <laughs> it sounds like a them problem. Is that yeah, yeah, by yeah, a yeah. non-infinite tumbler. Actually, so this is a move that <laughs> the way I do it is I learn over water where it's a little safer to fuck up. And then, um, uh, oh, wait, that's me. That's the video. How did Zach find it? It's unlisted. Go ahead and play it, Zach. It's, it's a little stuck. I don't know. Maybe he needs a newer computer. But... Uh, Wow, we are really not working. How cold does it get up there? So this was in November. Well, you need a, uh, why don't you use a good camera for this? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> don't you uh, love a question like that? <laughs> <laughs> um, the thing on my face isn't really for cold. It, it's, it cuts the wind noise across my ears because it's loud as fuck to be dragged along at 40 miles an hour or whatever. But, uh, but yeah, so this is it. You can see I'm kind of doing like a front somersault over it if you can make out what's going on yeah and uh it was a really cool move it was a big moment for me and there it is look i didn't die. okay it's smoothing out okay, yeah but it's know. over <laughs> i like that i like that face wrap you've got you look like you little you literally are like eight hundred dollars worth of equipment away from being a superhero 
Like you just yeah. need a little bit of weaponry and armor and you're there. Like some lightweight stuff. Like that that's what you would tell your like <laughs> your your Alfred or your Q or whoever's like gonna design this shit. You'd be like, you gotta be lightweight. Like there'd be have a lot you, of carbon uh, fiber in there. You'd use a gruff wine. Have you considered using, you know, a plane? <laughs> no, I want to fly on this ridiculous lawn chair. <laughs> if I use a plane, they'll know for sure I'm a billionaire. <laughs> this way, I just kind of look like a lunatic. <laughs> I was about to say, aren't you in the South? I'm in North Carolina. You're in North Carolina. That's yeah. That's uh, that's right there. I would watch fuck out, dude. If yeah, I was about to say, if you were oh. flying over my property, dude, I would be like. What? Like <laughs> this is a couple years ago. <laughs> yeah, There's one property that to me is like a maze. Like you can zip around and it's not hard to navigate, but it there are I don't know, I call it a hundred feet wide filled with trees that are like 100 feet tall and you can zoom around and there's turns and stuff to make so you're like banking sideways turning and it's a blast to me a little dangerous but it's it, it's a really good time and i'm zipping around a couple feet off the ground between these t trees doing like following the path and there are two turkey hunters there and i can tell i have accidentally fucked up their day like i don't think there's any turkeys joining me in my flying escapades and these two guys with their guns are looking at me murderously and i'm just like i'm so sorry and i left but do so you yeah, know what you should get for your rig is what? some kind of horn <laughs> <laughs> you should be able to communicate with people on the ground and it have a Coming voice in. <laughs> uh, a megaphone would be awesome that would, that be, would really be cool. Fun. Yeah, just alert like, hunters straight down off your off, off your chair. Off your chair. You can sit there and do this. Yeah, that'd be dope. <laughs> you could do good some idea. like you could do some like like maybe there's some bad weather coming in. Hit the skies, right? Let the neighborhood know. Let yeah, the neighborhood know. Tornado warning. Let them know when you're up there. Severe thunderstorm <laughs> warning. I'm. <laughs> Now I'm in 300 it. feet above the nearest object, <laughs> sitting I, right by a metal. Actually, I guess you wouldn't get shocked. You aren't grounded, are you? No, lightning hits airplanes and shit all the time. Yeah, all the time. Yeah, I don't know I don't how lightning know how works. That works. I don't think anyone's ever hit a. Uh, or I don't think anyone understands a motor. It's one of God's yeah. wonders. <laughs> <laughs> one of nature's it mysteries. Nature's mystery. One of nature's yeah. mysteries. What is thunder? <laughs> the long-standing <laughs> wisdom has been it's God clapping. <laughs> <laughs> and science only proves this point for the, the dude. Those are the kind of videos I had to like watch in Sunday school, where they'd be like, <laughs> "That's just some like badly acted trio, like in front of the." And they would do like live action stuff. I know Kyle had to go to Sunday school and stuff like that, but I remember at least one evolution thing. We're like, I'm seven. I don't have a dog in this fight, and I don't care. But they're like, dinosaurs? What a fable. And I'm like, immediately, you've lost me. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. you, you're going to tell a five-year-old dinosaurs are fake and expect me to pay any attention at You had seen Jurassic all. Park. I'd already seen it, those dumb bitches. I knew dinosaurs were real. And I knew that those fucking scientists who said they might have feathers, I knew they were wrong, too. And look who ended up on top. I want to run a Democrat church. Steven Spielberg? like... Adam and Eve ate the apple. That's how we learned about cancel culture. <laughs> Next is Tucker Carlson. <laughs> it makes it's, a lot of sense. To me. Adam and Adam. Yeah. <laughs> you guys see that video of Bill O'Reilly like yelling at the airport person? No, it's I can recent. believe it. What happened? Yeah, he's just. By the way, that dude aged. Like he got off TV and he was just like, "I'm turning into an old man now." Like he just looks <laughs> old as shit. And it's one of those situations where the person's like, "Hey." uh, the your plane's not going to be on time or whatever. It's like canceled. Your flight's canceled. And he's like, you're personally responsible for this. He's like, I'm going to fucking, you're going to get fired, bitch. I'm Bill O'Reilly. Like he basically said that where he, he name dropped himself and then said that they were going to get fired and then like teetered away. Like I've never seen like, he's what, just so what if they old were, looking. What if they were like, you're not Bill O'Reilly. <laughs> Bill O'Reilly looks like a, like Gene Hackman. Like, yeah. like virile and yeah. strong, virile. Not an old fucking man <laughs> that's like doing that weird bent back thing that old guys do. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's a, he's a way. I'm watching the video. Yeah. He's a way bigger guy than I thought he was. He's is he like six four? He's a yeah, big he guy. must be. He's yeah. towering over everyone else in the video. Have you seen the new Tucker Carlson special? I don't. I haven't Tucker seen Carlson. a single one ever. Ever. So I don't watch the news. <laughs> 
<laughs> the news. So, so like Tucker Carlson <laughs> has, of course, the regular show where he does his monologues and stuff. But he has another like I think it might be Internet based <laughs> where he does these longer like series types things. And if I understand the premise, I've only read about it and watched videos about it. I haven't seen it directly, but I'm curious. He's saying that in men, testosterone or sperm counts are going down. And it's changing the way our culture works to allow LGBTQT women to be the dominant cultural movement. And these beta guys are like just being roughed up by them, getting cucked. And that's why the nation is moving to the left and Democrats are the way they are. Like it's basically the premise of it. And that and seems unrealistic. That seems mm -hmm. like something that only a guy that has everything in his life paid for would even fucking care about. <laughs> <laughs> I was stuck on this idea like, of Tucker Carlson like calling everyone up now. Like, what else are you going to be pissed off about? He's going to be like, uh, dudes aren't as strong or whatever. <laughs> They're doing more things now. Like, How, how's cares? Tucker going to call everyone a beta cock? Tucker, like, think of every anchor man in like the in the news, right? Chris yeah. Cuomo kicks Tucker's ass. A this prime guy. Chris Wallace kicks his ass. Jake Tapper kicks his ass. Uh, uh, Sean o Sean Hannity, I'm looking for. He kicks Tucker Carlson's ass. A prime Bill, you're on mute, Taylor. A prime Bill O'Reilly. Can is there anyone more beta than Tucker Carlson? So let me get this straight. Now, you can take Rachel Maddow. Touche. Do, yeah. do you do you have to be tough to tell the news though? You have to be tough to call everyone else a beta cuck, low T idiot. I think it does help to be a bitch it, if you're a news you missed person. The point. He's talking about like you like haven't our, seen you never even culture, heard of this. Right? Well, I'm just going on the way you described it. If anyone's mm -hmm. at fault, it's you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah Name one bad right. thing Tucker's done ever. One. Uh, you got me. You Name one, one bit of he was trying to keep us out of Ukraine. You can't. Um, <laughs> <laughs> He I, I, <laughs> he's on Russia's side. I don't know. And I don't I, say that like my interpretation. He's like, if, they're telling me I can't be on Russia's side, which I am. I, th so, I think so that it a seems lot of like people agree with, uh, agree with what Tucker's saying there um, to a point. Like him mixing the LGBT thing or whatever in there is is, is like his own like spin on mm -hmm. something that's like a, a widely held little cultural belief by a lot of like uh, sociologists and I don't know internet scientists. I know that like uh, his his like point about gay people or whatever. I don't understand that, but mm -hmm. I know that like like scientists have been tracking testosterone for a while. It is going down, like because yeah. because of, of like environmental causes. They think that like the use of some plastics and stuff that can get into you because like it like that's why there's like a big thing of like BPA free now with plastics because like it used to be they didn't you know use those for shaker bottles and then they're like oh fuck we did a bunch of research and it looks like this has something in it that's leaching out into your drink and so i i could totally see like think of how much the world has changed in since the industrial revolution like we're dealing with stuff in our environment that no other large human populations ever have before so it seems like it'd be hard to narrow it down i don't Do you think argue. testosterone kind of like um you know like masculine uh how, how am i trying to phrase this here do you think like uh I don't hunt for my fucking food. I go to the grocery store and go like, I want the food and I get it for me. But like mm -hmm, mm -hmm. back in the day, you know, my grandpa, he went out and he was like, Hey, it's the great depression. I found me a possum. I'm going to put this thing in a fucking cage, name it, feed it a bunch of sweet potatoes. till it doesn't taste like garbage anymore. And then I'm going to twist its fucking head off and like doing like weird masculine shit like that. Or like going and like my uncle used to just go hunt boar and he would mm -hmm. shoot it and then it would be on the ground. He'd go over there and fucking knife it in the throat 37 times to make sure it's dead. I'm like, I would have like PTSD if I did one of those things. Like I can't even like. I've done all <laughs> those things. They're fun. All right. I, I think that I think testosterone yeah, levels probably they, have dropped. Where no, no. I'm saying like, do you think doing that thing, oh. do you think that's like that like. You know, it, it makes a more masculine person. That it increases your testosterone? Yeah. Do you think, like, doing things like that? Oh. Uh, like, I th my body I think that probably th knows it has no need for testosterone because I haven't done anything manly. Y you I, know, I, I know. I scared a dog that... off last week from my <laughs> oh, property. That's strong. So yeah, I know I that went, doing oh! squats. And it, like, ran. I got I... testosterone. My man boobs disappeared immediately. I felt stronger and more. <laughs> came back the next morning. <laughs> yeah. There's a bunch of um, environmental things like that that can increase <laughs> testosterone. I know that like doing squats like raises your testosterone, just like that physical activity of doing them does. Um, yeah. Heavy so lifting sure does. I'm sure there's lots of things like that.
Yeah. Oh. So I tried to find lifting? a better source for why testosterone is dropped than the other things. And it appears that this is according to Urology Times, which I assume to be subject matter experts and not political. It is a population in America has aged compared to where it was before. We have more old people than we used to. And the body fat has gone up, which also lowers uh, that makes sense. Oh. So fatter people and older people have lower T. Uh, they're not pointing to plastics at Urology Times, but maybe Isn't Tucker Carlson like, knows better. I, I have no idea. I, I just that, no. I've heard the plastic the thing is too. something I've heard, but yeah, mm -hmm. the fat thing is probably the most salient. Like an age, yeah, like being carrying that much adipose tissue like does fuck up your endocrine system. People living I mean, longer, long time. right? Like. Maybe I'm sure I don't know to what extent, but if uh, if everyone used to die at 70 and now they die at 80, then there's that whole chunk of population bringing down the averages that mm -hmm. didn't exist. Makes sense. Yeah. Makes sense. But you would think that like it would balance out somewhere. I don't know. Like like like. Yeah, I guess so not. You think no, you're right. We're you're masculine right. Yeah. now. Of course not. Of course not. And Maybe, the I boomers was... are such a big generation. You know, I guess that makes sense. They're kind of like top hit. I'd like to see Fox News take that approach. Average T levels are dropping because of you fucking boomers, and the whole audience is like, "What? You hurt my feelings." Yeah, not gonna, <laughs> like that's not gonna Tucker has to go on and be like, "In American news, you're all too fat." <laughs> immediately, yeah. like show canceled. It's like you want to you went against the golden goose, fat old people. <laughs> yeah. Have you noticed who advertises on every news network? It's dick pills and fucking heart medication. <laughs> Those are the people who buy products who still watch the news. Okay. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Your little producer here, guy hanging out behind the scenes, okay. is dropping information. He says uh, the average 20 to 34 year old man could apply 98 pounds of force with a right handed grip, down from 117 pounds by a man of the same age in 1985. Yeah. Like, we ain't working in factories no more, dude. We got computers and things. Like, of course, our hand grip strength isn't going to be. I'm with you. Like what it was back then. Like every dude like went off to go work at the factory when he was I in like seventh grade. All right. So the guy know? from 1985 could in squeeze the 100. If the guy from 85 could squeeze 115 or whatever, what could the guy from 1950 squeeze? I bet it was 130 or something. Yeah. And go back 30 more. The farther oh, you go sorry. back, mixed they're up just the getting stronger and stronger. With this one. Yeah. Okay. I'm back sorry. Back when yeah. everyone was a blacksmith or a wagon wheel maker, that number's 300. Yeah. Dude, yeah. My How much could a blacksmith do? as like his, uh, his like hobby? Dude's fucking hands look like catcher's mitts. Yeah. Like, it used to scare me when I was a kid. Like, he would, if, you know, like, if the adults say, hey, come here, and then you go, like, oh, no, I'm in trouble. And so you go to run. You'd go to run, and you'd feel that fucking hand grab your shoulder, and it was like a gargoyle. <laughs> like, <laughs> fucking hands. He had calluses around his fingernails and shit. Yeah, blacksmiths don't That's a cool around. hobby. Got, Did he make they, anything for you? Yeah. Like I a got, little dagger or a knife or anything? I got a shield right here. Get out. A kite shield. Oh, that's, that's, cool. when I was oh, really that's awesome. Into, I used to uh, play Diablo 2 all the time. I was like, I want a shield like the Paladin. And he's like, what did it look like? I was like, I don't know. And so he was like, okay, <laughs> I'll, I'll make you that. That's pretty cool. That's really neat. Yeah. yeah. And I got it taken away from me for a while because I hit my brother with the fucking sharp corner end on it. And then I wasn't able to have my awesome shield for like a year and a half. How Are you older than your brother? No, he's older than me. Oh, how much years. older is he? Five years. Five, years. Yeah, okay. five years. Yeah. So you must have I snuck up behind him to, to get a good strike like that, right? No, I always beat him up in fights. At Damn. five years younger, that's unbelievable. Is yeah, he? Can he, he walk? Well, he's he's one of those people where like uh, is he is, is he, he physically ambulatory? retarded? No, <laughs> no, he's actually he's bigger than me too. He's just a big guy. He's just one of the. He just doesn't have the. Some people just don't have like a fighter spirit, you know? Like they. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like some people, he doesn't like, have your like <laughs> yeah, yeah. He doesn't have your killer instinct, General Sam. No, I, I don't have like I'm not even like a fight guy, but I just have more than him. Like I would get rolled by basically the average woman, like let alone man. Like most people would roll me, but he's so far down the low the hole for me that like he How big he is would, he? He's pretty big. I mean, like six like, three. No, he, he's not that tall. He's just like barrel chested. He's like a big, he's a big dude. He's a blacksmith. 
No, that was my uncle that was the blacksmith. My oh. brother, yeah, this is my <laughs> right. brother that, uh, no, my brother kind of just looks like a fucking, he's like a biker dude. He's got, he's just big, big fucking beard and everything covered in tattoos. Doesn't look anything like me. Sounds but, like you were uh, a I'd scrapper. I would go to hit him and then he would, uh, he's five years older. Of course I'm a scrapper. I'm going to go for the fucking yeah. throat. I mean, yeah, yeah, it's. Yeah, and no. I would also, I was kind of, not to, you know, tug my own horn or anything, but I was kind of like, uh, you ever seen those movies, um, Sherlock Holmes? Tug like, your own horn yeah, sounds yeah. so much dirtier than toot your own horn. <laughs> yeah. That's a great one. I like that. I've never heard yeah. <laughs> You ever seen uh, Sherlock Holmes where he would, like, break down the scene of a fight before it happened? Yeah, it sucks. Yeah, I had like a really <laughs> retarded version of that where like I knew a conflict was coming and I would just like scan really quick for like the nearest thing to use as a weapon. And he was very much like, I'm going to just have a fight because this is my brother. And, yeah. uh, and I like we had this family cruise that we were going on and we got into a fight over something. I forget what. And uh, I took a birdhouse, like a decorative birdhouse, and I fucking just gah, right into his face. And I got the corner of it, like, <laughs> right in the forehead, and it shattered everywhere. And, uh, and I got in big trouble and everything. But then we went on the cruise, and, like, as you're going up the entrance <laughs> ramp, they take a picture of the family and everything. And we got this great photo of my brother. He has, like, an egg on his forehead that then has a bloody hole right in the fucking middle. It looked like <laughs> a jelly donut hole, you know? It, was, it had, like, a little bit of blood on it. <laughs> For me hitting him with that thing, but yeah, so like my brother's just kind of he... an overall pussy, is what I'm saying. And if I'm you're watching, that. it sounds like it. Fun. Sounds like, yeah. <laughs> what's he gonna do about it? The, the guy's got no fighting it. spirit. Get your ass beat again, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I got He's got shield, the shield right, right I got here. The shield back, bitch. <laughs> Come at me. Did, did he ever? Did he bully you when you were littler? Like, did, did he like when you were too small to fight back? Did he knock you around? No, he's he's like uh, you ever seen those mafia guys that come by and they do like protection rackets and they're like, oh, you know, yeah. you gotta pay us a little bit of money or else something might happen, you know. You gotta... and then if yeah. you don't pay him, they yeah, he would do shit like that where he would like act like he's your friend, you know. He's just <laughs> like, whoa, like Santa brought me like two kickballs and I'm like. Santa obviously brought us a kickball you and a kickball for me. <laughs> my mom can't sit there and go like, oh, Santa, like, because then my brother's going to be like, what, you talked to fucking Santa? You dumb bitch, you didn't talk to him. You were sleeping. Santa brought me two kickballs. And so, like, he would divvy up the fucking Christmas toys and shit. And I got, As like, though he was being magnanimous. <laughs> yeah. And he would do shit like that. And I don't know. I don't know how many times I woke up to, like, do kickballs. I would end up getting one back, but it's the fact that on Christmas morning it got robbed from me. Is basically, mm. I love that. Yeah. Look at this. That's Santa pretty shitty. Me too. That's and pretty shitty. None. Can you believe yeah. it again? Yeah, I, I used to wake up to like the sound of change clinking, and I would like roll over, and he would be digging through my change uh, jar, getting all the quarters <laughs> out, so he could. And then I would just like it's eight a.m. Like I, I can't just wake up and start chucking birdhouses at eight a.m. Like yeah. sometimes you got to pick your fights. But he would just do it knowing that like we're not gonna get into a fight to the death at eight a.m. Like I'm stealing <laughs> from this guy right now. Mm. So that's why I've always yeah. had a thing for like uh, locking shit up and like little boxes with locks and like hidey holes. And I used to take like Altoids cans and like put shit in them and then put them in a Ziploc bag and bury them in the backyard. Uh, my <laughs> uncle had a rug that if you pull the rug up, there was a safe, a cylinder safe down in the slab. And I was like, oh, that's like John Wick shit. Like his hidden safe under his house. That's so badass. And so, yeah, I should stop talking. Don't, if you guys break into my house and look behind picture frames and shit, I'm going to be pissed. Like, <laughs> I don't have any of these things I'm talking about. I have none of these things. How about, how about like when you pull a drawer out, like that underneath area of the drawer? There's probably nothing hidden in there at your house. I actually just installed a drawer on my desk yeah. that up underneath it or up above it is a hidden little area that, uh, like, when I moved this desk to Colorado, that's where I would store my weed. Child pornography. Oh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that's only when I have the desk in Colorado, Yeah, uh, which sense. is all the time I move it over there. But right now it's in Florida, so there's nothing there. Yeah. It's rough. Yeah. You know, they have medical marijuana in Florida, I hear. Oh, uh, and I have a herniated disc in my back. Or maybe I anxiety. I could get it for that, couldn't I? It's yeah. anti-inflammatory. Dude, you can get it if you just here, are like, Google, I want to get Google, high. 
Yeah, Google Florida um, medical marijuana, and there's like a whole process to, that'll walk you through. It's they, they hold your hand. Yeah. Oh my god. If and I get Missouri my hand has held? it. I imagine Holy almost shit. every state has it. This is incredible. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. I'm, I'm. I mean, if for some reason I get you know, or someone's trying to narc on me. I do have my license already, but thanks for the information. Yeah. Yeah. And there's a good stuff Reddit for it too. It's called like uh, legal Florida trees or Florida trees or something like that. And uh, like all the users find like the best dispensaries and uh, which ones are ripoffs and which ones have good shit. It's pretty mm. cool. Yeah. They got a whole uh, weird quasi thing in Florida. Florida's great. This DeSantis guy, like, like I didn't know anything about him, but he's been in the news so much lately that I've, I've just been getting exposed to him. So I guess, this thing he's doing to, to Disney, I guess they've been like sort of their own self-governing. I saw something about that. Are they Were they like a micro nation? What the hell is going on with Disney? Yeah, they Quas- the Vatican down there. They but- seem to have their own fire and police force. Mm-hmm. That's wild. They not have sure. to. I mean, they're they're so large. Like, so my, I didn't read about it. My wife was telling me about it. Apparently, they don't fully fund their own fire and police force. And the debt that they have gets spread across the other counties. So they're getting kind of a sweet deal. And and don't take these numbers to heart, but apparently they're in like the billions at this point. So what DeSantis is threatening to do, if this is even close Did to it. right. Okay, that, that part's news to me. Well, I mean, they voted on it today. Oh, okay. Then I'm, I'm a little out of date. It, it was going to cost Disney billions to sort of pay off the debt that had been previously spread around Wait. everywhere else. Wait, I'm the not, company collects taxes? Right? Disney? That's what it says right here. That's what the producer guy, he's the, the voice of God. He can't be wrong. He says right here, yeah, they they apparently, it's a provision that allows the company to collect taxes and Sweet. issue bonds. Issue, is that bans or bond? issue what? bonds? Yeah. I bet they can issue bans as well. Oh my God, yeah. Your band, <laughs> boom, Disney power. Um, no, I, <laughs> I was I was watching a YouTube video and um, the Democrats were screaming. The Democrat legislators were screaming to try to like delay the meeting. And of course, like everybody else is being a professional, so they're just hitting gavels and reading like the minutes or whatever the fuck they do. And now we'll look at <laughs> Bill Thirty One C B R. And meanwhile, it's like murder. They're screaming. They're screaming. <laughs> Blue haired, like screaming people in the background. And they're the legislators. They're so loud and obnoxious. And they literally like voted on like three things in a row. I think they redistricted um, the state. Um, uh, and then they're like, all right, got that done. All right, let's fix. And then they like took Disney's power away. And like, all right, we got that. And then they like went on to some other yeah. third thing. Now let's vote on this bitch shutting the hell up. Everyone. <laughs> <All right. laughs> yeah. So Florida had a normally the legislator. This is the state Senate and the state representatives district the the state which is determining the lines where the different representatives come from yeah. and uh, for some reason yeah. the ones that they came up with weren't okay so the legislation was like you know fuck it let's just let the governor do it and he's like oh no don't threaten me with a good time and i uh, must have passed today so if you're a Republican, this is probably really good news. Uh, I would imagine the Republican governor made lines that Republicans like. Nah. So what does it mean that, that Disney World is going to have or Disney's going to have to pay back for all the beneficial treatment they've been CNN, getting? CNN actually CNN getting a told me that news now, there. Yeah. according to CNN, now the Orange County taxpayer might be uh, getting hit with like twenty five hundred dollars per four fa- uh, member family now that Disney was footing the bill for before. But then that's CNN's propaganda for you. So I, I, I'm not sure. Fox News will tell me the opposite, that the families are all going to receive like a stipend or something. That is bullshit, though. Like just from any perspective, like like when Walmart, when you hear that, like Walmart, like every Walmart employee is also getting government benefits because they don't pay enough. And so it's like, okay, so we're just subsidizing a workforce for Walmart. That's bullshit. Like that's not fair. That's that's not fair at all. Stretch. When's the last time you you were in a Walmart? I haven't been to Walmart in a while. I have nothing against Walmart. I like it. What are you scared of them? No, I mean if I if I need to if I need to if I need to go somewhere and the get way you said it, anything, you're like, nothing against Walmart though. <laughs> nothing against, nothing against the, the esteemed Walton family. <laughs> God rest your souls. When's the last time I've been in a Walmart? I, again, I'm not afraid of Walmart. So don't I'm accuse of me of being too big a pussy. I'm, I'm not saying you guys are afraid, I'm afraid of Walmart. I'm you know, saying you're not you're white trash. Me of being I'm accusing you of, of having just a little class. 
You hear that, Walton <laughs> family? Kyle Myers in Northern Georgia says, "Give me all you got," because <laughs> 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 he <laughs> won't be bullied by these Waltons. Um, <laughs> you challenge them to fit. If I go to Walmart, it's typically when I'm on the road. You know, like I want. Um, uh pistachios or something for my backpack and i'm because they hold well on a motorcycle ride i wanted a uh an angle grinder the other day that mm -hmm. cost 22 dollars, and wouldn't you know it there's only one place in the world you can find that <laughs> so I, went to Walmart, <laughs> I got the cheapest i got the cheapest fucking angle grinder they sold and some of those wire brushes and i polished up all those uh those weight plates like stripped the the, the paint off of them and stuff and uh yeah walmart's great for like the cheapest shit you could mm -hmm. ever buy like, like like anything like that i go to walmart because it's close by and i don't know where else you go to buy like i don't know cheap cheap power tools that i intend to throw away in six months yeah i refuse to go i make my wife go i say i'm not going to step foot in there it's beneath me it's That's a smell I <laughs> yeah I know, I, no i just i think it's dangerous and i'll send her in and i'll go if you make it out alive please come home that makes a lot of sense yeah i, yeah. I think it's fair you're the one streaming Mm. Right, the bill's got to be paid. You know? I mean, this has, this can't get damaged, no, right? They can't. Oh. I mean, look, you'll go into Walmart right when she knows where the exfils are. Yeah. yeah, and more importantly, like right down the road, like it's not that much further of a drive. There's a fucking Publix, which you're never gonna get knifed or, you know, assaulted at a Publix. Yeah, Publix are like, nice. I like yeah. Publix. They're okay. They got good sandwiches, like yeah. the pre-made sandwiches, because they're cheap as shit, and it's like. Twice the size with the meat of a Subway sandwich. I always like right. it too because the bag boy always asks if you want to like help carrying your groceries out. And, yeah. and I'm like, I'm not going to ask like a physically retarded person to carry my groceries. Like that is no, that no. Is I, I do that every shit. time. No, I, I do that every I time. I feel like a dude. I, I hook Lord, my bags like, yeah, on the back me, of their wheel, cripple wheelchair. man. Bring no, my that, groceries. that makes those guys day. Like, like, like I feel like. Yeah. I bet they see that like the other guys who aren't retarded like often get asked by the old ladies to help them out, and they're like, "Why does no one ever ask me? They don't think I can do it." So I always find like the most messed up bag boy I can, and I'm like, "Dude, I, I can't handle this. Can you help me out? We make his day. We make yeah. his day." He knows you. He knows you can handle. He knows you're placating him. No, he you're doesn't. Fucking ripped. Dude, you can carry that's eight the best times part. more no, groceries. I act like I can't lift the milk and stuff. He's just and, physically and he retarded. His mind like, is oh. fine. He knows exactly what you're doing. He's not four years old, no. dude. He's like, no, I'm on Kyle's he team. Like, no, dude, me. the other day I'm at the movie theater and there's a guy in a wheelchair. He talks shit to me. And I'm like, it would be an insult <laughs> not to over. kick his ass, right? Oh, like, yeah, if yeah. I don't beat the fuck out yeah. of this guy, then I'm not treating him like I do everyone else. Yeah. So, so Mora was too much. Yeah. I thought. Like Looks like he you've got a date with a set of stairs, wheels. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You just bully him and then you're dropping banana peels behind you on this. He's trying to chase you. Yeah, um, <laughs> Spinning I'm, out. Yeah. I'm, no, I, I I agree with Kyle. Like you let him help. They feel mm -hmm. like I have I have an exact experience with this. I was carrying a 12 pack a couple years ago of like uh La LaCroix or whatever the fuck and I got it out into the parking lot the whole thing collapsed all the cardboard and all these cans fell out and who came the able bodied the the average IQ they're passing me not even looking not even caring and then this angel this kind mentally handicapped gentleman comes over starts picking up the cans with me he didn't have to do that he was on cart duty and I remember now every time I see that guy at that store at that Deerberg's I'm like yeah he doesn't remember me, but I don't say anything. I'm just like, yeah, I remember like that guy. Kids. That guy's tight. He helped They're me like out. And he enjoyed helping, I could tell. Oh, yeah. But I wouldn't like make a mess for them to get involved helping. Like I wasn't I wouldn't make him carry my groceries if I didn't need help. All right. You you know, know, there's just enough old I ladies that actually need help. They or something it. really it's small. Like, I'll be like, carry this for me. And then no, I'll lead like them out. Yeah, don't eat it. To my car. Yeah. <laughs> I know your type. <laughs> Taylor, Taylor, have you ever seen? <laughs> Taylor, have you ever seen like how happy huskies are when they get hooked up to the the uh, you know the the plow or whatever? Are you about to equate these people to yeah. dogs? Literally They're doing dogs? what they love. They doing mm -hmm. what they love. You know, mm -hmm. and you to yeah. you, you're like, I don't want to get hooked up to something and and pull some guy in a sled and yell mush. Mm -hmm. That that's the worst thing ever. Terrible. I don't want to carry groceries either. But to that guy, oh, he loves it. He loves it. He's a he's a PhD of groceries. He's mastered it. Yep. Yeah, I don't want them touching my shit. <laughs> my they, shit. they don't wash well, do they? 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want right. to catch your. It's like you go into the bathroom at that grocery store. <laughs> like fucking keep your hands to yourself. <laughs> Yeah. I, uh, Dude, like, you, you remember when you were a kid and you didn't understand, like, that certain things weren't diseases? Because yeah. I remember, like, I went into an old folks home with my mom. I'm like a young kid. And it was to see my great grandfather at the time. It was many, many years ago. And when I walked in, I was just like, oh, and I just walked around like this with my shirt over my face. Like, it was such... And I was like a four-year-old kid, and my mom had to tell me repeatedly, like, stop doing that. <laughs> like, st- you're walking around, like, saucer-eyed, like, smelling death for the first time in your oh, life. And it, you, you want to pull it up over your nose. And I remember it thinking in my smell, head, I, I didn't it? think, like, these old people are dying. Yeah, I thought, like, yeah. how is everybody else not covering up their nose from this Jesus. smell? And now you realize old people, their noses are shot. Their, their noses <laughs> is are Is that fucked. true? I've never experienced this. Yeah, what, you like, never, you never smelled the, like the smell of death. Yeah, the smell it, of it, old people. You know, when I was a no, kid, I would, a, I would actually, I would, smell, for sure. Old, old, and yeah, old people does. have it on them. Yeah, like if you yes, walk into you know like, what, like some the ICU <laughs> smells different than a, another fucking wing of the hospital, dude. You walk right, in those I, rooms I, and they forgive they me. Gotta, I'm a little confused about what we're saying here. Are you suggesting that people of a certain age begin to smell like death? Or are you saying that yes. where someone has died, then that room now smells like death? No, we're not talking about decomposing people who get flesh. to a certain age yeah. get to a smell of death. All right, well, that's like they, you can death. smell it's the not, afterworld it's approaching. It's not. You know what? You I know what? I can prove it. You know, like, that same? De- here's what you're doing. You're equating your death smell is the smell of like a hospital where people dies. I bet. I bet it's the smell of like bleach. And fucking maybe a little bit of like urine or something, and like the, it, it's it, it's the hospital smell. But there's that, no that's, the if, that, if you take that old smell person, like that, man. All right, you take a you take a hundred and three year old dying person out of that ICU, you drag them out on the beach somewhere in Florida, throw a little sand on them, smell them now. They don't smell like death. Well, you just they smell like a them dead with beach. the essence of beach. Yeah, you fucked it yeah. up. You, you can't. I'm if you artificially hide the death smell, and I could, like, I went, my great grandpa, he used to introduce me to his very old friends there at the old folks' home, and the ones that smelled like really very much of death, I would, I would curl up at the foot of their bed and sleep there, yeah. and I, I could almost predict Comfort their deaths. Them. Yeah, yeah. Like how close? And would I would be to the time when, when somebody was going to die. By, by the time I woke, they were gone. Every I was time? kind of an uh, yeah. God, it's yeah. fucked up. How old were you? I was probably two. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, This was last year. I was 30. (laughs) I can't imagine you curling up at the foot of my bed. (laughs) You're like a big dude. So I just imagine the bed's like compressed. Like people, you're laying on their legs. I'm totally on top of their little legs. It's like this fucking 250 pound guy laid over my legs and crushed them. And then he got up and I got blood clots into my heart. (laughs) Have you, have you seen those stories of cats that can predict when people will die? Now you can say that's obviously made up. No, (laughs) explain how all of these anecdotes from the same narrative driven old women who are bored line up the same. I dare you. Hmm. I got nothing. You're saying that all these people are just looking for attention and it happens to be that a cat can what? walk into any room and predict what? death pretty reliably? It, it's in like no. nursing homes, right? Yeah. Someone should tell like whoever comes up with that shit that like nobody cared when you were going to die anyway. Like like the idea that you have the date nailed down is not a big deal to us. Yeah. Dude, that's got to be the most depressing thing in the God, world. God, you were supposed to laugh. That was an awful thing I said. No, that that made <laughs> it, it made me feel sad, and, <laughs> and, it, and now it made me think about how horrible of a death that would be alone in a nursing home. The nurses are tired of your shit. They're like rude to you. Sometimes they smack you or something. Yeah, like the, the and most, just knowing you're gonna die. The most depressing thing. Do you guys know what a death doula is? Uh uh-uh. uh Okay, so what a doula is, is a, they're typically a birth doula, and they serve as like the mommy advocate at the hospital, right? They make sure that they're getting the attention they need, and they're just kind of like an experienced friend paid that, uh, you know, that's the doula. They're their helper. A death doula is someone who is your buddy as your mom or grandfather dies or whatever, and they've been through this process many times before, and they're just helping you understand what's going on and feeling a little better about it. We watched 
our mother-in-law as she fought uh, cancer towards the end. Okay. And uh, um, this person wasn't officially a death doula, but she kind of filled that role. She was a hospice worker and uh, she would come by and visit every day and kind of predict death. Like, you know, look her over and be like, you know, three to five days from now, like, oh, maybe tomorrow. How did you and, pick a good one? They don't have reviews. We didn't yeah, pick her, but we got a good one. So you know, the, the hospice assigned her to us. And um, one time she's over and she's with Jackie and uh, she would just visit for like 30 minutes and explain like what the death rattle is and the breathing patterns. And, you know, there was, you'd think a pamphlet wouldn't be helpful, but it was mm. just like reading through what's brand new information to us. Well phrased. Did you want to say something, Kyle? I didn't want to interrupt, but I had a question. Is the pamphlet all text or are there any cartoons of dying people in it there's like uh, pencil sketches of like things. x's over the eyes I no really not like that stick but, figures. <laughs> but like you know like you know a, a woman's hair and like a position she might lay in is like a pencil sketch type brownie thing. faces yeah. <laughs> no all right so let me continue anyway uh so one time she comes over and she's usually there for like 30 minutes and like she might help change the sheets and stuff you have to move someone this far along very gingerly and uh you guys are laughing at my mother-in-law dying i am not so that wasn't my intention <laughs> um one time she comes over and she's like she helps she does her she's finished and she does this like uh you know she finishes and she's like you know what maybe i should stay and that was her like this woman's got minutes left and she was right she could see that and she it was, was by the smell by the way that's <laughs> that's what it she, was no, death. she was yeah. by jackie's side uh in the final minutes of her mother's life and um on one hand this is like mm. literally a hero to me like some like this job the function that she serves is huge and valuable in this world but i could never do it for a Imagine, horrible job right they're always good hospice doesn't fuck around they my I just experience imagine, with hospice, like, every single person was super professional, and they did the same shit. They walked in, and once again, by the way, Kyle, fuck you. It was the smell. They walked in and went, "Yep, he's going." And they, uh, yeah, Who within like thirty we're minutes. About? Oh, it was my grandfather. Okay, they, they, they took a yeah. whiff and they were like, "Soon." They fucking they 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 even opened the door. They put their nose to the floor right at the crack, and they went. See, I've never heard of that, but I have heard. I, see, what we did when my grandmother was going, we had a guy come in with a divining rod. You know, like they oh. find wells with. Yeah. And he yeah. put that over her head to toe and he was like, eh, yep, yep, yep. Did he drop the little stick on her? You yeah. know, like if yeah. you it fuck up and then it did. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What are those called? The divining rod. A divining rod. Yeah, you've never they seen it. You can find do wells it? or dying people. Not dead people, not alive people, but right in between. Right that in thing between. will go wacky. Right purgatory over. people. I do it's know hot. they they say it'll lead you to water, right? Yeah. So I've had a well drill before or an attempt. Three, the way it works is you pay like nine hundred, a thousand dollars. Finding people didn't. He, he failed twice. He well, they I mean, hey, if it's not there, he can't find it. <laughs> um, so they drill three times, and like whether it works or not, we're gonna drill three times, up to three times. You paid him three money. times. No, you pay one flat fee, and the deal the is he'll. The deal is he'll. Drill no, you pay for the three, three drill holes. package. You get the beans. Yeah. A, he comes out with the rods though, and the rod dips, and he drills, and he's like. Nope. <laughs> and I'm like, hmm. And he gets back out with the rods and drills and nope. And then the third time he gets like a trickle and he's like, ah, I knew there was something here. <laughs> but it I still like wasn't enough for a one, while. I'd be like, fuck you, I'm picking the next spot. Like, this is my money. <laughs> <laughs> I, what, 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 am, what am I just guessing? I'm gonna throw a yeah, rock. It's more accurate than the stick, man. Like, there's no is way. Is the that... stick accurate or not? No, oh, it's a fucking stick. It, it, <laughs> Dude, it, it's called accurate. it's called water dousing. And it seems to be a way that you fooled people before science was around. Yeah. Are you sure? Oh, okay. So here's my story. This happened this fall, right? Later this winter. It just happened. Um, we have an underground hose that goes from the well to the stable. And in the stable, there are some like faucets and shit. Okay. Uh, there's a puddle in the yard that doesn't belong there. It's at a high point. Like it, water wouldn't collect on the top of a little mound. And I tried to convince myself that it wasn't a problem for a day or two, but it's not going away. And Jackie's like, you know, I bet a pipe burst that, that goes from here to there. 
and I stop lying to myself and I'm like, yeah, you're right. So I call my whole guy. I got a whole guy and uh, I'm like, I need a whole Doug and uh, this thing repaired. And he's like, I'm your guy. And he uses a witching rod. I think that's what he called it. It was like a coat hanger bent in a right angle and he follows it and finds the water. And I'm like, he seemed to genuinely believe this. And he's like, it definitely works. And he let me try it. And it's like twirling around in ways that I think I'm not controlling, but I don't know for sure. Because he's so convincing. I don't Dude, know. In his private you Facebook group later, question. he's like, I got, I got another one. <laughs> <laughs> you can't <laughs> shit on the death smell if you believe the coat hanger is finding water. Okay? Like, I there's don't. no way. I don't believe the coat hanger can find water, and I don't believe that anybody can smell someone and know that they're about. How about this? How about this? <clears throat> Guy's about to die. Um, you smell him. You got the scent in your nose. Mm -hmm. What if I rush in real quick and we provide some extra medical care and push him along for three or four days? Are you wrong? I, in this then instance? the smell wouldn't have existed in the first place because he wasn't exactly. About to die. Exactly. You were wrong. Check no, me. no, I think he'll just linger there. Like he'll just smell There's like no shit smell. for three days. There is. It, they're, they're like lungs and liver and everything's failing and their body their bodies stew. All right, all right, how about this? How about this? It's, there might be a very apart. there might be a very particular kind of death, perhaps one that involves liver failure that makes you smell a certain Things way. Things are you're, shutting maybe down. You're, they maybe just like, fucking their cells aren't reproducing right. There's just uh, it's like a it's a like I'm not talking like if someone gets whacked by a car and then they linger on for 15 <laughs> minutes on the sidewalk. I'm not going to walk by and be like <laughs> they don't have the scent. He smells like death. No, I'm talking about someone that's like their body has lived its max and yeah. it's like fuck it. Someone, I'm starting to shut down and the yeah. brain is still happening. Someone to be who's like marinating in death. Well, yeah. look, I'm, I'm going to hit up some hospices this week i'll i'll get Go back sniff to you. yeah i'm gonna yeah. sniff and I, I just found this it was the first result on google from a very pointed search i'll admit but changes to the metabolism of the dying person can cause their breath skin and bodily fluids to have a distinct smell similar to nail polish remover and then if it's bowel or stomach cancer it can be stronger so yeah. there is a smell I like that, that happens you went out of your way, the other believer here, went out of your way to go Google shit because you saw Zach was putting all this fucking uh, bullshit propaganda in the chat that was basically saying we're scientifically debunked and there is no death smell. But what yeah. does he know? He's just What does he know? This is yeah, from hospiceuk.org. Dot org, dumbasses. They don't hand those out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this I is. Want see, I want to see they literally sources. hand them out. I want to see his bibliography. <laughs> this is from the right wing nation dot fact, and it's <laughs> <laughs> that probably is a site. <laughs> That's like there is something. Do you guys feel the same way? Where like you'll look something up and you'll get the information you wanted mm -hmm. about anything, and then it'll be like a dot biz. And you'll immediately assume like these fucking clowns, like as if they know the right way to work your ROM boy, whatever the fuck the question I, is. I've been on the other side too, where it's like, oh, I've got a great idea for business. I'm going to name it, you know, the right wing fat, the truth from the yeah. right. And then truth from the right dot com is taken. Truth from the like, dot net is taken. And you're like, will people take me seriously if I'm dot org? Will, will yeah. people take me seriously if I'm dot fact or whatever? You have to just keep getting longer and longer. Find mm. us at the absolute don't ask questions. Your answer is here. Truth dot biz is how it would go. But I mean, do there's the so ads. many sites now. Oh, I do have to do the ads. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. one second. This show's flying by two hours in. That's been fun. Uh, yeah. spring has finally come, so let's help you do the same. That's right. This episode is sponsored by Blue Chew. Guys, confidence can take you far in life. It can also help in the bedroom, especially when it comes time to step up to the plate. That's where Blue Chew comes in. Blue Chew is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis, but in chewable tablets and at a fraction of the cost. You can take them anytime, day or night, so you can plan ahead or be ready whenever an opportunity arises. The process is simple. Sign up at BlueChew.com, consult with one of their licensed medical providers, and once you're approved, you'll receive your prescription within days. The best part? It's all done online. So no visit to the doctor's office, no awkward conversations, and no waiting in line at the pharmacy. BlueChew's tablets are made in the USA and prepared and shipped direct to your door in a discreet package. So if you could benefit from extra confidence when it's time to perform, BlueChew can help. 
And we've got a special deal for our listeners. Try Blue Chew free when you use promo code PKA at checkout. Just pay the $5 in shipping. That's bluechew.com, promo code PKA to receive your first month free. Visit bluechew.com for more details and important safety information. And we thank Blue Chew so much for sponsoring the podcast. Thank you, Blue Chew for deigning to sponsor us with your dick pills. We appreciate it. Bluechew.com, promo code PKA. Just pay the $5 in shipping. Get your dick hard, friends. Get your dick so hard that it's angry you. looking. It's going to be great. You're going you're gonna to enjoy it. You're going to love it. Your dick is going to be so hard. Believe me. So <laughs> check out Bluechew. And this episode of PKA also brought to you by ExpressVPN. Admit it, you think that cybercrime is something that happens to other people. You may think that no one wants your data or that hackers can't grab your passwords or credit card details, but you'd be wrong. Stealing data from unsuspecting people on public Wi-Fi is one of the simplest and cheapest ways for hackers to make money. When you leave your internet connection unencrypted, you might as well be writing your passwords and credit card numbers on a huge billboard for the rest of the world to see. Ooh. You fucking idiot. Oh, I mean. That's why we decided to take action, which is why mm -hmm. we're recommending you... Get ExpressVPN to protect yourself from cyber criminals. ExpressVPN secures and anonymizes your internet browsing by encrypting your data and hiding your public IP address. ExpressVPN has easy-to-use apps that run seamlessly in the background of your computer, phone, or tablet. Turning on ExpressVPN takes only one click. Using ExpressVPN, I can safely surf on public Wi-Fi without being snooped on or having my personal data stolen. For less than 7 bucks a month, you can get the same ExpressVPN protection that I have. ExpressVPN is rated the number one, the numero uno VPN service by TechRadar and comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Protect your online activity today and find out how you can get three months free at expressvpn.com slash PKA. That's E-X-P-R-E-S-S-V-P-N.com slash PKA for three months free with a one-year package. Visit expressvpn.com slash PKA to learn more three months free with the one year package so check that out express vpn blue chew a couple of wonderful sponsors and like every week lock and load code pka on on Derek's site linked below 10 percent off lock and load and 10 percent off all of the other wonderful products the pre-workout the nitric pre-workout the glycerol the the protein powder the the turkesterone all of the turkesterone's on sale off. It's on sale, it? so you get another 10% off with code PKA. I don't know about that. I don't know start, if I'm buying. Start is coming like a man. It's 10% off of everything, yes. Dude, you guys are running like a, a 18th century apothecary shop over here. You got little <laughs> what you want? And we are. salves and elixirs and you boner pills. and. Come one, come all. Try the <laughs> PKA come elixir. You'll be coming so <laughs> a week from now when I'm gone, you'll still be coming. <laughs> it's a real one it's see if legit. if a if a fucking scam artist was selling this back in the day he wouldn't have had to put x's on towns that he already swindled he'd be going yeah. back for repeat business because this mm -hmm. shit works it's so tremendous so come like a man uh code pka uh start start busting folks start having big old loads you guys ever have the schwan man growing up you ever seen the the schwan man did he come to your house yeah, it was awesome, right? The, yeah, oh, is that this, the carpet this guy? guy? No, he, he would. Uh, it carpet was like a company? frozen foods. Yeah, and he had oh. this big refrigerator truck that had all these fucking like crazy doors on the side of it. And uh, I remember even when you would cancel your subscription, he would still roll by and stop, and be like, "Hey, you wanna?" I was in the area, didn't know if you want, because once he's there, it's like an ice cream yeah. truck. You're gonna fucking all right. Give me some, give me some ice cream. Sandwiches. We get those little pizzas, but he yeah, sells yeah. broccoli. Like, how can you be so tempted? No, he's got everything. No, he he's had got everything. They got ice cream sandwiches. They got the Flintstones push pops. They got the uh, everybody. The come quick! It's things. the steamed vegetable man. Yeah, that's <laughs> what I thought it was. <laughs> Did he not say it was vegetables? I mean, vegetables the Schwan man. out of the Schwan man. Yeah, no. But uh, I, like I remember that gravy train ended when he accidentally ran over the corner of my grandfather's driveway and cracked it. And then my grandfather went out there and was like, you son of a bitch. I fucking stormed the beaches of Normandy and you come crack my fucking driveway. I'll crack your fucking head. And the guy never came back ever again. <laughs> I never had ice cream sandwiches. Ever again at my grandparents' house because he had to throw a fit over the corner of a fucking driveway getting cracked off. That's some boomer shit, by the way. They're the only people that that would get that pissed over. Care it. about that? Yeah. My I fought in Normandy. Driveway? It's a fucking driveway. It gets driven on. Of course, it's gonna get cracked. The UPS man parks at the very end and walks this like 
just walk of shame through the rain to my house. I'm like, pull in. He's like, I don't want to crack your driveway. I'm like, it's cracked already. It's a fucking, there's trees everywhere. Like, Dude, it I, doesn't matter. Here's what, so we have a very long driveway in the front of the house. And then there's a circle. So you drive all the way down it and it's easy to turn around and go back. I think some of these drivers don't see the circle from the street. Yeah. So they just like driving backwards for what seems like five minutes. Beep. Beep, 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 beep. As it gets closer and closer and louder and louder. And I'm like, like, dude, just drive. Drive like a normal person. Drive, drive forward like everyone else does. But they back up. Oh, Maybe you need a sign that says turn around ahead. I had the no, creepiest you, you shit get in the a world happen sign. to me. Outside the front of my house, a UPS guy at like nine o'clock. You know how they stopped delivering at nine? Mm-hmm. Well, I, I thought they all just I... went back to their depot or whatever. Mm-hmm. UPS truck like blocks my driveway. And then another UPS truck backs up and they get right on top of each other. And then I saw their doors open through the little crack. And so they had like a bumper to bumper UPS trucks and they were they had the lights on in there. I don't know what the fuck was going on in that little secret cavity they made at the foot of my driveway. But what a mystery. I sat there. Yeah, I sat mm. there and looked at him through the blinds. It was nighttime, too. They could see me fucking cracking the blinds. Like, my lights were on in the room and everything. I was just watching them. I'm like, what the hell is it? I'm assuming they're loading boxes back and forth. I would say, I would imagine. It's just so strange that they would do this weird Officer, there's two thing. men having sex near my, <laughs> near my front They yard. needed a lot of room, too. They put the they bumped the trucks together and made one big room. Yeah. <laughs> it was astounding Maybe they were me, just they're was, having their little break. Well, they're trading boxes. It just why do it in my at the foot of my driveway? Yeah, why not do that at the the distribution center? You, you never like complain when planet. they drive on it, so yeah, <laughs> it's made sense. I don't complain. Well, they never pull into my driveway. My driveway is too short to be. Meaningful. I felt bad for the UPS guy because I got that um, that Titan uh, squat bar. That thing's like seventy six, seventy eight pounds, and yeah, then heavy. that entire wow. set of uh, weight like plates. Squat. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I'm like, ah, I don't need. Why we don't even need the plates? And, and, <laughs> Why and, buy these? Like just picking it up and moving around, it's like holy shit! It's solid. Like it's just mm-hmm. it's this like yeah. two inch solid pipe that goes anyway. Uh, we got that, and then like a full set of bumper plates. And that poor fucker, I wanted to help him because I'm like hey, it's a pretty good workout, like hustling mm-hmm. up the driveway mm-hmm. with weight plates. But I opened the door just as he was putting the last like forty five or down and like wiping his brow, and I was like. Oh man, I'm sorry. He's like, "Oh, don't sweat it, brother. This is what I get paid the big, big, big bucks for." And then, like, I saw a tear cool. come out of the corner of his eye as <laughs> he walked away. <laughs> but that is what he said. He was, he was pretty, pretty cool guy. I appreciate. I that. like your bumper plates. So Kyle sent a video to the WhatsApp that we all hang out They're in, good. and he showed us his new bumper plates, and I like it. I like that the tens are the same size as the forty fives. I know that's bumper plate stuff, but um, mine, mine are different. I, we were talking about Kyle. Totally understood. My plates are not cool, I don't think. Like, they work well. They add weight to the bar. Mm-hmm. Like, there's no reason that they're not perfect. They might even be um, in some ways better because they're all, like, they, by being this tri-grip, they have handles that make it easy to take on and off. Mm. And uh, some of my fingers don't work that well, and it's it's, it's nice. So, um, but Kyle's look so good. I want them instead. <laughs> That's what's up. It does um, look nice. You have the, the nice white rogue written on there. Mm. My bumper plates are just bullshit, cheap stuff from when Titan's quality was worse, like four years ago. No, there's no nice like etching around the letter. Your your gym's gonna look awesome. I'm excited to see the finished product. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Um, <sighs> thank you. Um, the um, I, I looked around a lot for like trying to strike that like middle ground between expensive and quality with the weight plates because uh, I just didn't. I, one one thing was I didn't want to drag my rusty ass iron plates back and forth across that brand new rogue bar rogue bar that Sarah coated. Mm-hmm. Um, that that seemed the, the, those plates don't belong on that bar. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> scum, get back on the fully machine where you belong, <laughs> rusty fucks. Um, so, uh, so what was I saying before that? Um, the the plates. Oh, I tried to strike that middle ground with like value and you know, quality and all that stuff. I think the rogues are just the best. Like they're so big that they can just make less money per plate that they seemingly don't care for like a really high quality plate. So like if you want to save money below the rogues, <laughs> even if you get a pair, a set of Titan blemished uh, plates from their scratch and dent section, it's more expensive than just buying those nice rogue plates. 
because I, I did the math um, when we were talking about it. It was like six hundred sixty seven dollars for Titans blemished. So like mm -hmm. I guess you go back and like fill in the white with some like pen marker or something and make it look normal. But then those rogues were five hundred roughly for like a full set. Yeah, it's not too bad. Yeah, I, I dig them a lot. It just feels nice putting them on um, and then deadlifting on concrete. That's going to be a problem, too. Sam no, loves cool. talking about gym equipment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, I, I'm all about uh, my wife got a Peloton. Ooh, those are nice. Uh, oh. Been riding that. It's pretty, pretty lame. <laughs> hey, I did it's like find a video out some game, shit. right? I don't have any competitive spirit, right? Like I'm not that, <laughs> I don't know. Like uh, you guys are like, we lift heavy shit. And I'm like, why? You know, I just, I don't, I don't get it. But uh, I did find out that when you do the Peloton thing, if you do like a ride, you can see the people that are currently doing the ride. Yeah. And the only thing I've realized that is like, that gives me any sort of like motivation to do. That's why I don't get it, is like when you guys lift stuff and then like what, What's the incentive to come back and go like, now we're adding more? Like that whole building part is the, the, I don't get that. But with this Peloton thing, I can see where I am speed wise and kilowatt, whatever output wise compared to the other people near me. And as you pass someone, or if you see someone, you know, you can like wave at them. And so what I do is right when I'm coming up on someone, right as I pass them, I wave at them. So I know they look at my name and then see me go boop, right above them. And that's the only joy I get out of ever exercising is just, that and you can see their age spirit. too. So right. I'm, like a little and, I'm stomping like 60 year olds. Like, ha ha, fuck you. It's, a, <laughs> it's literally a rehab center. <laughs> yeah. It's not even that, Kyle. It's hospice. I'm learning to walk again, you asshole. <laughs> oh, yeah. By the way, I'm not, I don't even get like up into like the single digit thousands on these rides, like of all the people doing them at one time. But, but you asked, why do we like lifting the heavy things? We hate it. You think mm. we enjoy lifting weights? You think I think weight lifting equipment is cool? No, it's fucking lame as shit. I don't want to. It's expensive too. It's mm. really expensive. Mm -hmm. I don't want to lift it. It's I expensive. I to want do the to most look meathead like thing. I lift weights. Oh, okay. if I could just take that pill, it's like then I wouldn't need five thousand dollars worth of gym equipment. Why don't you get those crate like the Indian guys, where you get like the stuff injected in you and and what have you? The synthol. Oh, the yeah. synthol. Yeah. Yeah. Those guys look natural and great. Yeah. <laughs> Have you seen look that look like, like a Russian stretch guy? Armstrong that has lumps in it? Yeah. <laughs> I love yeah, those the ones where they, they just are f like nothing here and then they get just like the sh the trap muscles or whatever. <laughs> yeah, they get traps and biceps. No triceps, can't be bothered. Oh. Yeah. That guy looks great. That guy Dude, fucking, that guy, that guy unironically I would, just I would hang out with that guy. <laughs> to be fair, <laughs> nice I nice tits. That guy, I, I was gonna. Am I the only one that's thinking about titty fucking this dude? I mean, I mean you go there's... like this. Yeah. I, I, yeah. <laughs> if you add, I, I went straight to that. I was. I like, want to fuck that armpit. I, that's this is like Indian. This is like Indian oh. Anthony Cumia. <laughs> <laughs> His armpit almost looks like a butthole. Like that's where I'm going. I'm you know going what he armpit. needs? Abs. Why, why does it? Yeah. Is his body fat too high? What's up with it's that? Because he, he ran out of the liquid. Look at it. It's like a Quasimodo trap. One trap. <laughs> that's Maybe. fused into one thing. <laughs> it's a home. One, that's where he stores water for long Why desert expeditions. I like abs. Like abs are one of the things that I value the most in a guy's physique. And he doesn't have. Uh, maybe just not flexing well. Are well, you, I mean, like, look at the forearm that he's flexing with. Like, that is oh, not the forearm of someone with that. Oh my! Body. I didn't what notice. You, by the way, like the whole point of this is that this guy isn't jacked. He injected these muscles. Like, I'm aware, but. I, abs, you don't have like, to be jacked really to have it. It's like, where's this man's abs? Like, he doesn't work for it. <laughs> okay, you okay, you're right. <laughs> That's the whole point. You're right. You're right. The size of that does that shit is not going to be like, Dude, okay, I think this some stuff, of the but I'm going to get abs. the abs. <laughs> some of the best abs you'll find are guys who don't lift. Some people are just skinny. This Dude, like, if, had... if you cover up the nipple with your thumb, it genuinely looks like they like chopped off someone's like Brazilian Here's what's funny about this put guy. it on his chest. So this guy mm -hmm. is taking this picture in like his like post workout area. Like this guy works out a lot. He works at a ton. He's sweaty post workout. He's showing you a pump right now. That's in his mind. He's got mm -hmm. his protein powder and his pre workout in the background along with his blender. Like like this guy works out. Yeah. 
And uh, go ahead and take a peek at that's the way all that, natural. That, is what I'm look, saying. Look at the grout behind his right bicep. I saw. Kind of weird how it becomes a bit of a semicircle there. The rest of it under the his arm. The whole room is, is warped around him, Taylor. Yeah, the whole room is warped around him. <laughs> I thought it was just he was so jacked that he had a gravitational field and light was bending. But yeah. you're telling me that's a bit of trickery. The it's, muscles that it seems dense. that we've been hoodwinked by his well, purported success. Yeah, that I wouldn't do time. the synthol thing. So that's it seems easier to, to just lift the weights. And well, like no it doesn't. It it is fun to lift when you're in the middle of it. Yeah, really? sometimes it's it can just not be fun, fun to start. Yeah, it feels good and it's like a, there's a sense of accomplishment and you get like a lot of brain chemicals that mm -hmm. make you say like that was good what you just did. Um or maybe yeah, it's could, saying like you get yeah. that from uh playing uh you know like a round of Call of Duty. Nah, it's different. The same, the same level of... Not in the same way. Not in the same way? Okay. No. Huh. It'd be more, more if all of your dopamine like, is from winning games of Call of Duty, if not into like, lifting, it'd be a more intense dopamine drip. It's like, have you ever heard... That's a sad life like, that your main source of dopamine is winning Call of Duty. <laughs> or if you've ever... No, like, we're all the drug addicts as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we all do heroin. Yeah, we're not sad. <laughs> we all dabble in cocaine. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> we're all gacked out all the time. I'm what sorry, you Kyle. You were gonna say something. Let it rip. I give up. No, <laughs> no. I was just gonna ask you if you ever like heard an animal that was like defenseless and couldn't stop you, like like that good, that kind of good feeling. That's what <laughs> you get, you know, when you're really just putting yeah. the screws to it, and and you're like, no one can stop me. You know that that kind of power. Um, that's what you feel when you like get mm -hmm. a new power lift and a new record or. You know, you just try something new and it just feels really good. You're accomplished. You feel powerful. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the voices go away. It's good stuff. It's the... Um, yeah, you just feel good. Huh. Yeah, I think I might try it because uh, I, I said I had a herniated disc earlier. And yeah. from doing mm -hmm. a really intense uh, maneuver where I, I took my... 18-pound uh, baby and put it in the crib and leaning over the, the crib wall... <laughs> carrying that massive burden of weight less than a Thanksgiving turkey. Uh, I actually herniated a disc in my lower back. And uh, the doctor, <laughs> not the doctor, like my physical therapist was like, dude, you got like nothing back. His back is empty. It's like, it's just, <laughs> he was like massaging it. And he's just like, it's just like fat and bone. That's oh all. <laughs> like, there's, there's supposed to be shit up and down here. It's like, where the fuck is it? It's like, were you born yeah. without lats? Are you a medical <laughs> marvel? Like, <laughs> well, that oh, fucking been, sucks. Yeah, you would benefit from, from working out then if you already yeah. have like back problems. Yeah, that's why I've uh, started doing stuff like that. Yeah. Also, yeah, because apparently, like, there is a middle ground where, like, you know, you can work out so much that you look like that uh, horrific gentleman that bends light. And then mm -hmm. you can also work out so little that picking up a baby uh, ends up being a, a career ending injury. <laughs> yeah. So that, uh, that's the sort of thing. Tucker, yeah, your Tucker playing Carlson, days are over. <laughs> that's a whole Tucker Carlson story. Like, like modern this man. man this so fucking a feminist, he can't bitch. even hold his own. <laughs> you may have heard of this content creator, General Sam. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he's collecting. He's, Not he's filing girl. for disability because he picked up his own baby. <laughs> is this the man you want influencing your kids? <laughs> Let's take a look. And then it's just a picture of you. <laughs> uh, he just plays you like any retarded. video. Yeah. <laughs> Let's take a look. Okay. You never want to hear That's that. That's like my greatest fear is not like, just getting... Be fair. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, no. by the mob, fair. But like having anything I've ever made just be on national television and scrutinized by the general public is like... I would probably just kill myself before I, I get I hear what the news backlash is. Oh, I just turned on the TV and saw myself. I'd be like, it's over. I don't even want to hear what they have to say about it. <laughs> oh, yeah. You would know, like, if you turned on the TV and you saw your face, you would know this that it good. wasn't something positive. Yeah, this ain't good. They're not here to praise me. Nobody's going to put me on the news and going to say, this guy fucking rules. <laughs> no, it's, it's something bad. It's not good. <laughs> oh, we've got really Ted Cruz here to talk about General food. Sam. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, yeah, that uh, would be so fucking funny if you got featured on Tucker Carlson. I, I personally would get a laugh out of it. Yeah. That well, would I, I don't be. Know. Like, I'm trying to think, like, Tucker Carlson. I don't know. Like, is that someone that I can. He would probably do some sort of, like, mental gymnastics on me. I'm trying to think, is there, like, a single talk show host that I think I could verbally one on one 
Probably none because they have like writing teams and stuff that are giving them little CIA pointers through a little earpiece. Yeah. yeah. And because like if you actually did start to like, like if you went on Hannity and really made him look retarded, like you'd get three seconds into something and you'd be muted or hung up on like every show oh, like yeah. that. Like, yeah. They don't want the the guy getting dunked on. Yeah. Anyone Which can I, call I in and ask questions episodes. as long if as I, you agree. If oh, I had hey. a show, I would I would definitely keep those in where I just get fucking dunked on and made look like an idiot. Yeah, it'd make well that's why your show would be funny and none of these shows are funny. Well, yeah, that's true. I don't, actually as I've never watched one. Maybe Hannity's like, hilarious. I don't know. You've never <laughs> watched Hannity? The, I like Hannity. No. Very entertaining. Is he is he good? I never watched like Depends any of that new like. stuff. I get like uh I hold on, I have my, my list here. I uh Oh, no, or do I? Oh, I do, I do the Associated Press and mm. was this Reuters? Yeah. See, uh, I don't those, listen those to that two. unbiased news. I listen yeah. to both biased sides. <laughs> I'm trying oh, to no, figure I it follow out. CNN and yeah. Fox on Twitter because, like, I love seeing just like they because they'll report on the same story, but the headlines will be just like for their audience. Like they just reword shit. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. To the point where it just doesn't even fucking make sense when you actually read the article. Like, it just has nothing to do with whatever they're talking about. Or, like, the and articles are so lazy. Like, I hate this, and I, I don't feel like it's always been like this, but articles will be like, so-and-so wants to change the tax plan to make it 2% higher, and it's a good thing. Or, like, uh, you know, in the headline. The, the opinion oh, piece. Yeah. Uh, I like all my headlines. There's a new thing to change this about immigration. Here's why it's nice. Or here's why it's bad. And it's like, that's that's just PR. That's not journalism. <laughs> your, your news is really too high quality. Mine is like, Ben Shapiro destroys college student. <laughs> you know? like, oh, I guess I can see that. <laughs> he has the easiest job in the world. Like, he, he does. Just, he just yeah. goes to colleges and makes kids at the possibly one of the frailest mental part of your life. You're there to learn, right. but really, you're just like, your emotions are just 19 years old, and they yes. have six weeks experience following the politics. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you're, you're going to be sitting there, like, in front of all these people, like, nervously trying to dunk on this guy that has done this shit for years. Like, of course yeah. he's going to win. And he's good. Right? Yeah. Like, Ben Shapiro, while obviously he's, you know, dunking on Fisher Price hoops, he's still good. <laughs> <laughs> you know? like he, he, he dunked he, on he, us all, just to be Yeah, clear. exactly. Not, right? Look like at those college kids. That's they don't know how does. to handle him. <laughs> oh, no. oh, he fucked me up too exactly yeah. he'd ask me like one basic question about how like finance works and i'd be like i do not recall uh, <laughs> I, I don't know <laughs> what was your i'd be just like again? looking over his shoulder like did you bring your fucking big titted sister like whatever like, that's <laughs> what i would be asking about like that's the only reason I know him is because everybody else is like ah ben shapiro's sister has big tits and i'm like dude yeah. that's the uh, that's the big titty sister's brother. I remember him. Like, <laughs> yeah. that's the only reason I know who he is because I've just seen her more. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I know the pictures you're you're talking about. It's, I feel bad for her. Like, oh, yeah. yeah, she's like, she truly like because it's nice like she person. she doesn't want to be involved in all yeah. the shit he does in the in like the the controversial shit stirring and everything. But like, he's so I guess popular in that space that it drags everyone adjacent to him. I haven't seen anything from him in a long time. I don't know what he's up to. I guess he's is he's still debating 17-year-olds at college, 19-year-olds? No, I feel like he's running an organization now. Like he has other people that he's hired and he's still doing it himself, but Oh, no, he's doing a he's doing a TV show or something. Like he's he has oh. like a company or something called like Daily Wire. I don't know how this yeah, whole yeah. thing where yeah. I don't know enough about him. Uh, cuz I mostly follow his sister and she retweets uh, stuff from him. Um, Abby, if you're out there, you know, how you doing? Uh, the, uh, <laughs> and if my wife watches this, she'll like suspect I'm talking about her cause her name's Abby. So this is, that's the only reason I chose Ben Shapiro's sister is because mm. her name. Well, that's one of the three name. reasons. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> wait, is, what is it about Ben Shapiro's sister that I don't know, Taylor? She's just got just fat titties, dude. Just go look her up. Tracks uh, of land. Yeah. <laughs> I need to see yeah. this now. Yeah. And there's um, some that are like But she also looks like Grand Thumb, that gun oh, guy. Oh, she's pretty. <laughs> oh, my I was goodness. I one of you guys would know who I'm talking about. Yeah, she, she kind of looks like him. Uh, here's a link. 
Oh, he, okay. You're front. You're pretty right. Um, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Yeah, yeah. Scroll down on that thing. She's she's got some big bohonkahugas. Yeah. Wow. Oh, bohonkahugas. Hey, look. Yeah, I closed out of it, and there we are. I'm just looking at them. Okay, very nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she's a pretty attractive lady. And more importantly, it's just funny when like he's sitting there talking about shit politically, and then people under everything he posts, there's like, your sister's hot! <laughs> <laughs> and he's just like, dude, we're like, trying to talk about international economic policy here. Like, can you stop bringing her into this? Mm-hmm. And they'll like, <laughs> fucking like, just drag her into it immediately. And he's just like, come on. <laughs> And then yeah, she's trying like to post about her life. Like she's trying to be like Mrs. Like Southern conservative Jewish Bell. I don't know. <laughs> and she just posts about like her in a sundress, and she's like, "I just uh, um, growing my own herbs or whatever in my garden." And then everybody's replying to her, just like, "Your fucking titties are fat, lady." Hell yeah! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> that is. <laughs> just, <laughs> it sucks. Like it has to suck to be her. It'll be but, like, uh, here's my favorite composer in the comments, like, <laughs> Booba. Yeah, it's <laughs> <laughs> her singing, like, classical, like, she has, like, opera voice or whatever. And she's obviously talented and trying to be refined and everything. And it's just hilarious to have the most degenerate comments under everything she posts. Oh, <laughs> I mean, as an outsider looking in, it's funny. But uh, if I was I her, I feel bad for her. Yeah, yeah, that would suck if I was her. But I'm not her, so I think it's she funny. can wear a sports bra and take care of this whole problem, right? Can she? Yeah. No, she dresses like the, the older. Talk to NASA. It, the more time it's been, the more spotlight she's in. She dresses like a fucking Mennonite. She's got them things locked up, like oh. fucking shirts up here. Dresses for good reason. It sounds up like to her like turtleneck. Yeah, There's a bunch of fair. ghouls everywhere every time she ghouls. says anything. Yeah. <laughs> there are. They, that's who they are, just ghouls. Just have you been a peak uh, lady, like, loosen up, come on. <laughs> but she's not. Have you been watching the uh, the Johnny Depp Amber Heard, uh, like, trial go on? Oh, I've been I seeing saw that, terrible yeah. biased headlines. Lay it out for us, Kyle. Well, I can't lay it out, per se. I'm I mean, sorry. she's clearly the, the, the guilty party here. She's Wait. the one who abused him, and he never did yeah. anything Ac- at all. Ac- tell, tell me the backstory. Is the backstory like every? I remember everybody was like, "We hate Johnny Depp because he's like a dick." And then like mm-hmm. now there's because I remember that whole bandwagon. And then there's evidence later that like she was actually making it up or something like that. Yeah. Well, he recorded her. Bitch. He recorded her, and she's like, "Yeah, I made it all up. You cracked the code, didn't you, Johnny? You're so smart. You figured it out that it was a big fake. No shit, I made it up." <laughs> and it's like they're playing this in court while. Well, Johnny Depp sits there like, told you. And then, like, yeah. then, then they play the other tape where she's like, I did not punch you, you pussy. I hit you. I hit you, and you took it like you're supposed to. Okay? You were the bigger person, but I was not punching you. I was hitting you. He's like, And you can hear him like, you were hitting me in the face. I had to leave because you were assaulting me. Oh, big baby. <laughs> and it's just like, Oh my God, she's the worst. And then he describes like the situation where she cut off the tip of his finger. <laughs> yeah, she like threw a bottle at him and yeah, it yeah, snapped like, the tip of his finger. Lost, and, and, and then like in cross examina- examination, they're like, when you're at the hospital, did you ask for cocaine? And he's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I'd like, give he, it a go. He, he a little bit like, of a part of that trial at all. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, like, what, uh, anyways, the reason why we're here, she cut off my finger, and yes, I wanted cocaine. That has nothing to do with whether do you or not mean she did after it. she mutilated me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it yeah, seems like, but, but I remember as that oh, was and happening the best too. Part. Oh, go ahead. The best part, I guess, like the situation must have been that they were feuding, and maybe she was about to go on some trip. You know, they're cohabitating, and anyway, long story short, she shat in his bed. She took a shit in his bed. A turd oh, was bitch. laid in his bed. And like people came over and they were like, oh my God, Amber shit in your bed. And, and they're like, are you sure it's not a dog? And they're like, no, that's people shit. Amber <laughs> did that. And like, and now this is part of the record because like they're going yeah. back and forth. And Amber, I think I didn't see this part of the trial. I'm not sure that it exists, but I was told that there was a part where like she is like, no, that was dog poo. And they're like, absolutely, it was not dog poo. I saw the poo. It did not come out of a dog. 
<laughs> that is such an alpha move to like shit in someone's bed. That is fucking insane. Hats off to her. By the way, at what point uh, during like an abusive relationship, like if a woman's like hitting you, cutting off your finger or whatever, like when can he just be like, yeah, it was at that point where I fucking socked her right in the throat. I hate make her to right in the side of the head. Never. Like at what point does the Never. does the court go like, all right, like she, you have like, uh, you know, documentation that this lady's fucking insane, and we're gonna believe that this was probably self defense. When well, you- I think the answer is pretty clear because Johnny never touched her, and yet he is on trial right now. <laughs> is he on? I, yeah, trial? okay, yeah. Is that? <laughs> I think it's um, in, I think it's I a defamation which, lawsuit. That's yeah, what they're in yeah. trial with right now. But wow. yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, I still think after he had the mountain of evidence, he should have fucking had one physical retaliation. Yeah, I think that should, be the should, rule. Yeah, that, that should be the justice. Yeah, it'd be no, like you have you to go to jail for a year. Acid or oh, <laughs> that is that is more. Well, cost the whole sensitive. point is it's it's yeah. like it's your personal vengeance. That's yeah. why I never get people yeah. that hire hitmen. It's like if I want someone dead, like. Yeah, well, obviously, obviously I would do right. it. The point of yeah, hiring so. a hitman is not the joy; it's getting away with it. Well, yeah, no but joy then there's another person. If you didn't get to, well, if that do person's thing, dead, and you have an. It's alibi. like hiring someone else to steal something, and then you don't even get it in the end. You know, it's like go steal that VCR for me, and then go bring it home and you really? watch it. Or I disagree. <laughs> I, I think if I could hire, if I if you told me Woody, you pull off the murder, but you have to like you're the likely suspect. You just somehow prove that it's not you or I hire someone and I most likely get away with it because I'd be like, it wasn't me. I, I, everyone saw me. I was at the arcade. That, what if you, you were that? What? All right, Mr. Woodworth, we have a yeah. whole lot more. This happened in 1985, now. Kyle. <laughs> I was at Blockbuster. And it's like, <laughs> <laughs> Fuck was it Blockbuster? He said he was at the arcade. <laughs> were you actually like just, around during like, do you remember, did, did you do a lot of arcading as a kid? When I was a kid, it was like a passion. There was an arcade near us called You do Malibu. like pinball machines? Was it this had, before microprocessors well, and stuff? No, no. Pinballs existed, but really Pac-Man, Asteroids, um, Berserker, Ga- Galaxy, Galaga. Galaga. Galaga, yeah. Um, that, that, uh, Space Invaders. Yes, I, I like Space Invaders, but I was looking at a different one. You had a ball and you oh. Missile Command. Um, oh, my dad... Fucked hard with Missile Command. I own that. I have that machine. Really? Really? I've got Is a that the one Command. where you like? I've got Mrs. Pac Man and I've Donkey got, Kong. Like, I've got one that does everything. Like like the guy just like programmed like every arcade game into it. It looks like a Space Invader uh, arcade machine, but it just you go into a menu and it's like brrr, like every game that ever existed that Is you can like play on one of those tabletop. No, it's an arcade machine. Like from an oh, arcade. It's like a full height, not like the halfy. No, it's the whole fucking yeah. thing. Like it's over. It's seven feet tall. You know how nowadays, like almost every building you go into has a vending machine where you can get like I don't know drinks or Snickers bars or whatever. Back in the day, that was an arcade machine. They, they just have those things you pump quarters. Every restaurant had them at the waiting area. Yeah, Pizza yeah. Hut. This, that's where I played Mortal Kombat as a kid. Um, mm. at, at Pizza Hut, like like we would go into yeah, like pick up a pizza, or maybe we we're waiting on our table or whatever, and I would just immediately be over there fucking. Did you only... ever play um, Rampage? Yeah, yeah, but that was at the skating rink. We'd go to Anderson, uh, South Carolina, and they had like a little mini arcade, like maybe like eight machines or something in a row, and then they had like the claw. Um, and I would play uh, Street Fighter and uh, that Rampage game and all that shit. Rampage was awesome. It was like Street Fighter, except it was all like dinosaurs and mm-hmm. creatures that you played as. And I remember as a kid, like always begging my parents and well, it was a place near my grandparents. So always begging my grandparents for quarters so I could get thrashed by the, the AI. I could barely see over the little thing. That was such a cool. I remember like feeling like I was getting away with something every time they would let me play that. Cause I'd be like, Oh, these dinosaurs just brutalizing each other violently. And like looking at it now, it's probably just the most basic bitch, no blood, no gore, nothing. Like it was not on the same level as uh, whatever that other one is, the the fighting game with uh, Sub-Zero. Oh, Mortal Kombat. Yeah. Which one? Golden T. Oh, yeah. They still have that at like a lot of the bars and grills around here. Dude, I remember playing that shit, and then you would like uh, just like uh, old timers at uh, at bars and stuff, how they'll kind of lean you out of a pool table. 
Like yeah. if you were a kid halfway through playing like around with that shit, like, old dude, every time some 40 year old guy with his family would come over and lean on the side of the machine and be like, hurry up, man. I want to play some rounds. <laughs> <laughs> and, he, and he would pressure you. If you're like nine and a 40 year old dude comes and like intimidates you, you're going to fucking leave. Like there's nothing yeah. I can do against that guy. Yeah. Yeah. He could rape I, you. It's a defense. Yeah, <laughs> he, could, he could do anything to get that golden tee. Mm-hmm. I remember. Uh, oh. No, like, that's it. When I played, I had a limited number of quarters. I get whatever my parents <laughs> gave me. Keep <laughs> and uh, I saw a guy who seemed to have an unlimited number of quarters. Like, he could just pump quarters all afternoon. Quarters were not his limiting factor in how he played. It was probably time or desire or something. And then one day he came in dressed in his work uniform, and he was a post office dude. He, like, he, was, he delivered the mail. It's like, ah, oh, grown ups are rich as fuck. <laughs> that, yeah, wow, like, that yeah, guy man. probably that guy took some time out of his busy schedule of getting pussy to come here. <laughs> <laughs> you got more than he had more money and more pussy. I'm sure of it. <laughs> I'm 12. Yeah, mailman get it all. <laughs> yeah, you do. Man. it's, a, it's dream a good job. job. I wonder how, how much do mailmen make? Not a lot. Depends where know. you're delivering mail. Yeah. It also like, depends whether I don't think it's a good job either. It depends on the no, it's a shitty job. They sit in that stupid Jeep thing with no air conditioning and it gets like a hundred degrees here in the summer. No, that job mm-hmm. sucks. They have that little fan that is like oh, comically yeah. small and it's just like moving like two hairs on top That's of That's just head. to like remind them of nothing. like uh of like the concept of coolness. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like <laughs> to remind them that yeah. cool places are out there. Your it's left hand on here. the steering wheel will get a little bit of wind chill and that's it. And uh those guys and they have to wear that <laughs> stupid gay ass uniform with those calf eye socks. Sorry, Woody and Kyle <laughs> with the calf eye socks. <laughs> the rest of the world thinks they look gay as hell. It's and, for the uh, boots. It's for the boots. Yeah. <laughs> you can't see them. They're under your pants. And there's no one. No, he's right. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> why do you have to have boots? Like, why can't you just wear shoes? Because if you crash, your foot gets torn off. No, not a lot of what, Like, the boots going to keep the leg on? Boot. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. They're armored okay, why motorcycle do you guys, boots. Why do you guys have the fucking, like, Batman knuckles on your gloves? Actually, I'm kind of with you on that. I think they well, sell. Are you gonna gloves. fall and like punch the road to dead? That's your what fall I do. And... I land like a superhero. <laughs> just <laughs> instantly, no. both no, wrists shattered. Right. Just... <laughs> My gloves are reinforced right here with like a piece of plastic, and yeah. I can really see how you might slide on that for some extended period of time. Uh, the the palms don't have too much because you operate the bike that way, so that it would suck to have a big yeah. fluffy thing. But the I'm pretty sure the reinforced knuckles on the back are to sell gloves. Like you said, uh, it, who slides like prostrate? Is that how you use that word right? Or prostate? Uh, prostrate. Yeah, prostrate. across that like, who, who who slides on their knuckles? I think they're yeah. for selling gloves because they're I, cool. I mean, I do. I, I you know what you look like, Kyle? Knuckles. You look like a, like a villain in a student film. Yeah. <laughs> that, like yeah, I lost one, the one hand. One now show me your palm glove. like this. These are not my good gloves. I don't love those. You should have. No, these are not. These are not the gloves I wear. I have different gloves. These are my show. He wouldn't get caught dead in those. What are you? Have you guys (laughs) seen those like uh, GoPro (laughs) videos where like bikers get into fights and shit? They always rock those guys with those those knuckles, man. Mm -hmm. I would not fuck with a dude gonna punch me with that thing. Pretty sure you can knock or with the, the helmet. The Sometimes they win with the headbutt move, which just yeah, starting a fight with someone wearing a, a motorcycle that's helmet. Completely that armored. Like they got the leathers and everything and the fucking the knuckle dusters and a fucking helmet on. Like, yeah. what are you gonna do to this guy? Kidney punch him? You're not gonna you win. You need that. to have a gun no, I got a or a sword back there. or something. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you're, you're, you're not blade. gonna win a fight against a biker, like with like the full biker regalia or whatever. So so I have when I when I ride my motorcycle, I typically wear something about head to toe that's built for sliding on asphalt right even my stuff that looks casual isn't it's like secretly sewn with kevlar and shit i wonder how knife proof i am like how if you tried to stab me would it go right through i bet it'd have to be a pretty crappy knife to get stopped okay bite proof 100 percent. by a person or a dog oh individual which you think a person can't I think you got all the the people defeated. Some of the dogs defeated, but not all of them. Really, the, the dogs that you're like worried about ability, biting you would not be defeated. Your ability to win in a dog fight, I think, is 100 percent your mindset. Because I've seen like you see all these pit bull videos and people get attacked and they're panicking because there's a fucking dog clamping down on them. Mm-hmm. I saw this video of this dude. He gets bit 
and he just calmly picks this dog up and fucking throws it down like a rolled up carpet. And this thing's, you know, like he like suplexed this fucking pit bull, cracked its head on the pavement. And then he just walked away and the dog like laid there for like 30 seconds and gets up and was like, what the fuck? (laughs) This dog was completely, it got up and was like, I don't even know where I am. It was, you could tell it had just been. That's how I feel about the videos where people lose the deer. If you get your ass kicked by an herbivore like that, like you were coward. No, people can beat deers. They just need the right gumption. I don't the know. The herbivore dude. line is not a good one because Ryan is terrible. Right a dog. Hippos. Hippos. Yeah. yeah. A Those lot of herbivores, herbivores fuck you up. Yeah. Everything with that, horns. Deer do that like stomping, dude. It's like getting attacked <laughs> by four pool cues at once. They're just poking and poking and they got the sharp little. Hoops. They're doing this. Yeah. But I grip. People underestimate oh, the value of the grip. Oh, you never be able to grip. grab one. They're a flurry. Yeah. And I don't know about that. Stuff. I'd be afraid to get my eye poked or whatever. Like, uh, you know, you could seriously well, get I, got, I am a little concerned about the giant rack, so I'm fighting a doe. Oh, I wouldn't oh, okay. be afraid of the... Well, in that animal. case, I would fucking pre- that thing No, up. you definitely yeah. want to fight the oh. fuck. Actually, yeah. yeah, now that I think about it, if you grab the antlers, you've got leverage on that neck. My dad did that to a deer. Yeah. He, See? That, yeah. Well, I mean, There's the dog helped. Actually, did he kill it? The dog killed it. Oh. Uh, Mm, There's a great uh, story of this guy that's just like resting in his living room. He's got a bay window and he had just finished a huge renovation and a giant elk comes bounding through his bay window into his living room and he gets into like a hand to hand combat fight with this thing. And then he ends up like corralling it down the hallway and it goes down the hall, fucks up the whole hallway going down and it gets into the master suite and he's like, fuck, like I just renovated. The <laughs> and so he goes in there for a set. He like recoups in the living room, like, holy shit, I got to go fight this thing. And he goes back in and fucking breaks its neck. Hand to hand combat. Good I for would him. have that entire taxidermied elk with its head twisted <laughs> around backwards. Like I would have that taxidermied in my house. Full body, just standing in the living. I would put my TV on its back, and its head would be turned fucking like Exorcist style, looking back at the TV. Oh yeah, I would have like a like a painter do a dramatization of what it was like, like showing me about f- fifty pounds be- lighter. Con- that conflict themed like there would be paintings in there of me killing elks with my bare hands. There would be the taxidermied animal. The plates in my house would have that. It turned into a mosaic or whatever, like p- printed on the plates. I would have the themed cups. You know, when you fill it up with cold water, as it rises, a graphic comes up and me twisting the fucking deer's head yeah. back. <laughs> Everything, dude. My back, I would be like Red Dragon. I would take off my robe and on my back would be a full body tattoo of me twisting once again this deer's fucking head backwards. Yeah. That would, you would be hang my whole life. Your hat on that forever. That would, be your, that would be your magnum it. opus. Really? That's yep. just a Tuesday for me. I, I could beat a deer. The no, second I get the, to that level, when I start going like, is this really badass? I kill myself because that's the, I know it's all downhill. You're not going to top that. that <laughs> I'm just talking shit. But I'm not going to self-reflect and be and like, you know what that's else? actually not that cool. <laughs> you know what I can beat that undeniably, no joke? A goose. People act like people are scared of geese. You just got to stand up to them. Nobody's They're ordinary, but yeah, you could fuck them up. Yeah. I have no, not only am I not afraid of geese, I'm looking forward to the next time a goose back to me. I wish a motherfucker would. I've, I've seen enough say internet videos. They don't, they don't I've got leave. a grudge already against geese, and I've never dealt with one. I was looking at a house last week. There were geese across the road honking and stuff. There was a sign that said not to feed them. I was like, never would, never will. And I was just thinking, <laughs> if they cross that road, I'm going to fuck them up. Like, like, they don't even have to come into this yard. This isn't even my yard, but I'm going to declare castle doctrine on that goose, and I'm just going to fuck it up if I can get my hands on it. And then I just decided I wanted to kill a goose, so I chased him for like half an hour. They're fast. I saw you a didn't get bull one. back down to a goose, and I'm like, bull, you can do better. Yeah, that's because the bull is dumb, and it's mm. just like oh, that's novel. I don't understand it. But like, but the goose. you let that goose walk around in the bull's pen for another ten minutes or so, that bull's gonna be like, oh, it's a bird, and then like <laughs> run over and and, he, and did you see the there. video of the Clydesdale kicking the goose the other day? No. Yeah. I'll, I'll send it to you on, on WhatsApp news. later. Yeah, it, it's awesome. Like, the goose Clyde is like doing this. Are so fucking the Clyde, cool. Those the Clyde are like walking. One of the coolest animals. 
And the goose comes running up behind it, doing that long, stretched out neck thing, like, like I'm gonna pinch you with my fucking beak. Yeah. And the Clydesdale, like, angle kicks it so fucking hard, and it just goes honk, and it like rolls over and twitches, like it's dead uh, as fuck. It's great. Yeah, it shouldn't have fucked with the Clydesdale. Yeah. Those things, like they're they're during the summer and spring, they're always riding those in carriages and shit around St. Louis because like they're like, oh look, look near the Anheuser Busch fucking place. They got that big barrel of beer or pretend beer they're dragging around. And like I've I've been I was driving by one once, like in traffic. So like we're stuck next to it. And this one, like the pouch for its poop wasn't aligned correctly because you know how they have that big poop and so this thing was laying like clydesdale sized shits right onto the road like it's like a like a like a nine-year-old skull size (laughs) per per piece of poop like that's like you're driving and it's like you're you're, you'd have to like drive around it or it would be it's enough poop that like it's it would feel up like your if, you, if you if you hit it with your wheel on the front, it's going to create enough force of spreading that you're going to have shit caked in the entire wheel. <laughs> like the, the whole thing. There won't be one piece of it. But yeah, I think that those Go should on. be retired. No, 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 no. You're not done yet. I, I, what was the consistency of the, the fecal matter? Could you hydroplane on mm-hmm. it if you hit no, it? No, it, right it, it was a dry poo. It was oh. a dehydrated grass-fed horse. Oh, Clyde well, Damn. Of Which in Clydesdales, there. they do look better than normal horses. They have like extra long hair on the the near their feet. I don't even near their consider hooves. them horses. They're another. They're like a mythical being for me. Horses, mm. they are huge. I hate horses. Clydesdales, like if I was a knight or something, I would, that's what I would have. That would be my horse. You know what should be real unicorns because they're not very far fetched, right? No, it's just they're not. Horse. It's just yeah. a fucking yeah. It's a the horse with a toenail sticking out of its head. Like it's not if that. you if yeah. you were like Woody, what's real? A 40 foot tall spotted moose or a horse with a horn. I definitely pick the horse with the horn over the giraffe. Yeah. 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 I mean, like the unicorn itself isn't that far fetched. Like, if they were like scientists discover a horse that had uh, cartilage growing, it'd be like, yeah, I believe that. Totally believe that. Sure. Why not? But some of these other ones, like, I got so had by the Discovery Channel as a kid because mm-hmm. uh, how old are you, Sam? Are we about the same age? I'm 30. 30? Okay. I'm 30 as well. So same age. Awesome. I I remember, and do you remember watching these, where there would be huge Discovery Channel shows where it'd just be like the mysteries of the deep, and they would whole cloth make up animals they thought maybe could have existed, and they would put it forth as though it was like, as though science was like right on the precipice of of putting together the 20-foot tall bear, but we couldn't quite figure it out, but we're sure that it existed. And I was like sad for a time as a young kid, like regretting that I didn't get to see all these cool an- animals that used to exist. And it wasn't until I got older that I was like, oh, they were just making shit up. They, they don't know dirty, at dude. all if there was a shark that was 12 times longer than the Great White. They just found a really big bone somewhere and were like, this could be it. Like Isn't the <laughs> biggest like, animal ever to exist in all of Earth's history. The blue the, whale. The blue whale, that giant yeah. fucking whale. It happens yeah. right now. Right yeah. now, we are living mm-hmm. in the era of the largest animal ever. But that, that is cool. We're not during the time of the that giant armadillo. I thought those were fucking cool. It's just a regular armadillo, yeah. but he's like six feet tall. I, that's yep. my new mythical. Like that's my fuck mm. Clydesdale. I want a giant armadillo. That's gonna <laughs> be my. Imagine making a saddle for that thing. You, when you sit on it, your legs are fucking. You're doing a split. They're yeah. straight out. They're <laughs> you're so uncomfortable. Out. Yeah, I remember. I yeah, that was a cool on one. It. I would lounge back. I'd make it like a uh, like a chase lounge. And I would, that do you remember cool the one. the giant sloth? Yeah, those are tight. I thought that what would be so cool. What happened to all the cool. big stuff? We, we killed it all. Yeah, I think we killed them. Oh, we killed it, uh, a lot of it was gone before we were around. Yeah, I think it was like higher oxygen or something in the environment or whatever. And there was just like with the bug? dragonflies were like six foot wingspans and stuff. That would be terrifying to have. How do we know that? Because that's horrible. You haven't seen oh, those? Oh, there's a whole great like David Attenborough level like thing about when the oxygen was high and the millipedes and centipedes were like Huge. five fucking feet long and like yeah. this big around and like 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 it's the terrible. giant like wasps and and. and all the insects were bigger because the insects uh, um, absorb oxygen through their skin, so they're limited. Uh, uh, their size is limited through that, depending on the uh, concentration of oxygen mm-hmm. in the atmosphere. But it was way higher then, uh, so they were way bigger then. They could be. Uh, that's how terrifying. big were these bugs? It varies, but, but like I don't know. The, the, the dragonflies were like gargantuan, like like, like yeah. bigger than birds. 
No, oh, there is no God. It's like an albatross, <laughs> with a bunch of legs. Yeah, it's yeah, terrifying. terrifying. I yeah, hate Taylor, it. you were right though. You were talking about like being misled by by discovery mm-hmm. and stuff. And we we grew up at a very interesting time where history and discovery were very like. Carl Sagan, like fucking mm-hmm. buy the book shit. Like it was literally academic channels and yeah. stuff. And then they got to a point. So our parents trusted them and trusted that we could watch it and be like, hey, this mm-hmm. is just educational stuff. And then they went during our youth and transitioned to just dog shit where they're like, the fucking. I love how insanely oh, yeah. disrespectful it is to the Egyptians where it's like, they're like, this is the one thing like we accomplished this so long ago. Like we are at the, we were like so advanced and stuff and people just come by and go like, nah, it's aliens. You brown people are too dumb for that shit. <laughs> you can't make a triangle up there. You fucking idiots. And, we're, uh, there's new data. Was the, <laughs> were the pyramids a result of ages ahead of their time geometry or perhaps. And then it's like yeah. downcast camera. It's like, and then a guy like summoning, electricity like some <laughs> other answer is needed and it's like the, the egyptian wizard and they're like you're right they pass like ships in the night i remember watching history channel documentaries that were like and in world war one mustard gas was a huge concern which resulted in people having to wear masks and hitler actually fought in world war one and the reason he had his goofy mask was because uh mustaches. long mustaches mustaches weren't they, they would keep the the gas mask open so that yeah. you know and then Three weeks later, it's like Nazis, the occult. And it's yeah. like, really? Like, and while the what Nazis the were doing happened? the Holocaust, they also were sacrificing babies to the devil. And it's like, at some point, some of them were fighting a war here. Like, <laughs> like, like they were not. But I, I, know, really I like doubt that a lot stuff. of covens and witches were going down. No, see, they use that stuff to bridge the gap. Because what you just described with the Nazis looking for, like, the Holy Grail or or whatever the fuck, they did that shit. Himmler was really into that stuff. And it's kind of fun to learn about, because you can only get the, like, step-by-step what happened at D-Day so many times. But then they just full-out, like, went wild with it. And it was, like, yeah. alien, ancient, aliens ancient aliens and all that other nonsense. If and, I was Egyptian and I saw that that guy, the fucking aliens dude with the yeah. crazy, I would uppercut him so fucking hard. <laughs> I'd be like, dude... <laughs> You got like half the Western world thinking that we can't make a fucking pyramid. Like, come on, this is like our one claim to fame. Like, this is what, yeah, people come know on. us for. And you're saying that we ain't even smart enough to do this shit. Like, come what on, a, I'd be, I'd be fucking screaming. What do you do all these when Egyptians. you get? What do you do when you get somebody else's UPS package delivered to your house? Steal it. Yeah. I'm, no, I mean, I'll no, take it back I, to their I house. Check. I check if it's someone in my neighborhood. Yeah, I go and give it to them. If it, if if it, I'm just this has never happened to me. But hypothetical, if it was just delivered, and it's just I see, I look up the address and it's like across town. I'm stealing it. Yeah, for oh, sure. Oh yeah, dude. Yeah, there is really. a guy who used to live at this house that is in serious trouble with the eye. <laughs> <laughs> I love those when you move into a new place and you get the mail from the previous. Dude, and when the IRS and, uh, starts sending colored letters, oh. it's like, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm thinking like, how have they not found this guy? <laughs> like, because <laughs> they must not have found this guy. Because I keep getting mail for him like every six months. Pay your fucking taxes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who you are. That's just that guy's gone. Yeah, he's uh, like, I, I today I got into a place and uh, and seeing the just little bits of the lifestyle of the previous tenant. You just see you find shit in the corners of the closets. You've you get little pieces of their mail and you're like, oh, they were really into, you know, whatever. They signed up for like boating weekly or something. I guess this yeah. guy was really into boats. And then I got like a good one today. Of, oh, yeah. Wait, what? I got a good one today. I got 60K cups. Oh, that's From actually, what? well, do you have a yeah. Keurig? Of course. Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. It's like, it's like three of every kind. Like, Is like, it like good like, flavors? That's yeah. dope. That is, and it wasn't addressed to you? Nope. Yeah, you keep that shit. free 60K I also cups? got... Three sixty k cups are in the kitchen now. I opened them up a little while ago. Just, like went through them all, and then like, <laughs> and then a bunch of books that are for kids. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do with those. If that was me, I would love that shit. I, I read my kids two books a night. Yeah, it's not that and, kind of uh, book. It's like, hang on, I'm gonna oh. get them. That's funny. Oh, Everybody good. Poops. Okay. <laughs> Everybody you read your kids two classic. books a night. Yeah, every every night, dude. And I love like the Dr. Seuss ones. I got those fucking things down. I got a rhythm and everything. I don't fuck up the rhymes and the words. Fox on socks. I can do like first try, easy peasy, all the way through without fucking up. 
uh, experience fish, that. blue fish or whatever that that's a that's a classic. one fish two fish red fish blue fish blue fish yeah the one, one that i'm not fucking big on is um <laughs> uh the places you'll go is very disturbing to me i don't i don't care for that i don't i remember that one there's a lot of uh curly q spires and yeah and things like that i remember i loved uh butter side up and butter side down the toast ones Ooh, where the like there was a journal war. The Big Life Journal for kids. What kind of lessons does it have for children? Well, yeah. uh, just for fun, if you could throw a party for your friends and family, what would it be like? Draw or describe the party below. And there's a box for, you know, there. Oh, and it's the next like page, a write like, your own book book. Yeah, it's Those like I do fun. my best. That's the next. Oh, that's, that's the end of that chapter. Okay. Um, this is love learning. Uh, I have special talents. I am only passionately curious. Albert, uh, it's some Einstein quotes. I don't know, man. It's a bunch is this of nonsense. Like a self-help book but for a five-year-old. Some kind of Hispanic fellow with a with a guitar. Where is it? What's the backdrop there? Where's he at? Space, I think. That's or space. maybe is that a book? A book in the world is floating around. That book it's sucks. Sort of, dude. It's about learning another language. Um, a kid is happier for having not received that. Oh, <clears throat> oh, this is about Chris Hadfield actually becoming an astronaut. So yeah, there's this Wait, one. That was Chris Hadfield. Yeah, no, it wasn't. I, I, throw him back up on screen. Get oh, back to that page. It's gonna be hard to find him. <laughs> that guy looked like a Mexican gardener. That they he did. did. They did <laughs> That's Hadfield exactly dirty. What I, if they you believe can anyone can illustration. anyone can be an astronaut if you believe yeah. in the <laughs> What just you happened? You must study <laughs> to be an astronaut. <laughs> kind of made they made him look like a weird off-duty mariachi guy <laughs> hey you know I, you, you know if uh if the general from those insurance commercials one eight hot contacts and lost some weight that's who it would be and oh, then yeah. to the general got, and save some time <laughs> i got the uh the three minute gratitude journal for kids all right, let's uh, run through this. Let's put it to the yeah. test. That sounds like some bullshit where you're like so trying like, to force your kid to be grateful for all the stuff you're doing. Yeah, you're, you're like them. teaching them manners, basically, I think. Be grateful so to like, your cool dad. It's like yeah, every put day. This roof over your head. So, <laughs> like, for every day of the week, it's like, I'm thankful for one, two, and three. And then this person brought me joy today, colon. And then I feel, and then a, like smiley faces through all the way to frowny face, like shit like that. Uh, yeah. So like some poor kid out there is not going to be able to express himself properly now. Sorry, that's not going to focus. Fuck, I don't fuck know. Maybe the, I can see like the, the feelings it's part being it's kind of important. And then I don't know what this one is. Um, it almost feels wrong to open it, but it says I am a gift. <laughs> we'll no, you're not. We'll, no, it is. It is. Yeah, it's a gift. <laughs> My birthday's coming up. How do they know? <laughs> oh man. Um. So that and the 60k cups. So it was a good day. Um. Yeah, that's you solid. The package on my. You uh, absolutely step. got some little kid's birthday delivery. <laughs> Yes, I did. He's yes, about to learn something. And coffee. That little kid is about to get a out. life lesson that no book can teach. <laughs> 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 uh, I'm going to start. Uh, let's see. Uh, what is it? A Thursday? I am thankful for the UPS man not being able to read my address. Dude, dude, you, you know, do you know what would be unironically the funniest thing for you to do is if you go through and fill out the entire thing and then ship it back to them that would be so, <laughs> so oh, just like fill it out completely yeah, <laughs> it's, it's well it. worn it's a lot of scribbles mm. and corrections do it in like four months yeah <laughs> that'd be great for you so like how me, close were these people to you that's not relevant not close no, so you need to look up their address and be like you what do you mean look it up horrible it's book choices a, it was written on the package i know exactly where they are if I get a package that's not mine, it's for like my next door neighbor, and that happens once a year. Yeah. Like, here's what happens. Neighbors. Most of the time, I tear into the package before I know it's theirs. We're gonna say that that's what happened today. In there. Yeah. Um. It's not. And then, like, sometimes I end up with like one of my neighbors, I guess, like, like gets these fake eyelashes, and I was like, it's gonna be weird for me to return these to her. Maybe someday I'll date a black girl. So Better I steal them. Yeah. Yeah. Good it's not really stealing it's failing to return it was given to me and 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 that's all i know yeah <laughs> so what do you, when you're uh when you're delivered something that's not yours what do you do because i i bet it's rare for you because your house is so unique there uh no i usually you can tell which neighbor it was for and i put it in the golf cart and i go visit a neighbor 
it's actually kind of fun. Woody burns it. All right, that's sick. That way. <laughs> <laughs> so I so mean, here's why. He's, here's he's why. Here's why I think you should always keep it, and here's why I always keep it, and here's why I think you should keep my package if it ever gets delivered to you. Amazon has great customer service. Mm. Let's both have one. Okay. <laughs> you know what? Mean. Look, look, look. <clears throat> if my rogue plates had went to my neighbor yesterday and I was like, hey, they didn't get delivered, and they were like, shit, we'll send you some new ones, I'd be so psyched for my neighbor to have a cool set of rogue plates now. I would give a, <laughs> like, he, I see him working out in his garage. He's got like a little mini mm. gym. Like, he doesn't have nice shit. But if I looked and I saw he had like rogue plates out of nowhere on his little thing, I'd be like, yeah. How many 45s did you get? Just two. I've Just already got. Two. Who's gone like, for yeah. 30 seconds. Who doesn't my mean mini four? Fridge. I come back and we're got talking two? about fucking oh, okay. plates again. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Woody. I, we, I, we had successfully driven nah, it away. We're still talking about um, stealing from our neighbors. What I was saying was that I think it's always the right thing to do to keep whatever comes to you. It was good. Yeah. Thing. Because that's what I would want you to do with my shit. Because Amazon's going to hook you up now. So we both get one. So I, I'm choosing between yeah. me getting only you getting something or only me getting something and us <laughs> both getting something. It's like that railroad thing where you don't know which uh, way to flip the switch. I, yeah. flipped, I, I came up with a new way to flip the switch. We both get shit now. Yeah, but uh, when I order yeah. something, I get excited for it to show up. And if you make me wait that fucking three, four days for me to get the replacement, I'm going to come at you swinging if I see that you have my rogue plates in your garage. If you, if you see me in my front yard filling out my fucking head. <laughs> yeah. You see me filling out my gratitude journal out front. <laughs> I was waiting at the mail slot for that gratitude journal to come shooting in. And I see you out on your hammock filling out your gratitude book the next day. Yeah, I'm going to be fucking pissed. It's funny you mentioned that. Like, <clears throat> I, I pulled into my house the other day and my my uh, my neighbor was outside. He's about 30, I guess, black guy. And uh, he comes walking toward me and he's like, yo, I roll my window down. Hey, what's up, man? He's like, somebody out here checking mailboxes. And I'm like, huh? He's like, somebody's out here going through all the mailboxes. Just come through here. They seen him. And I was like, who? What do he look like? And he said, it was a light skin. And then that other word I'm not allowed to say for some reason, even though he said it. Um, it was a light skin. Um, wh what, what do we say instead? Um, we ninja? Stand in. African yeah, it was a night. He said it was a light skin ninja. <laughs> Whoa, why, yeah. do you, why did you take it to a racial place? <laughs> you said light skin. Like, at, no one here has mentioned race or anything of the sort. What did Maybe Sam say? He said African American. American. Yeah. Oh yeah. my. I don't know why he said that. I was talking about martial artists, I figured. Oh. Yeah. No, yeah. I thought you were talking about because well, it would make more sense that if a, a light skinned black guy was going through mailboxes than no, a No, Asians. Asians like like, like you've never seen like Filipinos ninja. are a bit more dark skinned. This was clearly a Japanese man who had okay. been sleuthing about. <laughs> it makes a lot of sense in Georgia for a Asian man to be sleuthing around going through people's mailboxes. I, I didn't realize. I'm sorry. I didn't fucking. I wasn't paying attention. He was wearing. That, <laughs> he was wearing a hoodie. I could be wrong. So they, he said it was a light skinned ninja, and I was like, "Oh, <laughs> one of those, eh?" And he's like, <laughs> "I was like, I don't like that at all." He's like, "Me neither." We're gonna go. We're gonna look on our camera, see if we can get it. You look on yours, and I'm like, "Yeah." And I like, I pull up my cameras and stuff. I'm like, "You have one." Okay. Yeah. And he's got like a hoodie on. You can't see him, but he is. He's walking a pit bull like through our neighborhood, like going through everybody's shit and like the mail hadn't been delivered yet to me i guess or maybe i just didn't have any that day so he's just like he goes through everybody's fucking mailboxes in our probably in looking our for world. packages yeah yeah i guess so with right, his we, pit bull too which is scary he doesn't want your bills the <laughs> 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 do bills don't mind if i do <laughs> are you like one of those uh, do you like uh, pit bulls or i'm personally like anti pit bull for like 99 percent of the time i will yeah. say this because i think they're like killing machines and that like they're meant to be like doing a very specific job. My dad has just had like three dogs in a row die to like either animal attacks or like getting mm. smushed by machinery. And he's like, I think the next dog I get is going to be a pit bull I raised from a puppy because I need something that can survive around here. Like these yeah. little like these little dogs I've been getting, they're not tough enough. They can't handle it. Like, like you have chihuahuas? They, no, no, it's not that little, but it's like little like 30 pound. 
like little yeah. 30 pound mixed ter- like type dogs that look that there's like yipping around and running like they get hit by a tractor or something they just fucking get vaporized whereas in the past our bigger dogs like they can take a lick and keep on ticking if you get them with the vet and so i think he's gonna get i think he might actually get a pit bull because like I mean, we also have the fucking neighbor's dogs every now and then will like come over and like want to kill one of our dogs and now you see, now, have now i'm death. with you because i was like he could have a chocolate lab or something and, and it would be sturdy for the farm we but had a chocolate lap. We, we had that, and it was. I remember it was fighting three Dobermans at the same fucking time <laughs> in the field. And like, but little did they know, like Max had backup. So Dad's <laughs> on the back porch with a Remington seven hundred, like <laughs> laying them out one after another. And they're far enough away that Max and the Dobermans have no idea what's going on. And he's like, you can see him. He's like, Arr! they're in a standoff, and like mm-hmm. one of them falls over dead. And he's just like. Fuck yeah! Scared, <laughs> scared him to death. <laughs> when that dog came saying, home, like, if, when that dog came home after having felled three <laughs> larger beasts, he was on top of the fucking world. His tail was just. <laughs> hey, what's up, guys? Yeah, I was holding it down for you out there. Killed three of them. <laughs> I was about to say, yeah. if like a neighbor's dog comes onto my property and fucks with anything, like. Like, I don't think you can get shit for shooting them, like, right? I had that. I told the story on the show before. Like, when we I first moved in those here, fuckers down, dude. our neighbor yeah. had an aggressive German shepherd. And uh, you have to understand that I live on a pretty big lot. So for him to oh, get no. to... The- I've seen the full satellite view of your place. I was watching your videos. Like, this guy's a fucking psycho. He's just pointed out, like... Yeah, like, remember, like where it is like fucking and come in from this angle if you don't want to be seen here's the access road. <laughs> i the remember full, you making like, fun of when yeah, the flight like, simulator came out we so landed hard. in the yard that was funny you but, are <laughs> suicidal dude you're just giving away like every like here's a 360 degree scan of my whole property <laughs> i did a house tour once but anyway um here's the inside in another video okay, <laughs> yeah right. yeah uh yeah so so then you know, but the audience needs to know that it's a big property. So for a German shepherd to come all the way to the center of it where our house is, is really intrusive, more so than it would have been at our last place. Yeah. And he, he was aggressive enough that like my wife and kids couldn't leave the car. You know, they're in the driveway and the dog's like barking at him. She's calling me. I'm inside. Like, I don't even know how to get from my car to my house because the neighbor's dog is harassing us or um, uh, outside our kitchen doors where the you know, the outside trash cans. Yeah. Um. You know, we can't throw our trash away because the dog is not letting us out of our house or at the end the, the dog would like chase me to where I took the trash to the curb. And at one point I talked to the neighbors and I was like, I don't know what to do. Like I'm, I'm like forced to, to shoot your dog. Your dog is attacking me on my property and you let him run free all the time to harass my family and I. Yeah, you and got that, kids and a wife, dude. I would have gunned that thing down first first I, day. They ended up moving. Uh, and they had planned on moving anyway. It wasn't about me unless I expedited it. I don't know. Yeah. But I, I do feel in the right. Like if a dog's coming. Right. Um, I, look, I went through that my whole life, like like living on that farm and always having our own dogs and, you know, livestock with like li- when a calf gets born, it's covered in blood and like crazy weak. And like you wouldn't think a dog won't run up and tear a calf to death. They just won't do that. But mm-hmm. they will chase it because that's fun to them. And they can chase mm-hmm. death. Like, like, if they can, your dogs are good at that, and calves aren't. Like, if they mm-hmm. chase it enough, they'll stress it out and they heat stroke in the summer. Like, they just die. Like, like, like mm-hmm. that sort of thing happens. So, when they came on our property, we zapped them and we didn't ask anybody or tell anybody. We zapped them and they, we just threw this them in the with field. A regular Whatever we bullet. had handy. Yeah. We killed them. We shot them dead. Okay. Yeah. 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 yeah if you own a dog and they were up, if they get... were there, they were up to no good. Like, they weren't, yeah. they weren't mm-hmm. there to visit. They were there That's to the hang out dogs. Like, yeah. I'm not shooting your dog on your property. Your dog came to my. You let your dog run free. My dog I'm doesn't leave my property. Like dog yeah. walking in my ditch. Like I have a more suburban type place. Mm-hmm. I've seen your plot of land and everything, man. Like if a dog is at your actual Doorstep. in your carport, yeah, he's getting gunned down. You are way beyond. This ain't a stroll through the corner mm-hmm. of my lot. You are. That's where you like my... hit the garage door opener. Yeah. <laughs> 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 let it close behind him. You're like, yeah. Oh, you fucked up, buddy. Yeah. I would drop this <laughs> thing off at the and, neighbors too. I would be like, I'm really sorry. Idle for three or I four hours, to. come out there, throw the dog in the back. You're all done. The, the dog goes into the garage. Like, like Joe Pesci. 
<laughs> <laughs> Shot in the back of the head. As soon as he gets in. <laughs> I just imagine you like eating dinner with Jackie and be like, I'm gonna I'm gonna borrow this knife, this big knife you got here. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> right, we had a deer on the way. I gotta the, the what do you call it? The hoof. I gotta I gotta hack it off. Are you gonna hack the dog up and bury it? No, yeah. but, like, like no, you'd problem? be totally in the right, Woody. From yeah, what and it, I'm a dog I lover, I wasn't in. looking forward to this, Same. but it, yeah, you know, and Kyle gave me a good idea. We actually put um bear spray the golf cart has cup holders mm-hmm. it's like if the yeah, that's that's our first step bear spray see how see how the dog responds to that i've watched a, i watch a lot of these cop videos um shout out to all of you who i'm sure watched police activity and loved it last week you're welcome <laughs> um keep watching it it's great stuff every day new content folks getting gunned down and stuff and what i've noticed because <laughs> i've watched so much of those people getting gunned down is that bullets don't always work unless you hit like the brain or the spine like you can shoot yeah. someone in the heart and they'll come over across the room and stab you to death. Like it doesn't matter because they don't need a heart to take one more step and stab you three times mm-hmm. because that happens in less than a second. It's a, a quarter of a second. One step, stab, stab, stab. You didn't need a heart to do that. And mm-hmm. uh, I've seen them do it. I watched, a, I watched a guy come up an entire flight of basement stairs at a cop shooting him with a pistol as fast as he could. He got to the top of the stairs, hit the cop with a bat. I don't know if the cop lived or not, but the cop was fully unconscious and they were laying on top of each other in the floor. Like, but I've seen people get shot with pepper spray and they change their fucking mind about what's going to happen tonight. Like (laughs) it's a whole, I mean, I've been hit by it too. And I know it's like, there's that moment. You know, you grab something hot and it doesn't immediately, Mm -hmm. you don't feel it immediately. You're like, Oh, I've grabbed something Mm -hmm. hot. That's what you feel. You feel that there's that like quarter second delay. That's how long you have until you're done doing whatever you were doing before. It's over. And to preface it, there's a difference between like, like pepper spray and like the real shit that fucks you up. Yeah, you want uh pepper spray the with bear gel. It, it, it's yeah, what well, right, that, that bear shit is a whole nother level. It gets on is your it face worse? and it's just like frothing in your eyes and everything. Like that yeah. shit. I think looks they brutal. made like a foam or a gel for bears, like he's describing. And mm-hmm. obviously, like like the the volume and the pressure yeah. that it's putting out is substantially bigger. The saber red that um I've used and that I tell girls to buy and that I've been sprayed with. Is like a squirt gun. It's what your daughter that we recommended with the the practicing thing Mm -hmm. um, and all that stuff. I I have like three or four of those practice uh, pepper spray things. Anytime like I meet a new girl, I'm like, hey, do you even know what that pepper spray does? You ever sprayed it? And they're like, no. I'm like, try to spray that picture frame with this. And they always miss. And it's like, what if he was a killer? And they're like, Mm -hmm. "Ah!" I'm like, why are you crying? Now we're going to try it for real. Yeah. (laughs) This time for real. Uh, but yeah, no, that she did that. I, I, I kind of want to repeat that for the listeners. That when Hope was first going off to college, I was like, "How does she? You know, Kyle, do you have any expertise in like self defense type stuff?" And he suggested a pepper spray and had her buy a practice well, her buy a practice pepper spray that she could try. And uh, yeah, anyway, that's what you do. So it just yeah. shoots water. It's like a water yeah, gun. It's, it's the exact same mechanism and pressure and everything. It's sold from this, the the company. Um, I, I've always used Saber Red stuff. I'm almost sure they make a big um, um, bear thing, too. I used it because I heard it's what prisons used back before I went to prison. And to me, that was industrial grade, you know? Like, yeah. like you ever buy a cleaner, like you want to degrease something? And yeah, like, there's a bunch I, of warnings on it. You're like, yeah, I do not want go, anything. Like, what do they use in prison to clean the shit and blood off the walls of the cells? I want That's that what pink I want. stuff. I want that pink stuff that that homie was rubbing on the floor over there. It got everything yeah. out, whatever mm. that is. I want warnings, labels, and stuff. Have you guys <laughs> ever gone to that Instagram page? Uh, it's like Crime Scene Cleaner Ink or something. Ever? No, that it's, sounds gross. No, yeah, it it's like gross? it's an Instagram. It's the guy runs a, a CSI or a crime scene cleaner business. And I don't know how he gets around it, but you follow his page and he's just like, yeah, so this person fell 48 stories and <laughs> cracked on the pavement. And he just shows the before of like a complete ketchup packeted person. You know, they've no. just been squished. And then uh, and then he shows like the after, which is a beautiful, pristine sidewalk. No blood stains anywhere, you know, and I, and they're incredible. He, he's, there's some where it's like person uh, died in a bathtub and they found him 48 weeks later. And he's like, it's a picture of the bathtub and everything. And then uh, next picture is it looks like a brand new bathroom. He's cleaned it. You know, in this in this modern He's, day, uh, this modern day world where so many are struggling with uh, the wage gap and, and unemployment and such, this scene, crime scene cleanup, seems like an area where a hardworking entrepreneur 
could slide mm-hmm. under and underbid everyone and get himself mm-hmm. kn- knee deep in viscera and really make a <laughs> career out of it. Right. Like well, if you would, he it- has his cleaners, dude, you could do this. But his cleaning like formula, he says he makes his own shit. Oh, he's like an alchemist. He's own. over there like hmm. making his own Windex and stuff. Shit. And he refuses to he refuses to say because um, oh, proprietary blend. Yeah. yeah. Because not only does it when clean up all man. the blood and shit so you can't visually see it. But he says if, if you were to do the swab. You know, yeah. like they say, if you clean blood with bleach, they do the swab and they go, there's blood there, but the DNA is damaged. Like they can't do a DNA mm-hmm. match, but they can say there was blood here. Or bodily fluid in general. Yeah. You but know what you this do? This guy, his shit cleans it. It's like some enzyme cleaner. It cleans it to the point where they can't even tell that there's blood. So you got to murder wow. someone and then hire him to clean up the scene and say that the cops have already been there. Or That's probably his business model. He's just That's keeping it. Because I, I found a couple I bet you accounts on before, Instagram. By the way. I don't use Instagram, but I thought you couldn't show like extreme graphic blood and gore stuff. One of the pictures he had on there, or if this is the same guy or a different guy, was like clearly where someone was probably stabbed to death in bed. And it is... There's so much weight of viscera and blood and gore and that like the side of the bed is like there's still like an eighth of a person there, like that much viscera. And it's just a picture of that. This guy did not have any after photo. He's just stoked to be sharing his line of work, apparently. <laughs> but it is. And there's other ones the where it's like shit factor everywhere. That other guys. <laughs> That's how really much of a fucking <laughs> business model. If you just show the before picture, I want a fucking after. Do you think like, they get paid by the no. hour? No, they get paid uh, by the difficulty of work. I, I, I would yeah. I, no, I would charge. Uh, I would charge like three hundred fifty dollars an hour, and for and, and like like, I, I think that would just cut it right. Like like like, oh my god, that's what it would cost, right? To, to, they like throw a number out. You're it would gonna have to be, be a ton. You're gonna be crime scene cleanup man. Three hundred fifty. I'm sixty minutes in, wading through uh, the brain matter and shattered bone, and you. I'm not going to be like, wow, that was worth 350 fucking dollars. No, I want more than that. Oh, I, no yeah. way. No, I think that's what the man on the ground should get paid. But it's not what he gets paid, is it? I no, think that's what probably... I would need to get paid to be the man on the ground. I'd do it for 350 oh. an hour. Oh, 50. fuck me in the ass. Oh, no. 15 oh, no. an hour? 50. That's the average. Dude, that's what they pay at Kroger. I know. Don't work at Kroger. Scene Go to Kroger. $15 Dude, an he hour. quoted uh, Postman make 18 to 34 an hour. Yeah, they don't have to clean up a single dead body I mean, unless it's oh, yeah, after I mean, hours oh, yeah. and they're doing their own thing. No, 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 there's no, gas no, people out. There's gas stations near me that say like starting at fourteen. Mm-hmm. It's like yeah, go do that. I would rather clean up dead bodies than work at a gas station. I'm going to be honest with you. Well, this is a quick trip. Those are the nice gas stations. Oh, so this is, is that like the flying J of UT? wherever the hell you are? No, yeah, it, yeah. UT it's, is really fancy. All right, really fancy is going too far. It's a fucking gas station. It's a very nice gas station. But as their far concession as gas stations go. area is so ridiculous. Like it is Americana in like one corner of a goddamn gas station. I don't know how many different kinds of Slurpee slash slushies mm-hmm. slash ices slash flavored coffees they have back there. But a hundred wouldn't be an unreasonable like like number oh, of yeah. varieties. It's absurd. And it's they absurd. have like uh, the new quick trips. At least the ones near me. Like they have a whole area now where it's like you you can order, like you can order a pizza. Oh yeah, they've got a restaurant or chicken there wings like, or onion rings yeah. or something. I've never gotten anything there. Me because either. It's like even me, like like I'm not gonna get a standard. pizza at at Quick Trip. Unless- it's got a four point seven stars on DoorDash. I noticed that the other day. I was really? like, how the <laughs> fuck does like QT? I because I, I ranked. I, I always go by like highest yeah. rated because I'm gonna find some like hidden gem Indian place or something. Fucking racetrack is the highest rated restaurant <laughs> near me. It's, a, it's depressing. Because they got fried chicken. Oh, hey, your, like your birthday's coming up. When is it? Uh, if you don't mind saying. Uh, or roughly, maybe. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Oh, my. Is there, what kind of Happy big birthday. plans you got? We've got big plans. Uh, Dinner? Not a ton. I, we're going to do stuff this weekend. Oh. Instead of on Friday. Yeah, so I think my wife and I are going to go out to a nice dinner on Saturday or Sunday evening. I haven't decided where I want to go yet. I don't know if I want to go to a steak place. I don't know if I want to go to a get out. Maybe I'll make an ass of myself at a, at a crab restaurant. That could be a – oh, okay. My decision has been made, I think. I, that, uh, that could be a good idea. I'll show you the um, – I don't, I don't know why, but I'll show you the restaurant I'm going to for my birthday. Um, I don't know why. I guess just to brag, really. <laughs> um, it's not like there's one there where you are or anything. 
but uh but uh, i don't know i already picked a place out that, that's what i'm gonna do as well um, nice yeah your birthday's coming up yeah just a month uh what less than a month away five nine eight six from the from the old youtube channel yep yep it uh that i was very creative back then woody do you yeah. still celebrate your birthday <laughs> Or have you had so many that you're like, this is fucking lame. I don't care anymore. We got still, high this year. Do you expect year. to be, uh, are you one of those people that expects to be like, oh, my Lord, it's your birthday today? <laughs> no. Uh, Notoriously, yes. They yeah. bought a pecan pie for me, and I like it. Oh, dude, those are fucking dope with coffee. Yeah, yeah those are, that's what that's we did. What it was Remember good. last year, Taylor, when I told you I was thinking about getting you that phrenology head for your birthday? Yes, but then I, I didn't decided not. We were among intellectuals, <laughs> but, but oh, then, yes. that's what I'm talking about. I what? have a head caliper right over there. Yeah, oh. so it's something he has like like some, some big interest. Right. In. A man um, of science. Let me grab my caliper. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like an inside joke of a birthday present. And I told Taylor, I was like, I thought about this for you. I was like, this would be the perfect gift for you. And, and then I just didn't get it because I didn't wait, want wait, to. Wait. Taylor, where, where do you live? St. Louis. St. Louis, okay. Yeah, that's a kind of a place of, like, it's a hotbed of racial tension. I wouldn't get a phrenology head anywhere near your fucking property. But how's I'm he going to know if his beliefs. UPS man, how's he ever going to know if his UPS man is one of the good ones? Like, if he doesn't you come have across scallops. an intellectual black guy, he's going to look at that shit and be like, that's, like, worse than having, like, a KKK flag or some shit in your house. And I'm, I'm going to be like, well, that makes sense because you have a shallow brain pan. <laughs> 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 his fucking head, and he is gonna uppercut you. Yeah, yeah I wouldn't do That's that. That's because your uppity center is so <laughs> yeah. large. Yep. Look at that. Look at all that uppity. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna get a phrenology flag for my front yeah. yard. <laughs> yeah. Between this and those fucking divining rods and shit, like this, this place is wild. I'm all about this show over here. Hell oh, yeah. yeah. So this got, year got, for your birthday, it's um, like dude version of like a, a, a holistic science or whatever. Like yeah. guy versions <laughs> like, of that shit is always like women have crystals and stuff, but we got like, you know, we can find out if you're uh, less smart than us based on these what these calipers say over here. <laughs> I mean, you, like you guy can. science is fucking wild. I can I can figure out where water is thirty feet under. So I got these sticks. <laughs> but, yeah. I mean, I, I calipered my head, and I was top percentage by almost every metric. Whoa, huge skull, which God, means really? by the the proven science of phrenology that I'm brilliant. That's insane because my grandma had a kid one time. It was her firstborn. Came out, its fucking head was like four sizes too big, and they said uh, there's a. Uh, there's like a gallon of water sloshing around in there. This thing's fucking brain dead. But uh, according to them oh. calipers, that's like the smartest kid ever born, yeah. right? It's like an inverse Jimmy Neutron. Yeah, they call that a yeah. waterhead baby. Yeah. 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 I read a book when I was a kid. Medical. Called, uh, yeah. <laughs> it was called. It was called My Pig Man and Me, and uh, and it was about this kid growing up in this neighborhood. And I think it was a Greek thing having a pig man. It was some nonsense. But anyway, there was a waterhead baby, and the kid would always talk about how how freaky the waterheaded baby looked like looked when the mom would like cradle it on the porch and shit it was yeah like, yeah and like enormous like freakazoid head yeah but uh what you guys didn't realize is thanks to phrenology we know those are super Geniuses. smart people but it's because yeah. their brain's taking it easy floating around in all that water that's right it has plenty of time to get strong i bet they'd be incredible at mma oh for sure uh, yeah remember that classic you could knock that fucker a out car crash like a waterhead baby Ho homer yeah. simpson fought uh dredrick tatum in that classic fight at moe's and he survived because of that extra layer of intracranial fluid which is based <laughs> on science shit you remember based on phrenology science <laughs> oh no, this is based on the simpson science <laughs> which is even Which is more just rigid as good. than than <laughs> phrenology. Yeah. No, phrenology yeah. would have been the most fun study back in the day, because it's yeah. like, oh, we need to do our studies. What you mean? Take out the ruler and hold it to their cheekbone and like <laughs> say the number like, and then you just make up whatever you want. Like, yeah. oh, you you're a fucking retard <laughs> because you didn't come to my birthday party. Or oh you're 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 a, clearly a selfish person. Like have you seen those old turn of the center? It's like 1850s. These little pamphlet comics they would release, and it's called like like it, it'll be a picture of someone with like a nice straight nose, and it'll say above it like the sure-headed man, and yeah. then it'll have a picture of like 
a hook nose, like beady eyed person. It'll say like the classic liar. And it's like <laughs> they were straight up saying like, oh, that person, they have a, a hook nose. That's classic liar behavior. Oh, he's mm. he's rubbing his hands together connivingly. Oh, he's a bad guy. Yeah. Like when it, in reality, people who rub their hands together connivingly are probably good people. I do that all the fucking know. time. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah, yeah well, doing it uh, the yeah, exception that, that proves the rule. <laughs> I have very soft hands. I, 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 and I, I just like feeling them. That's all. How do you he keep does. them soft, lifting all the heavy stuff? I wear gloves. I always wear oh. gloves. I look like a Pokemon gay trainer. biker gloves. No, like a Pokemon trainer, like like fingerless. Yeah. Even gay and, fingerless. Gloves. I, oh, yeah. I've got a I got a um, Pokemon shirt, and I like pose with it on, and I do like do the pose, and I put the cap. You got his gotta, misty shorts on. Yeah, I do. I do, and it says "Got to catch them all" at the bottom. The misty yeah. shorts cancels out the gayness. That makes it then straight again because it's you've gone so far that it's ironic, and that just means you're self assured. Yeah. Yes. But yeah. if you were if you were wearing just normal stuff, normal lifting gear, fingerless gloves, gay. But once Honestly, you're fingerless I wear the gloves and shorts, it's like this guy's going for it. This is the straightest thing I've ever seen. I guess I, I like, like like they do probably look kind of lame. I just really don't care. I'm wearing them in most of the pictures I've taken at the gym and stuff because like they make they don't. They keep my hands from getting calluses, and I lift a lot of heavy things and do like yeah. pull ups and like lots of reps and stuff. And I don't have any calluses, um, and I like it that way because I'm not like working in a field or yeah, anything. I don't I like have any hands. calluses either. So the main thing I like to do with my hands <laughs> is like finger women, and the fucking don't want calluses for that. So like, yeah, you know, mm -hmm. so my main goal is to have like, I mean, if I could like surgically have like a few of these made into like a better penis or something, like 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 a better penetrative thing like you know how like if this one could be like a corkscrew right you we could sew just, them together yeah yeah if i could if i could, remember the crab boy from that uh the the, the freak uh, american, horror, of american story, yeah. horror story i'm not big it, on like fingering dude like you, you have a penis for a reason well it's just a little, little change well, of pace. i could put my like penis in it her is, butt but and like, then i could and definitely could not crab something that i would ever vagina. even think about outside of doing it well then and also your penis isn't prehensile or at you least mine you is. You do it a little bit mine just is. so later you it can goes do all a, the little, way in. a little sniff, but that's about Yours, it. That, you, wait, wait. Your penis is on like the outside of your body? Like just hanging there? It's just no. hanging there. Yeah. <laughs> Miles is fully retractable. Fucking disgusting, bro. I'm like a dolphin. Okay. <laughs> all smooth until I'm ready for action. Think about how much more convenient that would be. Dude. Oh, my God. Think yeah. We would really all look like Ken dolls, and it would be so slick. Oh, oh, why yeah. does sperm need to die at such a low temperature? Like at a high temperature. That oh no, at a no, low I, I, at no, so it's low. A okay, okay, I understand what you mean. Yeah. Why insane. can't like, sperm temp? survive two higher temperatures? Yeah, 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 yeah. Would be better phrasing. Like because I say why are, why is this stuff on the outside? And they're like, well, you know, sperm die at high temperatures, so that's why testicles hang on the outside, keep them cooler. Just put them like, like in the middle, like change that rule or something. It's like, because change the, that rule. It's because the membrane on a sperm cell has to be much thinner than the membranes of most other cells in our bodies because it's meant to deliver its DNA payload in the most efficient way. Once it gets to the egg, so it's Sounds like it's, hogwash it's, to me. It's by design yeah. a very weak cell because it's going in there on a suicide mission. You no, know, it's because I, I all every eggs. sperm is a by little way, homunculus. By the way, that's a hundred percent made up. Yeah, that okay, doesn't I sound want right. Eggs. It has to like oh, penetrate I the egg. You you yeah, made that up? Yeah, dude, I totally believed you. I'm not gonna lie. I got one sperm, Don't. I believe you. That's all you're not. Kamikaze's meant to explode on impact. Their their torpedoes meant to penetrate on, on, when it find the egg. I was like, this sounds backwards. Have you have you seen a I don't like know much the, about the, the drawings of what they thought sperm was in the year like 1605? Well, that's that. Like they're all just <laughs> tiny little homunculi. Like it's a, like little a bunch of tiny little men who are trying to get in. <laughs> they have the they like, they like grunt. Yeah. Like, Heave. Yeah. <laughs> like trying to batter down the egg yeah man being a scientist before like honestly 30 before years actual ago <laughs> science yeah like it was oh, pretty yeah. fucking incredible Are you kidding me i guarantee like a big chunk of like the shit we believe right now 100 years from now will be laughable oh for sure i mean the, yeah, the but food now we pyramid? got like microscopes and stuff you know, okay, like you, you make a good point. It's a bit. It, we made a gigantic leap just learning that like disease was called caused by microbes, like like that whole yeah, thing. Like that, that germs, germs were a thing. Shit. Yeah, they thought it. Was, oh, what was the word they used? Tumors. It, 
Your humor, humor, humor or something, or a firmament in the air, or like yeah. some and nonsense like that. You have an excess of black bile. You need to. Yeah. <laughs> they thought the disease. Thing, yeah. Which phrenology? Now that you bring it up, like that is the only difference between phrenology and like the humor thing is the fact that they invented a ruler. That's Dude, it. You know, That's we're not actually difference. in phrenology, right? We just think it's a funny thing. And I was going to. No, 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 no. I, I, yeah, I know that. Yeah, I get that. But uh, Good, Taylor seems we to know a lot about that. it, and I think he's one of those people that's like, "Oh no, I just think it's funny," and then he really practices. No, it. no, it, get, it is, it is true. We practice. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't want that to get. Mixed we up. call him the head honcho for a reason. Oh, yes. Got you. You've all done cranium measuring, and you've mm -hmm. figured out who the. the I'm growing is. mine right now with HGA. Dude, you were you were oh. right about black bile being one of the four humors. There's yeah. blood, yellow bile, black bile, and phlegm. And mm. so these motherfuckers were just like, oh, you've got yellow bile and blood. You're suffering from demons like that. <laughs> <laughs> What's excess phlegm? Because I feel like Woody's oh, fucking with me. sneezing. Oh, you're eating off with him. Do. Yeah. Like if you have too much phlegm, like what's the... What's the official diagnosis? The I'm not phlegmy. <laughs> he seems like a phlegmy guy. No, yeah, hurt. I didn't like it. Just seemed like they would make up shit. Like, was there any correlation between the previous diagnosis and like, like how do you even measure black bile? Like, I like I don't get it. There's by the boot. It fold. doesn't seem helpful. Yeah, yeah, it's just called melancholy. Look, depression was attributed to excess or unnatural black bile secreted by the spleen. Oh, you know? I just remember this. Like, I had a huge segment about this on a video that. For some reason, got uh, the ads yanked off of it. But I, I used to love like Victorian doctors, like women would come in. They'd be like, my, oh, my like, I just feel like the world's like weighing down on me. And like, I just don't know what to do. And the, or like, and he would just be like, yeah, you're hysterical, bitch. And he would just like finger blast her. Like, that's yeah. <laughs> or he'd get up like, with those like <laughs> steam powered vibrators they had. Yeah, they yeah he would, <laughs> he would crank it up, fill but it up with coal. Furnace. Yeah. <laughs> 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 and like that was a doctor's whole thing was just he would just walk and be like yeah this bitch is hysterical and he would just <laughs> masturbate them well, that I is so funny oh you're you're in a bad mood well i don't have any rights and i can't vote you're yeah. crazy <laughs> pop there that pussy out you're crazy I, <laughs> dude if you put that anywhere near my genitals i'm fucking leaving i like, really need a, to put a cover on that chain <laughs> yeah let's say it's got a chain it doesn't even have a little guard or anything <laughs> Cool. Oh, yeah. This is like hardcore. Remember that board game Mousetrap? By the way, there's no way this is real. This is like, like, like I don't know where you got the same image. This didn't exist. Well, it clearly there's no way that existed. Photo. Dude, the producer put it, it seems up. a He's... little bit Rube Goldberg. Like, there's more efficient ways. I mean, it looks it. like it works, frankly, but Are I'm just saying. Are you kidding like... me, Rube? All right, I've got Victorian the machine aligned to your pussy. Pop there the balloon to start the process. Don't worry, you're going to have quite the orgasm in 15 minutes. This is a Victorian era, dude. There was not a single efficient machine. They were all crazy. They were called crazy. Like, the first bicycle they made was the one with the big 11 foot tire. Like, they. A penny farthing. They were not efficient people back then. They were fucking. I think yeah. the, a normal person would go, maybe the tire should be the same size. Like, why would they make one huge? It was probably classy or it's something. Because, I don't Way think they had, there. like, a gear ratio chain. So, like, you I, maybe you needed the big wheel to, like, get any sort of, like, I didn't even going? think there was a chain. I thought your feet just rotated yeah, the, I think it the is. middle axis. I think it's just wheels. Wait. Like, you're, the pedals are right there at the front spoke. Like, right there at the... At the it big must wheel. have been, yeah, it they has to have modern been a stylistic day, choice. They do modern day penny farthing racing. Have you seen That's that got to be more dangerous things, than the UFC. It I've is, seen those it things on ass. They're, they're hilarious. Yeah. And if you crash, you're like, that's you're the next 12 step, feet Woody. There. A pin, an electric penny farthing. Mm, I like where yeah. your head is. That sounds like fun. That would be a way cooler death for you, by the way, than uh, the lawn chair thing. With really? The... No, come on. Penny farthing's an embarrassing death. Lawn chair's better. When was the last time someone died on a penny farthing? That would that be so make, awesome. That just oh, means that, three like... score and yawn. <laughs> <laughs> and again, with the lawn chair thing, you're probably like one of seven people that have one of those. So I guess I'm dying by that. But it's a no brainer. Like if you die by that, it's like, well, of course, he went flying in a chair. <laughs> <laughs> Duh. He's, uh, that's like a no-brainer my dad was asking about it the other day he's like what he's still flying and i'm like yeah he's like that that is pretty cool he's like i looked at one of his, looked at one of his videos a while back he's like i kind of want one of the ones that's a tricycle though i'm not yeah. running 
<laughs> the tricycle ones are nice if you're not a runner or um I sometimes I think about getting one for tandem because then oh, your your passenger cool. doesn't need to have any like athletic ability and you can you can control everything. Man, what about an ultralight plane though? That's where I like like, like you almost sold me just then with the with the trike. I was like mm-hmm. shit, I bet I could learn to fly a trike in 2 months flat. I bet they cost Less. fifteen thousand dollars. Should I get a trike? And mm-hmm. then I was like, "No, Kyle, you should buy a partial piece of an ultralight <laughs> with like five other friends or something like that." Like, See, like the, a the problem with plane. the ultralight, like I, I don't know, a, a paramotor or paraglider is like a kayak. You know, it's maneuverable. It's fast. You can launch it in a yard. It, it's it's a small, agile little thing, and. People sort of like, Woody, you should get a plane like it's an upgrade. But I hear, Woody, you'd like a pontoon boat. I see you on your kayak out there doing stunts oh, in the whitewater see. rafting. But wouldn't you like a pontoon boat? Like, I'm saving that for my older age. Yeah. That's it's fair. It's the difference That's between fair. having like a dirt bike and someone going like, get one of those big fucking cruisers with the yeah. big gay hard plastic saddlebag things. Exactly. And I'm not saying there other things aren't cool. A big cruiser might be fun, but it's a different mission. No, they I do agree. look like I agree. they're really comfy. To me, though, it's the same, though. <laughs> you see those guys on the interstate, and they're basically driving like a, a recliner with wheels. <laughs> like they, yeah. they look so comfy. I saw, I, I think of them as lame because, like, I feel like hmm. I took, I, I was specifically thinking about the trike guys on the road. That's uh-huh. what I'm thinking about. The two, I saw one the other day, I think they had two wheels in the front. Am I crazy? Yeah, no, that exists. Things or whatever. Yamaha makes one. one. Yeah, it was two. They there was a pair of two wheels in the front, and I'd never seen that before. And I was just like, they were trying. They were dressed like bikers, and I was just like, y'all are lame. <laughs> y'all are lame. So that one with two wheels in the front is a motorcycle, but if you widen the wheels by like six inches, it's a car and doesn't need a license. Oh, like it needs an automobile license. So the, oh. the theory is that. They're kind of making a motorcycle where they figure it all out and then they'll just widen the wheels a little bit and sell it to car people. Maybe it's a winner. I don't know. I don't know. It looked lame to me. This didn't look it had to me too. Turning radius is like one of the biggest advantages of a motorcycle that it'll fucking turn on a dime almost. It will. But like, I don't know. That thing didn't seem like it could do that. A motorcycle just doesn't look as cool. The farther you lean, the more it turns, as you know. Uh, when there's two front wheels, there's a limit on how far it can lean. Like the suspension travel needs to do one of these things. I don't know yeah. if I'm showing it very well on camera. <laughs> suspension travel needs to do that for one wheel to touch and the other wheel to touch. And uh, so there's a limit. I think like 45 degrees is as far as it will lean, which is not very good. But um, if you could live with that, it's a car, which yeah. is, you know, appeals as some other strengths. I wonder if it has, I wonder what the insurance is like. Um, mm. so as a car but it has no uh-huh. cab you're just sitting on there like a fucking asshole well it's like, basically yeah. it, i i call it a car it it looks like a motorcycle here let me see if i can Dude, find don't it do, like is this the same thing with like campers like you get the teardrop with the little kitchenette and no and like just a place to sleep or you get like the big fucking like actual winnebago don't get the middle ground where it's like the <laughs> stupid thing that you kind of like pulled that's like too uncomfortable to sit in, but it does have a table and it's like you haven't you're seen not it yet. really camping, you know. Like don't <laughs> don't fucking half ass it. Either get a motorcycle that's a fucking motorcycle or get a car. So this a- thing anything in between's lame. I hear you. Look at this thing. That's a motorcycle. Okay, never mind. That's a motorcycle. That right? is not what I'm talking about. Yeah. Now you widen those wheels just a few inches and you can drive it without a motorcycle license. Do I think it's as cool? No. But if I'm a guy with no motorcycle license and you tell me I can have that, maybe. Yeah. God, it's, it's a, so easy to get a license. Yeah, it's well, you're good at it. You can already operate it. I hear you. Zach, can we get a better picture? Like it's it's right there. <laughs> there we go. These are what I'm talking about. It's by Can Am and it's called a spider. Uh I think and, I know of that. Yeah, and they're uh they're pretty fucking lame. Can I just like <laughs> post this link or something? Yeah, and Zach, yeah. it takes him a second, but he'll do it. Yeah, no, Zach, you do it right fucking now. <laughs> <laughs> this is him. This is top speed. He's racing to show this as Click we age. Okay, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is that? 
It, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, you see dudes just like drive. I'm like, what the fuck is that thing? It looks like uh, just something that yeah. even Batman would say. That's too gay for me to drive. I'm not that's too gay for me. <laughs> yeah, people are gonna make fun of me online. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna save Rachel in that. <laughs> uh, Zach's trying to defend himself in chat, but we're you know the hosts aren't gonna even acknowledge that. Like, I didn't even see it. Yeah, I didn't even see it. We want. Yeah, well, speed. that thing looks fucking stupid. Yeah, I, I don't like does. that. But the weird with the, the one with the little scissoring front tires, that one's cool. <laughs> Looks like an optical illusion a little bit. Yeah, that one's pretty dope. Yeah. But then, like, if you run over someone, they're going to be like, holy shit, this guy got hit by three motorcyclists. <laughs> <laughs> like, all these staggered wheels and stuff. It looked like he got killed by a gang of them. Yeah. Ooh, we're looking for a dangerous trio of ruffians <laughs> on the list. <laughs> yeah. Kyle, you think the big gold wings are lame? Um, It's not for me, for sure. I don't know. I don't like how big that thing is. For one thing, it's a little bit intimidating. It's just too big. Whoa, uh, yeah, it's like, top heavy. This might be what I saw. What I saw looks so lame, dude. I, that's it looks terrible. That's four wheels. This is a four wheeler. This is worse. This would fall over. That's worse than just a regular ATV by a lot. So much worse. I don't know what it's supposed to be good at. Does this and, have any utility? Like, what's it for? If you were zipping, even... maybe for zipping around like a, a gigafactory for Elon Musk, Ooh. and you needed to get to the other side of it real quick to like check something. But otherwise, yeah. this thing is worthless. You know, yeah. the only three wheeler I would ever have is this thing. These things fuck so hard, and I actually want one just for like. You were also talking about like you have a golf cart. Fuck golf carts. I would get one of these every time. Oh, no, no these are cool. Is. Yeah, the little Indian like motorized rickshaws. <laughs> Those things are so dope. How is that dope? It looks. What are you talking about? That thing fucks hard. That thing is awesome. It's Dude, got my windshield golf wipers. cart would beat that thing Can up. Can you imagine having sex in the back of that? <laughs> Hell oh, yeah. That thing's, hey, babe, you want me to pop the top? You know, it's a cloth top. Now, I think <laughs> that awesome. Indian man is six foot five, top. or this is tiny. <laughs> it's tiny, but it's cool. It's way cooler than a golf cart. Dude, I, I, I love my golf cart so much. So I was going to buy... Fucking, uh, you're like 50 years old. Of course you like a golf cart. <laughs> so I was going to buy... It's called a Gator by John Deere, and it's like a golf cart on steroids almost. And um, a fan of the show was like, Woody, full disclosure, I work for Easy Go. They make my golf cart. But you should know, I worked at a golf course and we had gators, we had Polaris whatevers, and we had golf carts and everybody reached for the golf carts every time. They're just better. They're nicer to drive. They're they're like more fun. And, and like anytime a gator and a golf cart were next to each other, no one chose the gator. So I took his advice and I bought this easy go golf cart. But the back of it doesn't have seats like it would at a golf course. It has like a little dump um, dump bed, like a pickup truck bed that yeah. dumps. I love it so much. My golf cart fucks, dude. I, I, I used it a few minutes ago to, to, to take the trash out a few minutes, right before okay. the show. I will admit, my friend had, uh, he lived on a plantation growing up, and they, that's how they got around was easy go golf carts that were, they were the motor, or they, they, they ran on gas and they had, mm -hmm. um, they had the bed on the back. Yeah. But that's I what think I have. Of that not as a golf cart, dude, it's, it's like so a utility. Cool. Cart. I was cleaning like the garage different. recently, and you just load the bed of the golf cart up with the yeah, things those, you want in the stable, and then awesome. you drive it over. We put heavy shit in there. I guess we're remodeling the master bath. So every so often, we get like 800 pounds of tile, and I just fucking load. I loaded that golf cart up so heavy, it was doing a wheelie. I had to like lean over the hood of the front so that it didn't wheelie. And after I got to my destination, I'm like, how light is the front? How much did I just haul? Can I pick it up? Yes. Can I pick it up with one hand? Yes. I made the do it. Can I pick it up with two fingers? Yes. Can I pick this golf cart up with just my pinky and make it to, or my index finger? With one finger, I lifted the front. It had so much shit in the bed on the back. It was like tipping back. It was amazing. This golf cart has no quit. It doesn't go fast. Top speed is like 12 miles an hour. Is it but electric? You can put, no. It's gas because oh, okay. I'm a man. But you can put like 800 <laughs> pounds of shit in the back and drive it uphill and it won't care. Yeah. It's a monster. Nothing manlier than uh, standing around at the fucking gas station. I was, <laughs> I, I fucking, dude, I have nothing but gas, <laughs> everything, but like I am not doing that whole shit. Like the second I can get an electric car and never have to step foot near a gas pump ever again, I'm, I'm doing it. I'm doing I, it. I hear you. I don't know. I, the people I see with the electric golf carts, 
they're always not charged. They're always not ready. They're always half done. Yeah. The gas thing, I put gas in it like every three months. Mm. That's nice. Yeah. Yeah, it probably gets about two or 300 miles per gallon. So <laughs> I, don't even, I couldn't imagine. <laughs> like it's, a, it's a ton. Yeah, we grew up with those. Um, like golf carts are the way to go. Dad's also got... Oh, he's really? got agree. Oh, he's got a fleet of them now. He's got... He got this weird uh, little thing that Shimada. looks like uh, from Austin Powers that uh, and uh, and Doctor Evil's lair. They were in these little pod cars, these little electric, yeah, yeah. Uh, bubble cars. He got one of those that he's been trying to like get going again, but the electric motors are fucked and he's he's tinkering. But he's got like two or three easy goes. But then he's got um, two Kubota? Kawasaki mm-hmm. mules um, okay. and a Kubota, and so so it's a fleet of those motherfuckers. What? But Hypothetically, gonna, he needs to go across cart. the farm. The golf cart, really, because he like the Kubota. People don't know the Kubota is like a mini pickup truck. It is it's more, it's stronger, it's faster, it has better suspension. It depends what he's doing. Like 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 the Kubota is like all wheel drive, like in and out of like creeks, and like it can haul like all the tools you'd ever need to do like any sort of job on the other side of a farm. But the golf cart is like a daily like zip around everywhere. It's so easy to get in and out. Is the main thing, dude. You wouldn't think that's that's a bitch made one. I don't think that that's what I have. That looks like it's by Kubota. Um, I have an easy go one that's comparable to that. But uh, anyway, not using a key, just like sliding your ass onto the bench and hitting the the gas and yeah. having it start to run and go away is really a big deal. Not not turning a key to start it changes the way that you use it. And then the brake just automatically locks and then you like hop right off. Yeah, it's the perfect. brake and the parking brake are the same. You know, you just press the brake and walk away and it's it. You wouldn't think those little things matter, but not having to start it and not having to put on a brake are a big deal. If you ever want to see like the most pimp golf carts, well, actually, yeah, because golf cart at, at a golf course, they have too much class to pimp their golf carts. But if you <laughs> go to a, uh, a sporting clays event, um, then these guys show up from all around the state or even the country to shoot s- sporting clays against one another. And you go from shot to shot or hole to hole as it would be in golf in a golf cart and they show up in like hummer golf carts with like chrome rims on them and like the most ridiculous like nonsensical 10 fifteen thousand dollar golf carts you've ever seen it's it's crazy nonsense it's really fun to see i don't know we why always- i thought golf carts were so much cheaper but like i am looking at the new easy goes the cheapest one they have is eight grand and mm-hmm. that's for like a little bitch made one like i'm sure mm-hmm. woody's is like well, you get them used here. though. Like, like nice. if, if you want one, you just go buy one used somewhere for like a few hundred dollars. Oh, the you think they could be that cheap? Yeah, oh, I didn't even know that. And, okay, but, well, like, that one looks sick. I like that. Well, I don't know. That that's pretty wild. I don't, <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that one. <laughs> those seats are those those seats are pretty slick. Yeah, putting rims on your golf cart. Mm-hmm. That is a there's a gated community here called Southwood. And every house looks identical. And so the only way that the people can flex on each other is who has the nicer golf cart? <laughs> Are they all elderly? They mac them out. They get fucking like neon lights and shit. And they, it's a whole thing. <laughs> in, uh, in Peachtree City, you're allowed to drive your golf cart like all over town. Like, like they're road legal. And uh-huh. so like, so like it's it like the cool thing to do is like like the kids drive them to high school. Like there's like there's golf cart parking at the high school. And there's and there must be like 30 of them parked out there. And so like everywhere people are driving around town in these things. It's really neat. It's that's neat, but if I was 16, I would be fucking pissed if my parents were like, "Oh no, you don't need a car." <laughs> mm-hmm. You need a golf a cart. Golf cart. We're in the golf cart city. I yeah. like, dude, I can't go on a fucking road trip. Going 12 miles per hour. I would, you could. It'd be high stakes. <laughs> <laughs> My hair doesn't even blow in the wind. This is bullshit. <laughs> that one is what mine looks like. It, it Mine has black seats, but that's basically what I have. And we get a lot of work done with it. It's yeah, cool. it's nice. It's, it's not nice. <laughs> like, yeah, no, it's nicer than the one on the website I'm looking at. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm, I'm so happy to have it. Podcast if we're on like golf cart topic. <laughs> hey, if, if you like think that won't switch minutes. back to bumper plates, <laughs> dude. When we get close to four hours, it's like, pff, how has everyone's bowel <laughs> movements been? <laughs> uh, I don't know, man. <laughs> I guess they've been fine. <laughs> yeah. Mm shitting on well, golf cart talk you don't even have an alternative 
Uh, I don't I really. No, I don't. I got nothing. I got, got an no, alternative oh. to golf carts. <laughs> no. <laughs> Running. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> an unpleasant alternative. Any tool you can buy that can prevent you from having to run is worthwhile. I do have Think kind of a that. funny story if you want to. It's relevant yeah. to a story I heard from um, from uh, Woody. There was a, It was one of those like, it was when I was uh, going through your subreddit, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, and boy. I remember seeing there was a lot of, there was just people talking about, you had some story about going to like a black barber shop and you walked in and just went like, I'm out. <laughs> That's not what happened. <laughs> oh, oh, that did happen. I know. <laughs> that's not what happened? Oh, wait, yeah, that totally did. No, exactly that, one as you time said. I got my hair cut and I thought it was. No, I. Yeah, that happened. Yeah. Okay. So, anyways, <laughs> very, very similar to that. Very funny is uh, my brother just got a uh, just got a divorce, and so uh, with the divorce family, he's got this kid, and anything that like the ex wife and her mother do ex-mother-in-law do to the kid is like anything that happens is under a microscope by my brother and his camp and vice versa Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. my fucking mom does not play this shit dude she's like hey i'm this boy has long hair i'm gonna take him to go get his hair cut without apparently asking anybody which in this situation things are volatile cut hair on a two-year-old is a big deal it's his first haircut you know, mm-hmm. they she just took him out to go get his haircut, but because she, she was just tired of it, she watches him and his hair's just swinging in front of his eyes, and he's pissed off all the time. He's like, "My fucking hair's in my face." Yeah. So uh, she calls up a barber shop and goes, "Hey, uh, <laughs> you uh, cut little boy's hair?" And the guy was like, "Yeah, absolutely, I can do that. Come on in." So she makes an appointment. She shows up at the barber shop, and uh, you know, walks in, and it is just two rows of black barbers cutting black dude's hair. <laughs> It was just the blackest barbershop of all time. Slam packed. The <laughs> last chair at the end of the row doesn't have a customer in it. And it's the guy that she talked to on the phone. He's like, come on, sit down. And my mom's like, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> she goes, I can't there. leave now. <laughs> yeah. She like sets him down. Run, yeah, Tommy. She had an appointment. She had an appointment. And uh, she sits him down. And the guy's like, how do you want his haircut? And she's like, I don't, like a fucking white kid haircut. I don't know. Like, just a normal <laughs> <laughs> that's oh, no. what his hair looked like but longer like in the front because he's a blonde kid and uh and and she was just like just like a fucking like regular white kid haircut and and so the guy's like all right how about this come over here we got all these pictures up of haircuts and you tell me which one you like and she's like she said she was standing there there's 50 fucking haircuts on the wall Every single one of them was a black guy. Like there was not a single <laughs> picture of a white haircut on the wall. All right. Well, I guess just square them up. <laughs> yeah. My she ended up being able to figure out her oh, um, her phone, right? To like, she, she's an old lady. She's like g- figuring out Google. She's like white person haircut. She Google images that, and she's <laughs> like, here, here you go. There's like what uh, the whites like, and the guy's like, okay. He, he, basically, she shows him like everybody here is haircut. Like we yeah. all have the same fucking hair, just white man. You know, yeah. we always make fun of them saying they look alike, but like white people, we are basically all the same guy, except for Taylor's heads all misshapen and huge. But, uh, <laughs> <Fair. yeah. laughs> no, you're yeah, right. So just, like, just do the hair where you can push it over to the side. Boom. Yeah. Fine. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> white people hair. So, uh, the guy goes, absolutely. I understand exactly what you're talking about. He fucking ignored what she asked. He <laughs> gave him a lineup. He got lined up. Oh, I've been there. <laughs> he I've moved been there. his Zach hairline back. Picture. Fucking <laughs> did the razor lineup. He had the fucking the the corner thing, just like that picture you put up, Zach. It was just the perfect corner. He had the lineup job, and he looked fucking great. I was like, this is awesome. <laughs> that is the funniest shit in the world to see a two year old kid with a lineup. And then uh, apparently the uh, in-laws or the the ex-wife and her mother cried when That's they saw. That's me lined it. up. I went to oh, you got Harvard. lined up! <laughs> <laughs> Hell yes! Woody had in his head that the best barbers were black barbers. Yeah, and they are. It's a totally different because it cutting on, white people's hair it does not require science. It doesn't require yeah, precision. On but Reddit, the they would always like person. judge the fade, right? And these guys would get the fade with such precision, and and yeah. and having it so. I was like, man, these guys Artistry. are doing a haircut at an artist level. Yeah, yeah. so I was. Like I want to go and then also 
I had seen enough movies and such where like the the environment of the black barbershop shooting the shit about college basketball was the thing that I wanted to participate in. And well, uh, it's not going to happen, but carry on. No, I was not invited into the conversations and they yeah. cut my hair like a black person and it didn't work out at all. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was going to. Let me, let me yeah, ask that... you this. What is like the, the striking thing about a black barbershop? Very quiet in there. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was cold. It was not cold. At all. The movie. And no one was saying a word. It was very solemn. Yeah. Solemn. Black barber shop. It's kind of like church. Yeah. <laughs> Just the most narc looking person comes in. <laughs> Hi, friends. Could you line up my you hair? Do- you dress like an off-duty police officer. You have like cargo <laughs> pants and shit. Yeah, that's. He's got, he carries tools. Like it doesn't that's help cool. that you. They also witness you like patrolling the skies at a very low altitude, <laughs> like on your time off. It's really the the a thought of you, yeah. the thought of you driving to get your haircut and thinking, <laughs> I can't wait for the conversation, and yeah. then getting there and it's just ice out. It's yes. so funny to me. Like, <laughs> how you, have you been me? watching the Pistons? And they're like, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh man. And the worst part about it is somehow this is getting left off. He took his son with him, right? Because it's father son haircut day. Yeah. And after they jack Woody all up, Woody's like, "All right, son, your turn." And so they both go home with these matching haircuts. Hell yes. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. I can't believe they didn't give you the conversation though. That's pretty fucked. I up. didn't get it. No. Yeah, yeah, that is very. They iced me out. Although, hey, that. black barbers have competition with Turkish barbers. Those mm-hmm. Turkish motherfuckers, they got a lot of hair, and it's always real coarse and shit. And they do like, they they do the fade that goes into the beard, and mm. nobody grows a beard like a Turkish dude. These things are like, like a perfect cone. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> yeah, they they're able to do all sorts of shit. With their uh, with their barber work, you ever I just go to fuck it. I think Turkish places. barbers are better. Let's start a race war on that. That white people aren't involved in. <laughs> <laughs> Let's pit them against each other. Pick yeah. your side. You know, I never see like a Japanese barber, but I bet they'd use like wooden scissors or something. Dude, Japanese gets way too much fucking hype, all right? Their shit isn't that fucking good. A fork is way better than chopsticks. Fuck That's you. True. You screws in your wood shit. Like... No, like, eh, just because it's old doesn't mean it's better. I don't want you to cut my true. hair with, like, an old piece of bamboo that's sharpened on one side. I feel like, like, we, Get like, clippers. we'll give them props and be like, man, what an awesome temple. What a cool bit of culture. Yeah. And then, you know, they'll give us props for stuff sometimes. But then, like, we will take the chopsticks as part of the, like, okay, we'll have chopsticks. They suck. But they will not convert to forks. They've been defeated on the yeah. utensil question for decades, and seen- they still foolishly, hard-headedly hold on to these sticks, which is I've objectively a worse way to consume rice or I anything. Would love- I would love to go to a steak restaurant and look over and just see a very confused Japanese man just looking at a big ribeye like, fuck. <laughs> I think they use forks and knives, though. In my I will life. not disgrace my ancestors. Hey, when does the show come out? Saturday. Saturday morning. Saturday. Oh, my God. I don't have a lot of time, but I'm still going to say it because I think it's a fantastic video idea. And if anybody's listening to this, I'm, it's in the works. All right. So mm-hmm. you can't mm-hmm. fucking take it. Okay. Yeah. But, um, you know, Wagyu beef, like Japanese yeah. cows where they like massage them or whatever and treat mm-hmm. them like princesses and mm-hmm. then fucking kill them and chop them up. They say it's the most expensive beef on the planet or whatever. A little like deck of card size piece of meat is really expensive. Mm-hmm. I found you can't actually get Japanese Wagyu because they control it. Only X amount of it is able to be exported per year and they only produce so much of it. I don't even think any of it can be exported. I think it's all just in Japan and only so much can be made. Mm. But there's like American Wagyu, which is they have like the same system and it's from the same stock of cow. Mm-hmm. So it's like unofficial. Shit. It's unofficial. It's same shit. It's still super expensive. I found a website where I can get one of their steaks shipped to me. And I thought how, and people treat this shit like it's the Holy Grail, right? Mm-hmm. Eh, I don't give a fuck. I'll eat whatever. I don't, I'll eat out of the garbage. I don't care. So I'm going to get this thing. I thought how funny would it be to make a, a hamburger helper with it? I'm going <laughs> to put it and I'm going to make some fucking beef stroganoff, baby, like I'm in the trailer park <laughs> out of Wagyu beef. 
It's going to be so disrespectful. I'm like, there's no way. Like, that's so. Dude, that funny would be to me. great. You, you know, make, like uh, uh, spaghetti and meatballs with just regular ragu. Oh, yeah, <laughs> just like the worst. Like, just great value. <laughs> Not even ketchup. ragu. Just the. Did great you already value order the steak? I haven't ordered it yet, but if you that's do a great it, video idea. Do that. If you do it, at least get a fatty cut so it won't taste like shit. Like it might. Like, like if you grind up like fillet. It's going to like fall apart. And uh, excuse make me. Burger. I don't determine what kind of fat content I want. It's the Wagyu. It's like the quality of the meat. It tells me the fat content that it has. Exactly. I'm not going to argue with you. Good luck to you, sir. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> I have no idea. I'm just ordering from. They could just take my $275 it takes to buy a steak, an eight ounce steak, and um, and then never give me a steak. And I'll, I'll know no better. It seems like a scam. Like who the fuck orders an yeah. expensive piece of meat through the Internet? That's why people looking to make videos about it. Apparently, I, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Like I ordered. I I uh, was trying to get sponsored by those HelloFresh people, and uh, I still thought it was like some sort of wizardry. I was like, "You're sending me like raw food in the mail? I'm like, what the fuck?" Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, and it showed up, and I was like, "This is fucking weird. It just feels weird getting meat and like produce yeah. delivered to your house, and you open it up and just eat it out of the box." I mean, you're supposed to cook it or whatever, but you know, I break the rules every time. So you just eat <laughs> the raw meat and the, my, you just empty the seasoning packets in your my, mouth. I let my tummy do the assembling. I just eat all yeah. the raw ingredients. <laughs> you know what you should do with the wagyu, like do a cooking video, but burn the shit out of it, <laughs> like like oh, in no, I'm edible. I'm not even gonna make like perfect beef stroganoff it's gonna be all fucked up it's gonna be like a bad batch it's not gonna be good <laughs> or dog food <laughs> oh no Eat that's another dog. one I, i'm ordering two now i'm gonna do one with the beef stroganoff i'm gonna do another one where i'm like this is how you prepare it and i'm just gonna fucking like a three-year-old steak like i'm gonna well done that thing seven minutes on each side with us some ketchup big side of ketchup <laughs> i'd be like oh yeah that's that's a good some, steak right there this thing's gonna the look side like a of crinkle puck. cut or Ida. Yep. <laughs> those are burned. No, those are undercooked. Those, <laughs> those are completely <laughs> flaccid. <laughs> those, those are, are wet flaccid, and undercooked. <laughs> unsalted, undercooked Oridas. And then my $275 steak that used to be this big is now shrunk down to a puck. And you're dipping it in, in ketchup, ketchup water. <laughs> yep. <laughs> that is a, a good sprite, idea. A watered down sprite. Yeah. Do it. Yeah, yeah. We, can, we can wrap Woody. Damn, dude, you guys hit the four hour mark and you're like, let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't had anything to talk for about years. for an you're hour. Like, I gotta get well, the fuck out of here. <laughs> so, everyone, check out all of our sponsors and also the Forehead Fables podcast. Check that out. I'm sure yeah, you'll check enjoy that it. out. Sam's a very funny On guy. Spotify. Check him right. out. I don't want more YouTube viewers. Those people suck. I want Spotify people. Yeah, do it on Spotify. You bitches. Yeah. All right. EKA 592. Sorry. EKA? 